Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Morning, good morning, good morning. Sorry, a little bit late. <coughs> it's chaos here today. Absolute chaos. Right. I, I don't know what's happened to my voice. I was fine a minute ago. <coughs> Shall we do today's early bird? Right, look at this. You'll recognise it because we were selling it when you put it into your um, uh, mask. It's the inter interlining for masks and everything. But also, you can use it for dressmaking. You can make it for anything where you need sew-in interfacing. So three metres this would normally cost you £17.94 because that's six That's six units you'd have to buy there. It comes in a three... I don't know why they've chosen a three metre piece because this will keep you going forever when it's three metres of interfacing. No, you can't. I could what? I could do what? By the way, Haley, Haley's just, um, Haley's producing today. Why, why would you do that? No, no, you couldn't do it. No, it needs to be stretched. That needs to be stretched. Uh, 1794 is what you'd normally pay. Ignore Haley. Ignore Haley. It's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. Okay, before I crash, I'll show you how much you can pay for this elsewhere. Hang on, before you do that, how much does this work out for half a metre? 299 and a half a metre, right, there we go. 299 and a half metres is where we're at, at the moment, right? Here's some uh, price comparisons for you, and they're direct comparisons, exactly the same thing, look. Okay, uh, can I have it on the big screen, please, Bruce? And can the big screen be brought round so I can see it? Thank you. Uh, 7.99, that is. So what's that for? That's for one metre. That's for one metre, 7.99. Brilliant. Brilliant, so that's why you, you can pay for it elsewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got my ginger water ready. Delphine made it for me, so goodness knows what she's done with that. So 7 99 so that works out to what, 350? 350 a half metre. 350 a half metre, that is. Hello, Roy. Hello, you're right. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm live on air, just so you know, Roy. Oh, just bung that on the trolley there, that'd be brilliant, thank you. Thank you. Here's another one. This is, this is £3.84, ha, half a metre. Ha, thank you, Kat. Half a metre, that's brilliant. Half a metre. Now, you know that what this is, it's a breathable, it can be washed up to 60 degrees. It's the one we all put in our masks, which I have a feeling we'll be going back to very soon. Oh, I'll tell you what, yesterday, I went into Waitrose with my mask on, did this with my hands, right, through the sanitizer. Then my mask slipped, so I went like that, got the sanitizer in my eyes, and I've been up all night thinking I'm, I'm going to get a sty, but it feels like it's in both eyes because I've got the sanitizer in my eyes. Anyway, ready? Right? Here we go, then. Eleven ninety four. Eleven that that makes it two pounds. That makes it two pounds a half metre now. <coughs> it was three pounds eighty half metre there, it was four pounds fifty half metre there. Now we've got it at two pounds for half a metre. Obviously, you're getting a three metre piece. So get it and share it with your friends. Who cho who decides to do a three metre piece, Ailey? Yeah, yeah, use it for dressmaking, just putting your collar or down the front of your buttons here and things like that. 11.94. It'll keep you going forever. It'll be in your wet. It'll be in your stash forever. Three meters of this. Be in your stash forever. Doesn't go out of date. Won't go off. There's no glue uh, because it's brilliant. Because you can wash it at 60 degrees. It's fantastic for anything you can put it in. If you are going to carry on making masks, it's that breathable. Um, we've got it. The, 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 uh, I don't know if we've still got that slide. We've got a thing with exactly what it is. Why the, the why the holes are good for not letting germs through and things like that. But we're at two pounds, we're at two pounds for half a metre now. I oh, know. How wide is it? It's this wide. Yeah, it looks like about three quarters of a yard, something like that. Hang on a sec, let's have a look. It's uh, 90 centimetres wide. Oh, it's a yard wide, it's a yard wide. So I said three quarters of a yard, it's a yard wide. Uh, and you get three metres of it. It's non-fusible, it's not, it's woven, and it's a sew-in interfacing. We're already at a low price, but we're not stopping there. We're not stopping there. Right, okay, we're going to bog off now. 
Half price, it's half price. So hang on, what is now six into that then? One pound fifty. One pound fifty, one pound forty nine. One pound forty nine for half a meter now. And you've got three meters over there. If you've got a sewing group, buy it for the sewing group because it'll be enough for you to go round everybody. You only need it for collars and cuffs and button wraps. No, are people are multi buying. People are multi buying. Uh, remember, they come already cut together, so you will get two pieces of three meters. Yeah, let me know what you're going to use your three meters for. I'd love to know. Unless you're just buying it for the rest of your life. It's good value, though, isn't it? Good value. It's half price. Half price. Keep going through. Keep going through for that. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Half price. Half price. Remember, once you bought this, right? Once you've checked out on this, that's your P&P paid for today. So whether you come in and buy a Delphine kit, or you come in and buy an Alice Caroline kit, or you come in and buy a Delphine sewing machine, your P&P is paid for for the day. Well, don't put that. They don't like that. The viewers don't like that. They don't like seeing their names because they don't want people to know they spend the money. No, we'll have to wait now. That's what that's the kind of thing little Paul does. The next thing she'll be doing, she'll be putting a number here of how many are left. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Loads of you there. Hundreds gone. Hundreds. We well, can see, can't you? See if I know anybody. I'm not going to rush out at your name. Don't worry. Keep going through. Oh, there you go. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Thank you. What? What? No! <laughs> right, she didn't tell me this. I'm just going to turn her up because... Uh, okay. This, I didn't know we were doing it by the three metres. I thought we were doing it by the half metre, right? And I thought that price was good. But anyway, are you ready? I don't know what she's doing. She's a boss. She's allowed to do what she wants. Morning, John. Think your shirt is my new favourite one. Have a great day, says Ange. Ange, my... Oh, no, it's not. Has it got butterflies on it? Has not it? Well, go on then, do it. <gasps> no. Pound a half metre now. One pound for half a metre. Well done, everyone who's bought it already, because you all pay the final no price. Yeah, get the price comparison pound back up, right? So that's six pounds for three metres, right? If you bought three metres from this pe these people, it would be £24. £24 you'd pay if you bought three metres from those people. I know, isn't that brilliant? £7.99 for a metre there. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised we're giving it away. Hayley's going, blimey, John, there's hundreds and hundreds of people there. I'm not surprised, Hayley. You've just taken it down to £2 for half a metre. No, hang on. Yeah, two pounds, half, two pounds a metre. Two pounds a metre she's taking it down to. No, that can't be. Yeah, so a pound, half metre. That's ridiculous. I'm obviously not getting paid this month then. Uh, Jan, the other Jan says, morning, bit blowy in Portland. What, blowy? My house nearly took off last night. It was so windy. Uh, Dawn says, morning, she's first in. Patricia says, hello, from Blackpool. Lynn says, I keep losing Facebook, by the way. Lynn says, good morning, John, beautiful shirt. Claire says, morning, John, oh, lovely shirt. I've bought some ginger. I've got my ginger water here. I have changed my jeans. I couldn't find my belt. So I've got my show jeans on. Couldn't find my show belt. It's been a bit chaotic here this morning, I need to tell you. Le there's a queue on the phone lines. I'll stay with you for a while. Uh, Julia says, good morning, up early, going for brunch in the river in Kingston. Watch, she didn't get blown in. By the river in Kingston. Oh, you mean Kingston in uh, near Twickenham? Kingston near Twickenham. Oh, it's lovely. Which bit are you going in? Right? Oh, it's lovely. There's some lovely flats there, aren't there? Uh, Susie Duncan's watching, loving the shirt. Dunk says as he sips his coffee, relaxing while the wind howls outside in apparently sunny Cornwall. Oh, you're on holiday in Cornwall. Uh, morning, John. Lovely to see you, says Kay Lee. And says your shirt's beautiful. Kate says good morning. Laurie says what a great day. Derek says morning. Hayley, Bruce, Katrina and John. Don't know what I'd use this interfacing for. Uh, but for this price, I'm so tempted. Yeah, I don't know. It, no, because it's too soft for, your, for men's shirt collars. Uh, at the price, I could use it for a garden fleece. You could indeed, Susie. Hello, handsome. I have no idea who what Jill's watching. Uh, June says good morning. Lowe says good morning. Off to St Leonard's near Dorset today. Very nice. You make sure you take stabilisers on your um, Winnebago. You can... On the phone lines. 
Okay, there is a queue. I'll stay with you for a little while, right? There's a queue of 14 people on the phone. We didn't warn the call centre that we were doing this, and they're upstairs. They'll be banging on the ceiling in a minute. Well, they can't run down because they need to answer the phone. Now, I've got a question to ask. I need to buy... I need to... Qu I've got a question for one of our sister channels about the collagen they sell. Is anybody in? Will there be somebody upstairs? Because we've got a meeting... I've got a meeting at one o'clock about Festival of Quilts, right? Um... So I'll be able to tell you tomorrow what we're planning. I don't know. All I know so far about Festival Quilts. Well, no, I didn't even know if we're going. Yeah, no, exactly. So we've got a meeting today to find out about it. But I'm there on Sunday lunchtime in the theatre. And um, um, uh, the lady who's organising it, right, messaged me saying, will you do this day? And I was like, I would rather do the Friday, but oh, yeah, I'll do the Sunday. And then I just didn't bother writing it back. So she said, um, oh, by the way, I've put you in the programme. I've used this photo. She just picked a photo off my website, right? And then she went, because you hadn't replied, and I didn't even know I had to reply, she's called it The Lives and the Loves of John Scott. So I'm just going to sit there for an hour talking about my life. Yeah, it's £11.50 a ticket. Uh, Sue says, morning all, give the gallery a wave. Oh, yeah, go on, Bruce, do a gallery wave. You can't, you can hardly see you, so it doesn't matter. Hang on, there she is. There you go. Have they put the light on? Oh, my word, there's Hayley. There's, uh, that's Bruce's hand. And that's Bruce's hand. Right, that's enough of them. Patsy says, good morning, loving your tropical shirt. Margaret says, loving the new pics. Oh, I'm, I'm, have you seen my... Dulcie's having a clear out, right? Because she's having her birthday party. She, wants, she makes bunting of all her years. And she found... She went, look at these pictures. And it was us at Wimbledon when we were students. And then later on when uh, I went to my mum and dad's house. I've been swimming in the pool and everything. Uh, it makes me so miserable. I can't tell you. because Anyway, morning, John, from a very wet, windy prostatin. The caravan is rocking. What they say? Don't come a-knocking if the caravan is a-rocking. Isn't that what they say? Because the weather, obviously, what else would it be? Um, looking good, uh, says Sue. Margaret says Bruce has a nice quiff. Is he? You see, I haven't met Handsome Adam yet. Handsome Adam was in yesterday. He does the same, the curly girl hair thing that Hannah does. I don't know what he's, what's, what's Handsome Adam's real, real name. It's Adam. Are you eating chocolate again? No, it's not. OK, this is Katrina, who's on the camera, right? We're going to move on, we're going to move on. Apparently, on what channel did they do it? On Light Living? Lifestyle. They, lifestyle. They did um, chocolate muffins or something. And they left loads of chocolate in here. All cat had to eat a steak. Yeah, there's loads in here. There's loads. Right, that's the first early bird. Second early bird. Now, you will be needing this for several projects today. Both of Delphine's projects you need it for. And also Ruth's project, I'll search for a star today. That's the wrong graphic. Ignore that. <laughs> what are you doing? Low wants Botox. How often do you have yours done? Low, I, have had, I haven't had Botox since, for 10 years. I haven't had Botox for 10 years now. Because when we started at Sewing Quarter, I said to Liz, the lady in charge, right, I'm going to get my Botox done before we go live. She said, no, we don't want you having Botox. We want people to see your lovely wrinkly face, she said. And I've not had it since. But you have to have it every three months. And you have to have, depends on the zone. Zone one, zone two, zone three. You decide. It's usually about uh, £200 a zone. Right, £23.99 is how much this bond web costs. It's five metres on the roll. It's 30 centimetres wide. You will need this for a lot of projects today. Sue says she likes her lines. I've earned every single one, yeah. They said uh, minor laughter lines, but nothing's that funny. Uh, it's very windy in Aberdeen, says Suzanne. Julie Vaughan says it's very windy in St Albans. Is that where you live? So do you live in St Albans? My sister Julie, you know, she's in St Albans today. She's seen... Um, going for lunch in Radlett, and then she's going to see her nephews do a play in St Albans tonight. And my nephew, the one who's just trained to be a pilot, he's moving to, not St Albans, what's the next one along? Who? No. Anyway, shall we crash this? I've moved on now. Visley Bondweb, five millimetre, five metres, 30 centimetres. Right, there's not enough. These sell out already on their own. Judy says, good morning. Margaret says, Bruce has a nice quiff. Oh, Bruce, she says you've got a nice quiff as well. Right, go, 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 go. 19.99. £19.99. £19 How much are you saving on that then? £4, £4 off there. That's brilliant. And if you're going to do more than one project, the little packets are brilliant. The little packets are brilliant. But if you're going to be doing... So, say you do two of Delphine's or do Ruth's project, say you're going to need more than that. So this... 
It's on a roll. Keep it. Don't put it on the windowsill. Keep it in a nice dark drawer. At 19.99. It's where Hayley'd like to live. £200. I'd rather be wrinkly. Claire, Claire, it's £200 a zone. Very seldom do you have one zone. I used to have to have three zones, double. 19.99. I'm not saving lots because I buy all loads of other rubbish, don't I? 19.99. You don't need Botox, says Helen. Thank you, Helen. You're very kind. No, my shirt, my, shoes, my shirt is newish. Can't wait for Delphine. Her patterns are magic. We'll go through them all in a minute. So, yeah, because look, it's 20 past. I have got another early bird, but it hasn't charged up because it's only just arrived. So we'll be doing it in the last hour. Doing that in the last hour now with Delphine. Yeah, bring your bobble jumpers down to the lounge later. That's a hint. Good morning, John and team. Lots of you there today. It's very busy today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Keep going through for this. Yeah, yeah. I've got PUs on the table. I've got some um, Liberty and I've got some... Okay, now that, we will be showing that again. Now that's going to stay 19.99 while stocks last, right? You will need, and as soon as you see Delphine doing her project, Ruth doing her project and Delphine doing her other project, you'll need those. Let's do the menu. We haven't done anything yet. We haven't done how to get in touch or anything yet. Right, here we go. So room tools at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Magical hair cushion with Delphine Brooks. Here it is. No, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. The no, not the cushion. It's the, it's the wall hanging. The wall hanging. Where have we not got a still of it? It's all right. Don't worry. That's, it's gorgeous. I think that's one of Delphine's best. That's one of the ones where you have a picture and you embellish it, right? Then Ruth is here, our search for a star. She is going to be doing a uh, Alice Caroline butterfly cushion, which you've seen. And we've got it in both the pink and the teal. But the teal is very, very, very limited. 11 o'clock, we've got the hummingbird quilt with Delphine, which is the one behind me on the wall. I'll let you have a look at that one. I nicknamed this last night Ducks on the Canal in Stratford upon Avon. Then I was told that they were hummingbirds. Ducks on the Canal, I like that. Okay, then at the last hour, Delphine is staying on to do our 7.20. And we've got some Delphine kits in that hour as well. Three ways you can get in touch. Now, I don't know if Hayley's learned how to do the emails yet, because we didn't read any out when Hayley was on. You know they have to come through your computer, don't you? Oh, OK. Don't do emails today. Do not do emails today because Hayley can't access them. Right? Hayley can't access them. For some reason, they don't come through the normal system here. They have to go through the producer's laptop, that's all. Right, OK, so do not send an email. Uh, you can send a message on Facebook Live. Uh, and they're the ones I've been shouting out from my thing here. Oh, Julie lives in Radler. I didn't realise you were posh, Julie. Uh, and then the third way you can message us is on the website, www.sewingstreet.com. And that's where Hayley shows you the website. Then you click on watch the show live. And then just the right hand side there, this little white box. Uh, oh, it's gone now. The white box there, you can write your message and they're the messages that come up on my bottom during the show. Right, so there's the early bird, <coughs> 19.99. That will stay at 19.99 while stocks last. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think I've got the aircon on two cards. Right, so you see there are now two columns. There's those show deals uh, where you can still buy your interfacing there. <clears throat> but I need to tell you, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of metres that have gone. Or you can... Oh, listen, I've started Bruce off now. He's coughing now. Pre-order is everything that's coming up for the next five hours. So if you go through, you've got your sewing tools there, sewing room tools there. Then you've got... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'll just... While you're looking at that, I'll just have a... Oh, there it is. I've given away the surprise. Given away the surprise. They've already reduced the price as well by the looks of things. Ooh, that was a bit hot, my ginger water. Right, so hang on, where's Delphine's first hour? <clears throat> there it is, there's the uh, 11 .99. That's not right. Anyway, the, what you do is you buy the panel and then Delphine's going to show you how to embellish it with either embroidery threads or with sewing threads, things like that. Then Ruth is in to do the butterflies there. Where's the teal one? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, they've put a picture. There it is. There's the teal one. It's just the pink picture, but with a little teal tab above it. Then uh, Delphine is back. 
and she will be doing that so you can buy the kit now apparently there are going to be is there another kit there's the one here this one here which is the white one which is on there could you go to that blue cushion up there cat sorry there's also going to be a blue version which cat is showing that's a cushion version of that one there's going to be that blue version as well it's not quite made yet the kit will make the quilt no 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 right okay and uh, we're going to do a blue version as well so you can do one or the other right okay back to the menu uh, so then we carry on, that's Delphine's hour, and then in the last hour, here are all of Delphine's kits. There's Jubilee, there's Candy the Doggy, there it is, Candy the Doggy. Uh, you've got some, um, what else you got there? Lion, you've got Leo the Lion, I don't think it's called Leo, was it? There's the Trapunto, there's the sewing machine, Delphine sewing machine, uh, and then lots of patterns that you uh, might have missed out on in the past from Delphine. So there's loads, there's loads, there's loads, there's loads. So, shall we make a start then? Right, got a little treat. Now, uh, these hadn't arrived. This, oh, what am I chilling? These are one meter bundles of PU. Gorgeous colors. Which one do you want to go to first then? Red first, right. PU, it's polyurethane and viscose. You're getting a meter. It's lovely and wide as well, this look. 1398, what are you gonna do? You're gonna make a bag with it? If you're gonna make a jacket, Please be careful because you're going to need two from, to make a jacket, I think. And they, cut, they won't come joined together if you buy two, you see. Six, nine, ten. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't realise we were doing a deal. I just thought the deal was we'd done... Um, right, so it's 55 inches wide and it's a metre length. Would normally cost you 13.98 and after midnight tonight it will cost you 13.98 again. 11, 98. Two pounds you're saving there. Two pounds you're saving. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful to work with. Do not use a leather needle. Do not use a leather needle while you're sewing it. But you can make a lovely... I'll tell you who uses this red one a lot. Lisa Lamb. And she'll be back again soon. Oh, Julie, I haven't got a common accent. But it's nice in Radlett. Um, I was at a film studio there. Now, is it, is it Leavesdale or is it Frogmore there near Radlett? I can't remember. My friend, uh, Lisa, the makeup artist, she lives there as well. She married well. 11.98, she married a spark. They always had lots of money on the film set, sparks. Did. Keep going through for this, keep going through. It's a metre piece for £11.98. Oh, actually, now it's got PU written in the, uh, it's got leather, sorry, written in that there's no leather in it whatsoever. Don't worry about that. But this is different. This is 30% viscose, 40% PU and 30% polyester. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they call it PU leather, but I just don't want the vegans amongst you to be thinking it is leather. There's no animal product in here whatsoever. Unlike the collagen that I nearly bought yesterday. Well, it's made with bovine... The one I saw is made with bovine peptides or something like that. 11.98, why does he in there? Apparently he intakes collagen. It's not working, is it? Loads of left the red. Let's move on then. Mustard next. I love this colour. I'm not going to open all the rest out, but you get a metre again of the mustard. You know what we're doing, 13.98, we're not staying at 13.98. Oh, no. We're doing deals for you today because Hayley's in charge. 11.98, it's going to be a busy day then. I've got to be here, then straight after I put my food on my plate and I go upstairs and go to a meeting. £11.98. No, no, the Trapunto, the Trapunto birdhouse, Hayley, yeah. 11.98. We're just sending Ian off to the old studios because we haven't c completely cleared out yet. 11.98, don't tell him that. Beautiful colour, gorgeous colour, isn't it? Do you want to have a close-up on that one? There you go, no, that's right, Bruce. Bruce was busy just looking out the window. Or doing his hair. You see, look, now I haven't noticed a, I hadn't noticed a quiff. 
Eleven, maybe it just means he needs a haircut. Yippee, just got my Delphine panel. Here we go. Love to all. They're going already, the Delphines. Loving the mustard PU, says Kath. I like the mustard one as well, Kath. Black next. Now, this won't look much on the telly. It'll just like a black mass. But it's lovely. It looks, looks like the most expensive Duchess satin. It's so lovely and soft. Oh, do you think? Oh, black's the most popular, apparently. Black's the most popular, apparently. So rush in and get this. We can wipe them all down. Wipe all this down. Wipe it downable. We can make a nice headboard out of this. Put some covered buttons on it. Or some sofa cover cushions. They'd be unusual, wouldn't they? PU cushions. Fluidity, it's got lovely fluidity. Or drapeability. Morning, John and crew, is your meeting about your promotion? And I'm right at the bottom. There's no, I can't move any which way or I won't go up and I definitely can't go any further down. Promotion. Uh, morning, John and team, looking forward to some good shows to help me keep awake. Wind and rain hitting my windows all night. So, no, so I, I think I must have had about two hours sleep last night because I was worried about my sty. The wind was going. The cats were loving the wind. They were jumping in and out the cat flap all night long because they were like, oh, this is nice. This wind's lovely. They were out playing in it this morning when I got up at half past four. Um, I know, they're chasing everything. And it's so funny because when Ghost, when Ghost comes back in through the cat flap, he goes like this. Oh, it won't open, it won't open. Let me in, let me in, it won't open, right? If there's something chasing him, he comes through that cat flap like there's no... And you're like, so normally he's like, oh, let me in, oh, I can't get in, oh, it won't open, won't open. <laughs> like that, he's straight to. Anyway, 11.98, keep going through. Beautiful, gorgeous. Now, these prices are only till midnight, remember? Only till midnight. I've got brown and I've got grey left. Brown, it's a lovely chocolate, dark, dark chocolate brown, this one. Good loads with a meter. Imagine how many bags you can make. Lisa lamp bags you can make out of this. If did you know what? Yes, I won't say that because it's quite wide. Right, look, as you see, um, that's the fact. If you, um, we're just discussing, right? Somebody asked, do we ever sell PU in fat quarters? And Haley said we wouldn't. But look, you could, couldn't you? Because that's. That's a fat quarter. That's a fat quarter of PU. So you could make lovely little purses out of that, couldn't you, and things. Oh, a little bag. That, that's enough to make a bag. Or a panel in a, in a jacket, maybe. Oh. What do you want wipes for, Bruce? Wipes. I thought you said wipes. I thought you were still moaning about how dirty it was. It's filthy in there where Bruce has to work. What, what? What about a handsome Adam? He works in there in Jewelry Maker. He's a director in Jewelry Maker. There's handsome Adam and there's Daddy Adam. And we used to work with Daddy Adam at Rocks & Co. Adam's one that used to look like Prince. What's the one that's gone to live in America with Meghan? Harry. He used to, doesn't anymore. He's bulked up a bit. No, can we have done anything yet? There's no graphics or anything. This is the grey one, elephant grey, this one. £11.98. No, we've got one of those closer to home. £11.98. Do you not know? Oh, I'll tell you in the break. £11.98. What do you want to know about Handsome Adam anyway? I don't know what his surname is, don't you? He's the, he's, he's the um, director next door in Jewelry Maker. He's in today. He's lovely. The, those panthers have got you wrapped round their paws. They certainly have. They certainly have. They're lovely. It's lovely to watch them outside as well. Le in fact, when I came to work this morning, Ghost was outside the back door trying to get into a cat flap that isn't even in the back door. So I think Ghost might be a little bit, you know, slow on the uptake. Right, that's it. That is the last colour. Yeah, that is the last colour. The what, sorry? Oh, lamps. Right, here we go. Oh, hang on. Tell if I switch them on. 
Right, we love, I've got these. Dulcie's got one of these. Uh, you, so many of you have got these. They're fantastic. These are the Lumina floor lamps, right? 119.99. Yes, you do get it on split pay. Uh, if you've got one of these, do message in and let me know. We've had no messages yet today, have we? Had no messages at all. 39.99 is your split pay. Oh, what, Hayley? You know they fall off the bottom of the page if you don't read them. Anyway, let me take you through this. I'll do some of your messages in a minute. Right. So, when yours arrives, it comes in the... You wouldn't believe that all of this fits into the box. It's a small, flat box like that. It's got a normal plug on it, this one. This is not a USB. This is normal plug. And it just has a, a little connector thing like that. You just plug that in there. Um, so, when it arrives, the only uh, assembly you have to do is you have to screw this into the base and then just up here somewhere there there's one of those where you just put two tubes together that's it that's all you have to do for the assembly right um the base here is nice and um it's heavy enough to stop it rocking over but it's not heavy enough that you can't lift it up but it's very very stable it's because it's a nice width it's also very narrow so if you can have it next to you on the sofa or your armchair when you're doing a bit of hand sewing or indeed your table if you're working you can push it right up against the edge of the table right let me just show you this right the gooseneck on these are fantastic right What's lovely about native lighting is in here, it's like your normal gooseneck, but you can't feel the ridges and it's completely covered with this lovely silicon layer. But look, you can do what you want with it. You can make it, I'll step out the way so you can see, very contemporary sort of shapes if you want to. You can even have it going straight up like this, right? Now it doesn't, it's not one of those lamps that in a minute it'll go, uh, doesn't do that it'll stay where it is so that is the kind of technical thing about it but the science is all in here right so this here this is your uh, control panel really here so you've got one button here which can I have it on the big screen please please so I know no sorry because I can't see it on the little television right that there is your power button on off on off it's as simple as that right let me bring that down into shot so you can see right Oh, not yet. On, off, on, off, right? That's that one. Then, let me just explain what you then get here. Here, you've got colour. You've got five different colours and you've got five different brightnesses. So this lamp has 20, well, I say 25, it has 26 light settings, right? So let me just pop it down, on the down here so you can see it. Right, now, if we look from upstairs... And I'll show you through the different colourways and the brightnesses, right? If Hayley, if you just drop the light slightly... Okay, right, you ready? So I'm going to do your brightnesses. For, uh, am I doing brightnesses first? I'm doing you, you do your colours first. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Look at the warmth of that five. There are five different colours or temperatures. And then there are five different brightnesses. Look, right. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five different brightnesses and five different temperatures. So you've got 25 settings on there. Now, the thing I love about this lamp, it, one of the things I love about this lamp, because I've got this one, and in my office, it's on that side of the table there, coming over my desk that way. So it's just, because it just gives you, what you saw on the table there, it gives, just gives you that lovely pool of light. So if you're working on the dining table, and in indoors is watching the telly or something like that over there, it's not gonna bleed over to where he is. It's just gonna keep your, your source of light there. You also get one of these. Now, if you buy the black lamp, which is the one that's in at the moment, you'll get a black one of these. You don't get a white one of these. You get a black one of these, right? So on here, what you've got here is you've got your on-off button there, right? Uh, this one. No, this one's not plugged. Oh, no, I'm switching the white one on over there. <laughs> right, so that's your on-off button there. Then here, you've got a 60-second timer or a 10-minute timer. There you go, there you go. So there's your 60 seconds and your 10 minute timer. Here are your five different brightnesses up and down. These here are your colours but up and down. But then if you click on that one there in the middle, you get a night light. So if you've got any child's bedroom, you can just put the night light on. It gives a lovely, lovely nighttime glow. Here you can go straight to 20% of the lighting, 50% or 100% brightness. Then here you can just go automatically to warm automatically to cool or automatically to mix so you get all of that with it as well and you get the battery that goes in here in the in your first um, when you buy it the first time 
119 .99. that's the black one that's the black one we've also got it in the white let me just switch that one off Here's the white one. Beautiful, isn't it? Just depends. Now, it's really weird because I can't tell you which is the most popular. When we first launched them, the black one flew out. Came on the second show and I said, oh, the black one's the most popular. Black one's And that show, the white one was the most popular. So it depends where, which room you're putting them in. The thing about them is, is they don't have to be workroom, do they? They could be in your lounge. They could be in your dining room. They could be in your hall. They could be in your bedroom. You could have them wherever you want them. This, again, is exactly the same. I'll just lift it up. Oop. This one here, you get the white base. <laughs> Very dusty in our new studios. You get the white base, and then it's white all the way through, and then you've got your control panel there, and you'll get the white um, remote control with this one as well. 119.99, three split pays of 39.99. Please take advantage of that split pay, because there's no interest charge whatsoever. We don't charge any interest, it's just the price cut down th th into three, right? Um, you'll pay your P&P, &P if you, uh, oh, now these come directly from Claire at Native Lighting, but if you pay three ninety five already for, if you bought the early birds and PU or anything, that covers it. What happens is, is the things you buy from us come from us, the things you buy, these come directly from Claire, but still only one P&P. Do not put express delivery. Anything that is what we call dropship, which comes from the supplier, so it's like Elna, Juki, Mandy Shaw, Joe Carter, the big native lights, the small native lights you can do because they come from us, but anything that comes from Claire, don't do that because that, it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that because it only... Oh, no, they're fast anyway. She's, she's just moved into a new warehouse. They're very, very fast anyway. But I'm, all I'm saying is some people... Don't, like, if you buy some fabric from us, you can do express delivery and it's there like that. Do you know what I mean? Whereas you do, it does, it's only when it comes from our warehouse, that's all. Um, but, 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 you don't, we don't wait till the whole £120 is paid. You, so if you bought this today... And you did split pay, you paid your £40 today plus your PP if you've got to pay, pay that. We send the light straight away. So at midnight tonight, an email goes to Claire saying, Hayley from Dudley has bought one of these, please send her one. She will then set the wheels in motion to send it out to you. Well, she doesn't do it, she's too grand to do that. The staff do that. 119, it's a brilliant lamp. I love mine. Absolutely love it. The Oh, yeah, and also you don't have to... It's not like you have to remember to pay the other charge, charge in a month's time and then three months' time. We automatically take it from the source that you paid the first one with. And, they, and it's got a one-year warranty, yeah. One-year warranty. Brilliant. Moving on. Oh, Liberty, this is gorgeous, this. Now, we can't remake this at the moment because some of these have sold out on their own. These are the jewel colours, right? These, they're so beautiful, these colours. We all had um, different, different, ha we all had different favourites when we first launched this. So you get uh, 15 fabrics, but you're only paying for 14, so you get half a metre for free. Obviously, these are already cut, so these, if you buy two of these, they don't come joined together. You will get a metre of each of them, but they're made up of two half-metre pieces. Oh, look at those colours. You can see why it's called uh, uh, dual tones, can't you? <coughs> we just wait for the camera to focus while you have a look at them. There we go. Oh, Bruce hates this camera, everyone. 10486 per look, split pay. You pay 52.43 today and 52.43 in a month's time. And then it's paid for, and you get all of those, and you get one for free. So actually, it works out, when, with that half a metre off, it works out at 6 99 a half metre. Go to Liberties. Right, now, this is a bit controversial, right? And I'm not sure if I'm going to say this, but Hayley's here. I'm going to say it. Go to Liberties' website and see, they sell this. They sell this. It's not exclusive to us. They sell it. Go to the quilting weight. It's not Loch Tar and Tarna Lawn. It's the quilting weight Liberty, Law, uh, Liberty fabric, right? Quilting weight. Go and see how much it costs there. So if you bought this bundle, they work out at 6 99 half a metre. Even at £7.49 half a metre, if you want to buy them individually, even at £7.49, they're still a brilliant buy. Oh, they're beautiful. Seven and a half metres you get there. 15 different fabrics, half a metre of each, and you get one of those for free. Lynn says, I thought you said emails are not working today. Lynn, they're not. 
Lynn, the emails aren't working. That white box underneath there is uh, being sent through. That's not an email. That's being sent through the website. And Facebook Live is on here. It's the emails that aren't working today. Um, Donna says, good morning, John and team. Looking forward to Delphine. Good morning, John, the sewing crew. Have a gorgeous day, says Kat. Not our, either of our cats. Lynn lives in a mobile home. Can you imagine what the wind sounds like? Did you know you could buy a normal plug with USB on the end? Yes, I knew that, Marie. Thank you. I'm a pure advocate, native lighting. Um, anyway, uh, she had an issue. This is Michelle and got it all sorted. Uh, that's brilliant. Yeah, message around across my bottom. Hi, John. I have my light now and love it. Easy to put together and works a treat over my lounge chair while knitting. Doesn't disturb hubby's TV from Gaynor. Thank you, Gaynor. No, it's brilliant. It's brilliant because you can push it right up against the side of the armchair. I don't know why I was rubbing my leg then. Side of the armchair or the thing. Hello, John. Best light I could have purchased for crafting. When not in use, I fold it down the neck and it fits behind my chair. Shirley in Southampton. What does Shirley look? You mean like this? Like that, you mean? It will, it will bend in a bit more than that. There you go. There you go, yeah. Sit behind your chair then, won't it? Mind you, I quite like it out on display. Because if I'm not using it... Oh, that one's not plugged in anymore. If I'm not using it, I sometimes will put mine on like that. Look, and just like the wall behind you, like that ambiance. Morning, lovely John. Glad to see you again. I get withdrawal symptoms when I don't see your cheerful face. Veronica, I'm in every day this week. I only had just day off. It's kind of a bit cold in here, isn't it? Uh, it's my birthday. Just know, I'll, just know what I'll buy with my penny. Love, Glennis, 67, nearly there. What are you going to buy? What are you, gonna, are you switching off, Kat? Just switch it off. Just switch it off, that's fine. Now the message. Uh, I have this floor lamp in white. It's fantastic. I've ordered the clip-on lamp from a caravanette. And that's from Yvonne. Uh, I've, got, I've got the clipper one. It's brilliant. They've got the clipper one in the gallery. Hi, John. I've got this floor lamp and I love it from Serain. In, uh, Serain. 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 Oh, Sarah in Hampshire. Sarah in Hampshire. Thank you, Bruce. I was thinking of all these gorgeous exotic names. Very good morning, John and team. It's so cold today. You're like a warm hug. Oh, you don't want to be hugging me today. Uh, thanks, but thanks, Neve. I'm, I'm always hot, though. I'm always boiling hot. Uh, morning, John. Could I use the PU to cover my kitchen chair seats? Yeah, could I use the PU to cover my... Yeah, yeah, you could, because it's wipeable, downable, and breathable. Love from Sheila in Merseyside. But, me Sheila, make sure you've got pants on, because you'll stick. You'll stick. You can't got pants on. Oh, are you? Well, so, we're going to the Liberty website now. Here's the fabric. Is that the same as our colours? It's not, but it doesn't matter. It's the same range. Right, I can't see, I'm afraid. 16.95 for one meter and that's at liberté the actual shop liberté the shop 16 was it say 16.95 sorry right 16.95 a meter and how much is ours 15 pounds on a good day and if you buy this bundle it's uh 14 pounds see i don't know how that happens how have we got it cheaper than the actual store that makes it Bruce is going to explain it to us in a minute because he's got a professorship in economics. Do you know if Bruce won the lottery, right? We were talking about this this morning. He wouldn't even come in and say goodbye. No, he'd just go, right? He texts, he, well, yeah, he texts in. He texts in saying, I'm not coming in. I said the other day when I, I was convinced I was going to win that 195 million last week or the week before, I said to Hannah or Kat, I can't remember which one was, I'll come and do the eight o'clock show for you so you're not left in the lurch, then I'll be going. <laughs> 104.86 this. No, moving on. Beautiful. Where are you going next, Sam? I've got two, two lots of paperweights here. I've got the Stone Street ones. Here you go. I've got the right ones. These are... Oh, I haven't got a number for these. Uh, exclusive to Sewing Street. Because, look, they've got Sewing Street written on them. Ow, ow, ow. When you get them out, be careful you don't bend your nails back. That's all. Oh, can you? Look. 
Look, there you go. So you can have them like that. Or you can have them like that. There's no doubting where they've come from. Oh, no, they haven't got Saint Street on that side. They've got Saint Street on both sides. Why? 1399, totally not exclusive from us. Only 700 have bought, <laughs> 700 of you bought these. What? Oh! She doesn't tell me anything. 999. 999, yeah, four weights there. 999, exclusive. They actually have that exclusive in capital letters, really, so they. Um, can we have a blooper show over Easter? No. The whole show's a blooper, isn't it? Uh, Teresa says, good morning. More beautiful fabric. Very windy here in Essex. Wish, wish me luck walking to work. You be careful, Teresa. Julie says, you love working, John. I do, Julie, but that's because I've got a mortgage to pay. I have got a mortgage. Yeah. 9.99. Retirement, yeah. That'll be coming up soon. I've got enough to retire now, apparently. You see, Ali, the lady who looks after me, my business manager lady, she's retired. She wasn't planning on it, but she had a meeting with her financial advisor. Went, you do know you've got this much in your pension. She went, right, well, stop. So she stopped working. You know Ali, don't you? She stopped. I know. She's going round, travelling around the country in a chip van. Well, I call it a chip van. She's got a Winnebago, like low. And she's just travelling around with Peter, her husband. Yeah, but you're a lot younger than we are. Because you're only in your 40s, aren't you? How old are you, Bruce? Oh, yeah, you should start thinking about it soon. Then. <laughs> Retiring. No, he says he loves his job so much, he's never going to retire. 9.99, keep going through for those. Got some others here. These are more jubilee -y. These are not exclusive to Sewing Street. These are pattern weights. Look, I'll just get them out. Now I know how to get them out of the packet. Oh, I'm very noisy. Oh, I'd like to be a car mechanic. Yeah. Anyway, look. Two Union Jacks. Two, oh, Ange, look away. Ange doesn't like butterflies. They're butterflies with a Union Jack on their back. The tin would be perfect for hexes. It would, after you've got them out. Beautiful. Get those and the, and the Sewing Street ones. That'd be nice. Lovely tin, yeah. Oh, oh, I've broken the tin. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I've just not put the thing in properly. There you go. £13.99, pencils. Lovely gift, yeah? I don't know where I've put the... I thought it had a little slider over it. Anyway, not to worry. That, look at the time already. Nearly time for Delphine. Moving on. <coughs> what, what? <coughs> Cotton Osnaberg. I'll tell you what we should do. We should do this, because this would be good for part of Delphine's project as well. We'll do that next, right. Osnaberg, beautiful Osnaberg. Now, if you're gonna do a bit of red work, do a little, you can use it for backing of quilts. 279 for half a meter. I'd say it was 44 inches wide this, I'll just double check. Yep, 44 inches wide, machine washable. It's got a lovely open weave to it. It's got a natural slub in it as well, but perfect for doing cross stitch or, oh, oh, now I found out, and I'm not gonna tell you, this, it's a secret, right? But I'm not gonna give the whole, there could be a new guest on here next Thursday, and I had to check with, am I in next Thursday? Just double check. He came through and he went, I'm on with you on Thursday. Yeah, it's me. Got a new guest, got a new guest on Thursday do, doing cross stitch. 279. You'll know, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but you'll know him. He works next door sometimes. He's lovely. Anyway, 279. I'll have to go on a diet though because he's lost a lot of weight and I'll look really fat next to him. Keep going through for that, right. Yeah, multiplying. It's like calico. It's like calico, but not. Right, I'm going to do this next because. If you're going to do this project from Delphine, or any of Delphine's projects, she's going to do a bit of embellishment on the um, ducks on the canal one as well. Um, 
get this right because what you do is you get this it's an embroidery thread organizer i'm not going to open it we've got one of these open somewhere oh it might still be no no it might still be the old place cap so it's 9.99 inside it looks like this right but you get a hundred paper bobbins to wind your thread round but you also get now they will be random i can't guarantee the color of these but you get 10 dmc skeins i know all of that for 9.99 no derek the wrong person since when has he done cross stitch you tell me i don't think they are oh are they 10. right so let's say that let's just say for example they're a pound each there's 10 pounds so that means you get all of that for free then doesn't it if, even if they were just a pound each, right? You get those. Nine nine nine. I haven't got very many of these left. We will reorder it, but I can't tell you when. You see, it says there, accessories not included. Well, we're including 10 of them. But you will get 10 random colours from the box. I don't know what she's waffling about. She said, you know when someone buys you something, you don't like it. Oh, okay. At 9.99. It's a nice little treat. You could, what you could do is if you're thinking, you could do those two gifts for somebody. Birthday, Christmas, you know what I mean? Easter, Easter. Oh, hang on, it's Easter soon, isn't it? No. Right, roller. Clover roller. At fifteen ninety nine. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, right? When I first saw this, right, we work it was a sewing quarter, and one of our guests used to bring in her own roller. Excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. Used to that means a couple does it mean an argument? Does it mean an argument when you've got an itchy nose? One of our guests used to bring in her granddad's old wallpaper roller for the same trick and it was beautiful it was like wood and everything like that and then i said to her one day oh you can't use yours anymore we've got this thing and i said look at it this bit of cheap old plastic for 15.99 i couldn't have been more wrong right this you will never ever ever realize till you get this home how brilliant this is what you use it for is you just use it like this to, to press open your seams like that. So if you're doing your quick, you just want to press open your sleeves or finger press, whatever. It's just a little roller. It's empty here, so that it's like you know those um when they make jewellery and they don't fill the gold up, they just put that to make it lighter. So it looks like you've got lots of gold, but you haven't really, right? Oh, also talking about, do you see Debbie? Debbie on our sister channel, Gems yesterday. Debbie Cavill. Yeah, demand toy garden. They were doing. Anyway, that's by the way. This is brilliant. You will not realise. You will not realise till you get it out of the packet and you start pressing seams open with it how brilliant it is. 15.99. Which one? What are we going to do? We have to do this. Back in stock. Oh, have you not got this? Why not? It was on the sheet you sent me last night. Okay, Aurifil, this is your necessities. Right, I'll show you this one first of all. What colours do you use most of? Black and white, and then for piecing, you use the sand and the silver, don't you? This box here is called your necessities. $35.99, right? You get all four of these in here. It works out at 69p, 100 metres, right? You try buying a roll of, a reel of cotton with 100 metres on it, quality for 69p. You see, people go, oh, yeah, Orphan, it's lovely, but it's a bit expensive. It's not. It's not at all. It's because you're buying it on a bigger bulk. And you want more, don't you? Now, you can use this on the overlocker, but I wouldn't. I'd save that for my best sewing. Yeah, yeah, people say once they've used Orphan, that's it. They come back to it. Brilliant. 35.99. Itchy nose means you're getting a surprise, apparently. Okay. Okay, $35.99. Keep going through it. We've just reordered this. It's just come back in stock. Just come back in stock because it always sells out. Because 
sewing wise what do you use you use black and white don't you all the time black and white then you're doing piecing or if we say wait we always say to a person who's making a quilt don't we what color did you use or oh, either use a sand or a silver no matter what color the quilt is they use a sand or a silver believe me they are color and you can use in your bobbin as well they're colors you're going to use over and over and over again you got a sad story say that again I, I don't I don't blame him yeah you see so Joseph how old is he now 10 right Joseph who's a lovely little lad well, I haven't seen him for ages but he's a lovely little lad hey what yeah bring him in bring him in he'd love it here wouldn't he he'd better play whole football in one of the offices anyway he told his mum Hayley last night at half past 10 oh by the way mum it's Easter bonnet day at school tomorrow I don't want to wear one so he's gone to school this morning without an Easter bonnet I can't they shouldn't, you shouldn't have to wear one if you don't want to. He obviously really didn't want to wear it either, did he? Half past ten. What was he doing awake half past ten at night? When you've got, to, when he knows you've got to come into work at this time, well, you're supposed to come into work at this time of the morning. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Delphine's up next. We're doing this now. This, I said to Delphine when she came in this morning, I think this is one of the best that she's ever done, right? I love this. It's gorgeous. Now, you know what it is? It's not one of the ones where, like Leo the Lion, where you have to cut all the different shapes out and pop them down and everything. It's a panel, right? So it comes with that drawn on it. And then she, we, on the panel come flowers and other bits of fabric. And then we're going to be selling threads and everything like that to go with it. And just create it to as much. Or if, if, that, if, if you think, oh, that's too frightening for me, John. I can't do that. You could also do this, right? which is literally, this is the panel. She hasn't added anything here. She had a few stitches on the mountains and appliqued on a few flowers at the bottom there. So you can go from that to as advanced as that. It's the same panel. This here is the same rabbit as that one there. This one's got all the stitching on. That one hasn't got anything on it. Right, don't go anywhere. We will see you back here in four minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. It is time to reveal our five Search for Star Sewing finalists. Earlier on in the year, we asked you, our viewers, to apply to be our next Sewing Street Sewing Star and we were overwhelmed with the amount of applicants. We have watched hours of audition videos and we have somehow managed to narrow it down to our chosen five finalists. Our five very talented finalists will be on your screen next week from Monday the 4th of April to Friday the 8th of April. And we've dedicated an hour each day to each contestant to do their demonstrations. We're handing over the choice of the winner to you. So on the Friday after everybody's done their live demonstrations, the voting will be open. Join us all next week to help us choose our Sewing Street Sewing Star.
In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! <laughs> Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! <laughs> Look, Sophie! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm upside down on my monitor. No, I'm not upside down on your telly. Suddenly, I'm, I, I watched that last advert that was going out and I said to Bruce, Bruce, that one's upside down. He went, no, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's my monitor. I, on my monitor there. Look, Cat. Look, come in, Cat. cat look at Cat. Cat's just going to have a look now. Look. So we'll have to change. How's that happened? In the, it's literally just gone, isn't it? Well, that's going to put me off big. T I wonder if he's been like that all morning. Cause I've, oh, no, because I did yet, but I didn't I? Anyway. How go oh, it's making me feel sick. How gorgeous is this? How beautiful is this, right? I'll turn it to Cat's camera so you can have a better look at it. Beautiful. I, I have to say, I think it's one of your best, Delphine, this. Absolutely love it. The other one I've, I've nicknamed Ducks on the Canal in Stratford, but this one <laughs> I think is gorgeous. Completely and utterly gorgeous. And it's not, like I was explaining, it's not one like, if you, I mean, all of Delphine's projects are brilliant, but sometimes like a Cora one or the watch one, you know what I mean? It's like kind of, you've got to get your brow. This is like an afternoon of just pure, lovely yeah. sewing, isn't yeah. it? You haven't got to sit there going, oh, which bit goes on? Where's his nostril? Where's his, what have I done with his nostril? <laughs> none of that, none of that at all. And what happens is how you make it is you buy this panel. Now I know loads of you've come in already for this, right? You just buy this. It's all you have to do to start with. It looks really weird, because I'm going to just look at that telly over there. <laughs> Gorgeous, isn't it? So what you've got here is now Delphine, she came in this morning, she said, I'm really proud of this, I've done all this myself. <laughs> I'm going to put, oh, I've got an overhead camera, I can't put it on down. Right, wait till you see this, right? <laughs> I went, 
how's this happened? Oh, I can't even read the graphics now. 11.99, 11.99. That's what you can make out of it. Don't look at that now, look at this now, because this is what you get for your 11.99. You get your panel, and then you get all these squares of gorgeousness in the middle there, and then you get your flowers to cut out there. 11.99. 11 pounds and 99 pence that's all it is so that's all you need and then what you'll need is you'll need some some bonder web so i'll do it now i'll let you go through i'll actually yeah 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 half the stock have gone right now I need to, I, I'm going to have to move over here because I can't bear looking in that camera. Right, OK. Hello. <laughs> and this is Delphine, by the way, if you've not wa watched us before. Oh. Look at us, we're very bright today, aren't we? Well, aren't we just... Oh, I like these flowers. Thank you. That's we'll not cut, a flower. Should we cut them out and put them on there as well? You could, actually. I could bond a web that. You could. Shall we try that? Oh, I'll take it. And she walked into my dressing room earlier when I had no clothes on anyway, so I, it's fine. Well, I've got pants on. Well, she did she, went, she knocked on the door and then she went, it's only me. <laughs> anyway, 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 what I need to tell you is we're, we're very aware that Delphine always sells out, right? So we had twice as many as we normally have printed up, right? Already, right, how many minutes are we in? Nine minutes we're into the hour, right? Half the, more than half the stock's gone and more in baskets. So that... We, we're listening to you with say because you, you complain because you go oh I tried to get Delphine's thing and there was none left because what we're trying to do now is have enough of the show and then for those of you who watch at night time on the on the YouTube or on the website I know you can't watch on the telly anymore at night time but if you watch on the YouTube or the website right we want there to be some left for you so we've done but at this rate 10 minutes in over half the stock's gone and all she's done is chase around a rabbit you know what I mean yeah because it's that easy yeah if it was that easy, we'd all be doing it. Exactly. We? It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, yeah. how does she colour? Because that's coloured in a bit weirdly, isn't it? It's so I, I do it on uh, Procreate. It's basically um, software, so yeah. it's all my own drawing. And yeah, 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 yeah. And so all I've done is blended all the colours. Together. It's lovely. It's so gorgeous. It took, it took, I wish I'd brought my iPad in actually to show you the original drawing. Because the original drawing took me days to make to do. Oh, really? it, it, there was a lot of detail in the drawing. And then, um, so then I work with um, Lou, who's absolutely incredible at her job. And uh, we just work together. Lou, we haven't seen for ages and ages. She's no, not been no. in, has she? And, uh, and Let me see drew, drew up my, um, you know, my lovely um, doorstop. Mm. I just said to her, this is what I want. And she came back and it was like brilliant from the word go. She's fantastic. Anyway, so so she then she then creates it into a into a project to print, have it yeah, printed Yeah, so, so I did the basic panel. So I did um, the drawing and yeah. I also did my, my original drawing. I've actually had all the flowers on there. Right. So then we've just taken them off. So it's an option for everyone to put your own flowers where you want How them. How brilliant. And then obviously the um, charm squares. Well, yeah. Yeah, five um, inch charger. Yeah. Right, so eleven ninety nine, you get that and all the fabric and the flowers and everything on that on that panel. Right, I'm just going to go back because I'm just going to do this. So, um, please keep checking. Uh, oh, don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh, come back. I didn't realise Bruce was in here. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't realise Bruce was in here trying to sort the camera. All right, Bruce, I'll stay here. I'll stay here. Okay, so uh, bond the web. We'll come back to this graphic. I brought, during the show, that graphic, I just want you to know everything that you might want for the show. This, it was today's early bird, right? So it's still at early bird price. I'm surprised there's any left, actually. Eight o'clock, we did it. Eight o'clock. There you go. That's the early bird. Now, there's five metres on that roll. It's 30 centimetres deep. Uh, crash! Delphine, tell me why, why, what's what is Bonderweb and how do I use it and what's it for and everything? So Bonderweb, if, well, if you do any of my projects, you need it. Yeah. <laughs> so all it is is a, it's a material, it's like, a bit like paper, where it's rough on one side and smooth on the other. You basically draw on it, stick it to the back of your fabric and then you cut it out. And then when you peel it off, you can just stick it down. Yeah. So it's make, it just makes your life a lot easier when it comes to applique. And, and how many of these do you get through a week? Oh. I, well, you know that I, I can easily get through a roll per show. Yeah, exactly. I but you, I mean, obviously, yeah. Delphine's doing it as a, as a living yeah. sort of thing. If you, buy, if you do lots of applique, then it's worth buying this mm. rather than lots and lots of packets. Because yeah. the little packet, even though you get 1.2 metres, I'm going to do it in a minute, you only get 17 and a half centimetres mm. worth. So it's just a, which is perfect for just your little projects, everything. But if you're going to be doing lots of them, and especially at an early bird price, 
1999. So I'll have that one. Okay, you have that one. Right, now, <laughs> other things that you've used are embroidery threads. Yes. Yeah. Now, I've got two different bundles of um, embroidery threads here. Which one do you want to do first, Hales? I've got the gold, bronze, a soft gold, and a silver. And let me just move that out of the way. Yeah, I used, I used both of those, actually. Hmm? On the... Um, Sky bit I use. Okay, so this is by, this is for hand stitching on it. Obviously, there you've got your embroidery thread there. This is the gold one. You got gold where well, you got silver, yellow gold, soft gold, and bronze in that one. Oh, you're watching Delphine Brooks with John Scott and Delphine Brooks. Ooh, that's fancy. Did Ian it? do this hour? Oh yeah, Delphine's logo on the left, which I still think looks like a bar of chocolate. <laughs> They're about to sell out. They're about to sell out. We've also got the other embroidery skeins here, which is a blue. They're still metallic -y. Mm. You've got blue. That's sold out. That's sold out. That's sold out. We've got machine um, glitter thread, metallic threads, glitter thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get gold, silver, bronze. Um, you get chamoya rubellite. You get paparaccia sapphire, you get an amethyst, and you get an emerald. $9.99, they are. That's machine thread, machine one. But make sure you use a, 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 a needle with a wide eye on it, mm -hmm. because the friction as it goes up and down can sometimes fray the thread. Mm -hmm. And don't put it in your bobbin. Put your normal thread in your bob bobbin and put this on the top. Moving on. Right. This bad boy is perfect for this kind of project because if you look how many well look how much Delphine oh nearly Delphine used all of these threads right all these different mm -hmm. threads Delphine used all of these for the project right hang on we'll just wait for the upstairs camera to focus so you get all of those all of those right so something like this is fantastic isn't it it's like a paint palette isn't it yeah 96 different colours there now, what you also get thrown in is this, which is the colour chart, which will be those 96 plus hundreds and hundreds of other colours they do. And the thing that's fantastic about the Metla colour charts is they don't colour it in with a pencil, it's actually the thread wrapped round little bits of cardboard. 149.99, split pay at 49.99. I've got a couple of price comparisons, Hayley says, here you go. £177. I want is that exactly the same? Is that the polychain? Yep, yeah, that's exactly the same. 177 Okay then. So ours is 149.99, split pair 49.99. That one's 177 And then there's oh hang on. Oh <laughs> Pay a bit more, 195. That looks like the same colourway, doesn't it? That's 195 pounds. That one. Same thing. 149 and on split pay of three payments of 49.99. There's only, oh, there's only three of these left. There's only three of these left. So you know, they would, in the break, Haley was saying to um, Delphine, "Oh, we we'll do a future show where you do. We won't be left. There's only three of these left. Will ya? Right. Let's just go back to the main panel again." No, that's not. That's mine. That, that, yeah, that's my prep. Yeah, hang on. Here you go. <laughs> I'll just do this behind you. Then the, poor old Bruce is stressing about that camera. It's gone completely upside down in the break. There you go. So the whole of this panel. I'll just wait for the graphics to go. Out. The whole of this panel. Eleven ninety nine. It's brilliant. Bargain. It is a bargain. Mm -hmm. So, how many have gone, Hales, now? Okay, then. So, hang on, let's work out. 80% of the stock has gone. 80% of the stock has gone. Could you sew it now, please? Okay. <laughs> I need an ironing mat. There we you go. need what? I was just grabbing the ironing board. Okay. Do you need anything? Is your microphone switched on? I think so. Is it? Should be. Where is it? Oh, it's not... No, I've got leggings on. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, she got... What are they? Well, they're my leather Oh, it's definitely ones. switched on, is it? Yeah. So you didn't need to... It's a good job I had leggings on, isn't it? Oh, where is it? No, oh, no, it's... Oh, no, I'll just excuse, excuse us at the moment. 
Right, I'm, just, I'm just going to move your necklace inside. Bruce, talk. Hello. I'm talking. Yeah, perfect, yeah, perfect. Right, lovely. I'll be over here if you need me. <laughs> oh, it's a good job I had leggings on then, isn't, isn't it? it just? But what well, are they? They're like pletherette yeah, jeggings, yeah. are they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you'd have to show everyone. Sexy, no, it's just, are they hold my tummy in? The what? They hold my tummy oh, in. Oh, do they? You can get <laughs> spanks for that. I've got those as well. Oh, have you? Right, so you just cut out your panel, your main square. Um, you can make it into a cushion or a piece of art. I like to just do a bit of everything, really. So, and then you've got your squares as well so we'll come on to these in, in a little while but you can actually use that to back the cushion or you can in a minute i'm going to show you how to create a little bit of um more texture and stuff on the mountain so All you right, will good. need your bond away yeah so i've already cut out my flowers yeah so let me just give this a bit of a press first because i want it to be nice and flat oh i need the big have you still got the big iron out there i have yeah i need to bring it in for the next hour that's all okay we'll swap over there yeah yeah there we go so then you get all your flowers out. So you, to, if you use the roll, rather than just getting individual pieces of um, bond web and putting them on the backs of the flowers, it can be a bit of a faff. So what I do is just get the roll and just put a whole sheet over that one side of yep. the, okay. the panel. So I've already been very well prepared actually today, John. So I've cut them all Makes out already. I oh, know it does. Make and you're early as well. I know. Well, the boss is in today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, no, it, it's easier to get up when it's lighter, though, isn't it? Was it lighter this morning? Well, I think so. Well, you know, it's not... Pitch what black, time did you get up? About half five. Oh, well, well I was on my way. Yeah, the, 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 it was, the, it the light was breaking through at half past five this morning, yeah. OK, so when we did the Highland Cow one, um, it's what I was explaining about how to create a bit more depth and what's going to draw your eye into the hair. Yeah. Or the rabbit, as you keep calling it. Yeah. So what you need to do is always create the height on the, on the sides. Right. Because if you create the height here and then it goes smaller, you're going to lose the whole composition of the picture. Oh, so Bruce, you, you need sure it in bigger. the gallery, I'm afraid. He's getting his steps in this morning, isn't, isn't he? Isn't he just? He's an athlete anyway, Bruce. Can you keep good? going? You're fine. You I'm, just keep I'm, going. I'm yeah. just going to keep going. Just when you haven't got an earpiece in today, it's absolute chaos today. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is... Ah, there we are. What have yeah. you got out there then? Where are those zigzaggy bits from? They're on there. They're on the panel. Oh, yeah, I haven't yeah, done yeah. anything fancy Yeah, yeah, all. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so you want to make sure that you build up your picture from the sides, bring it inwards so it's, a, so it's higher on the sides. So we've also got some really nice different shades of the flowers. What you want to do is try and keep the blue ones, the darker ones, for this side of the hair. Right. Because obviously the sunlight, or moonlight, whatever you want it to be, is coming from this side. So you want the warmer tones around this side and then the cooler tones on this side. Oh, yeah. So then you're thinking about your reflective light. Of course. Yeah. That's what you were going to say, that wouldn't you? I would know. <laughs> Been a long time since I was at art school. Crazy yeah, sure. Lorraine says good morning. Morning. So uh, Graham, that oscillating sound is because they've got the um, air conditioning on next door. So all I'm going to do is build up the picture. And you don't also, I haven't cut these out perfectly so yeah. you can just do them in because you've got that blue background so when you put them on there it will blend into the blue as well so we've okay. thought about that as well just had a question asking what size is a finished cushion about I just 18 the inches i think uh, just shy of 80 well it, once you're taking your seam allowance off it it's going to be 17 inches by 16 inches who was that? I didn't see who that one was from. There you go. This is gorgeous. Definitely a case of more is more. Even though it looks fabulous without any extra bit, the colours are lovely and so is Delphine Aww, from Kate in Merseyside. That's very kind. Oh, oh yeah. bless her. Thank you. That's very nice. So have you designed those flowers to go on the right and the left so we can yeah, see that the so warm again, ones we were, are on one side? Yep. Yeah, so um, there's... there's one one large blue one and then there's a couple of smaller ones so as well don't have them all just straight up like that move them around so they're on different angles as well you can put them wherever you like really this yeah. is just a few little tips this is the bit Hayley likes best she doesn't like all the stitching but she likes the placing of everything oh nice so when you do when you do your production line of these <laughs> then uh, she'll be in charge of placing in your news why isn't it finished 
It's looking good though. Have you it looks seen very it? good. Yeah, I've yeah, looked at the yeah. pictures. I haven't seen it. I've, I've seen got the, pictures. Um, the electrics have gone in now, so I've got I've got all the the carpenters been. I've got all the uh, the timber frames up now. Yeah. So it should be done in a couple. Are you weeks. having blinds put on your Velex windows and the roof? No. I, what are you going to do when the sun's directly above you? I don't know. Well, it's not going to be directly above me because I've got the lights the here, so I'll be mainly stood here. So it'll be. Oh, I see. So the the the, the Velexes aren't above your table. No, no. No, I can't wait to get in there. No, I'm excited. It's been a yeah. Long I'm cutting the ribbon, Haley. Yeah, have you not been invited? Oh, <laughs> mind you, Delphine came in this morning saying, um, and so I see you at the curry then, and I was like, what curry? Well, I've not been invited. Cat, well, and Kat's Kat got the date, it's all been confirmed and everything. I was like, I spoke to Kat last night and she didn't mention anything yeah, about going for a curry. Me, was it yesterday? I don't, I like don't know what day. I don't know what day is. Um, uh, yeah, I get intermittently invited, but Hayley never gets invited. Oh. It's a long way for you to come, Hayley, though. I would, yeah. What was it's that? on the 14th, then, Hayley. You're very welcome. There you go. Next week. Next week. Yeah, it's the 14th. I can't do the 14th. Actually. She's busy now. Yeah, it's next next um, Thursday. Yeah, because it's Easter next weekend, isn't it? Well, yeah, what's the event? Because the first time we went out was for your birthday. The second time we went out was for Stuart's birthday. I think it's just... Just going out. Just going out. Just for a curry, isn't it? Yeah, nothing fancy. Are we going to the one near your house then, that one? Next yeah, to the bakeries? Yeah, next to West's. Oh, yeah. it's nice that, yeah. Well, so in fact, I did a WI talk uh, last week in Bishop's Itchington. How was that? It was brilliant. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I, well, yeah, I thought I'd be there for half an hour and I was driving down the way to my home at midnight um, after having been in here all day, so I was a bit tired, but it was lovely. Um, but the lady who was in charge of it lives in your village. Oh, really? And what? I went, Why what? She... The same village that... Um, the baker is in and she went yeah yeah and I said the nice Indian next to it she said yeah yeah so she travels all the way to Bishop's Inchiton to go to a WI why don't know it's a nice one. Oh, fancy mm. I've oh. never been to Bishop's Inchiton before no it's nice there there's yeah. a nice um, walk along the canal isn't there oh, I don't know it was the middle of the night so I don't know but um I thought I was going to there's another Itchington isn't there that's near Long Itchington huh? there's Long Itchington oh is that there's one I thought I've been to a wedding at one and I thought that's the one I was going to. It was only when my neighbour said, oh, that's a quite a drive for you to go. And I was like, no, no, it's just there next to where we used to work at. Um... It's not, you can't get there. It's not a direct route to get to. From oh, your you get down the M40 and then it's, all right, getting there. When I came back, my car took me the wrong way. So I just ended up driving towards London on my way home. Oh, you didn't get the sat -nav late, took then. me the wrong way. I ended up on the M40 going the wrong way. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I don't care. Listen to the music on the radio. It's a lovely night and the windows open. Drove mm -hmm. fast. <laughs> the petrol's hardly cheap, is it, at the moment? Anyway, what are you doing there? Me wittering on? I've just, just placing them. Just placing them. Don't look at that screen, because it's upside down. Look at that one there. So, and then I've just finished it off with the green bits on the side. And like I said, I've put them all in different directions. Uh, oh, OK, so, so far, we've only cut out the flowers and the leafy bits. So you haven't used any of the five-inch squares yet? No, I'm going to do that in a minute. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. So, so, so far, all you've cut out... I'm just going to show you this to my camera, even though I'll be upside down. We've only used... That little bit at the end there, yeah. and the main panel. We haven't touched any of those five-inch squares in the middle yet. Right, OK. So I'm just going to press those down. Yeah. Don't press them down until you're definitely sure that's where you want everything. Yeah, and the beauty of this project, you can just... Um, what I would do if you're doing this for the first time is like lay them all out, take a photograph with your smartphone or your iPad, and then lay them out in a different way. And then you can, ch you know, so you're not committed then. Because yeah. you might think, oh, that looks really nice, and then just change it around a little bit. Yeah. There you go. You come to have a look at why it's upside down. Look at the monitor. Not the bottom one there, because that, that, the actual thing there. Do you know anything about cameras then, Hayley? Why will it have done it? Why will it have suddenly just jumped? It's fine. I'll just have to. Bruce will what? No, Bruce wasn't in here. I see Bruce was in there. Have we not got? A, we've got a team of people we can bring, can't we? To sort it out. Oh, oh, oh! Haley's seen something. Haven't she? Going to press something. Go on then, press it. No, Haley, whatever you're doing, it's not working. You carry on, Delphine. Ignore the Haley. Haley. Well, yeah. Oh, 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 that was it. Oh yeah, it's the right way up now. now. Whatever you just pressed, the right way up. 
the buttons on the side. I'm back. I'm back, everyone. <laughs> Who needs an engineer when you've got Haley in the building? Right, OK, carry on then, Delphine. All right, then, we'll do some mountains. Oh, OK, then. Go so on. I want to show you the two different ways to do it. So you can do it this way, where you're cutting out the bits of fabric, or I have done it a lot more simple on the, on on the, the, cushion. On the cushion. Right, so, yeah. So this is where your bond web, again, comes in handy. So you want to always draw on the... Glue the or glue side. Okay, so I never used to do that when I when I used to use it. So all I'm going to do is just cut out, like just draw, just some random. Oh, random you're doing shapes. it that way because if you draw on the paper side, it's the other way around. It will round, be the, isn't it it? Yeah, be the course, other way around. Of course. So all I'm doing is drawing a couple of random shapes, really, like triangles almost, uh -huh. and then you can choose all the different shades. So again, on this side of the mountains, you want them to be quite cool colours, quite. You know, like your, your pale blues and your pinks and things yeah. because it's going to be quite cold on that side and then you use your warmer tones on that side. Oh. But always start with your darker colour and you build it up. So it's like when you paint, you always paint, the, put the dark colour down first and then the light on the top. Oh, do you? Yeah. Because light paints, it's a dark paint. Same when you use fabric. So if I put the light colour underneath and the dark, it wouldn't work. Yeah. So I'm just going to use some of these. Oh. Yeah, what Delphine does is after the show, on her Facebook page, she puts pictures of different, of close-ups of it and everything yeah. to show us. <coughs> Hayley was worried that you weren't going to be able to see, you know, like get a print of it. But if you already go to Delphine's page, actually, there's about five pictures on there already yeah, on the top there. Yeah, but I will put close-ups yeah. as well, so I will put them on yeah. there. And it's Delphine Brooks Mixed Media. Thousands of you there. We've got thousands of mutual friends. We have got a few yeah, mutual friends. What, we? what? We have got some mutual friends. Yeah, lots. Um, yeah, you can always watch it back on YouTube or on the fa on our website. But if you want to see a still of the actual picture, you can see where Delphine's actually stitched and everything. She's uh, only so far. She's only put the rabbit up. She's not put the ducks on the canal up yet. <laughs> and if anybody wants um, a certain part of it explained a little bit more, yeah. you know, feel free to mess. I will, you know, go through. I'm not going to just leave you out. Keep it in the cold. No, Hang in there. No, what are you trying that. to say, Hayley? Oh, Hayley, you know you've taken the pit the picture's got the right way up, but now the graphics gone back to front. <laughs> uh, it's eleven ninety nine. Yeah, because we haven't put any instructions in or anything like that. You're just following Delphine's um It's such an easy project yeah. though. Easy to do, not easy to design. There we go. So I'm just building up a couple of different. I haven't taken the backs off this yet. I'm yeah. Just... But as you can see, all I've done is cut out little like triangles almost. Yeah. Oh. And I'll, I'll do a little bit with the. Um, the whole thing's gone off now. The lighter blue, and there's some really nice um, okay, textures right. in some of these shapes as well. Of in these. Charm squares. Um, for some, there's no graphics at all on it now. Oh, now it's gone upside down. Now it's back up. Sorry, everybody at home, now it's gone off. So what's happened is, there's nothing there. Right, that's the right way up. There's just no graphics on it now. I don't mind not having graphics on that one because I've got them on every other screen. And we can sort that out after the show. They put on the wrong, on the wrong side. They've done a mirror image. They flipped across. Oh, I don't know. I knew it was going to be one of those days. I didn't sleep very well. Oh, you'll sleep well tonight then. You're on tomorrow as well. Oh, no. I am on for four days now. But uh, well, tonight, I'm, um, uh, there's a girl in my road who is learning to sew. So she's coming for a sewing lesson tonight because she's doing a project for her textiles O level or whatever the exams are. O level. What are they called now? <laughs> she well, GCSEs, GCSEs are they? they? I don't know. O level. Well, it's the 16 year old <laughs> exam. So she's coming around today, so I'm going to show her how to put a zip in tonight and how to um, do some applique. What? Well, I'm sorry, I'm actually charging for that. Nothing. Though. Oh, you are good. I'd like two of you two will be able to sew. You can do, teach me to do a bit of dressmaking, John. All right then. Delphine must have a very special brain, you're telling me. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Hare is a real work of art from June. Isn't it, June? It's just fantastic. Thank you, June. Thank you, John. You've actually been nice about that one. 
You like this one then? Did I say something nice? No, no I love this one. I do <laughs> love this one. Wait till we get on the ducks on the canal later, then I'll have things to say. Oh, he's never pleasing some people, is there? No. Be boring if you're pleased us all the time. <laughs> anyway, you look lovely at your wedding. Oh, thank with you. With your very curly much. hair and everything. Oh, thank you very much. It was a lovely day. It was beautiful, wasn't it? That was our summer. Yeah. I got all my garden furniture out that day. It's all back in the garage yeah, now. It's gone, isn't it yeah. now? For now, it could be back. No, it was a it was a lovely day. Really nice venue. Oh. Where was in, it? In the middle of the Chipping Camden, middle of the Cotswolds. It was really Oh, good. I know it's nine minutes from my house. Yeah, it was nice. We had um it was all Nick's um friends from school. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had a good time. He was a bit worse for wear mine. Was he? Well, you were watching us the next morning, weren't you? Was it the next morning or two days later you were watching? Because we mentioned it before and you were watching from home. I can't remember. Was that Mother's Day? Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So did the kids do you proud on Mother's Day then? Um, um, no I breakfast in bread. lovely cards. No, oh. I didn't have breakfast. Well, we lost an hour, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was in here. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, so we lost an hour's uh, sleep because of... Um, the clock's going forward. How rude to do that on Mother's Day. I oh, know. And then um, we went for a Sunday roast at Borton on the Water. Oh, lovely. So that was really lovely. And then I went home and fell asleep. Yeah. Oh, and I watched the rest of Bridgerton. Oh, I still haven't watched it. I've watched half it. I've got so bored with it now. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was, it was nice. It yeah. was nice. It was a nice day. There we go. All right, I'm just going to put a bit of white on there uh -huh. and I'm going to do a bit of sewing. Can we see that? Oh, yes, there you go. So also I'm using the, I like to use the salvage as well, I don't. The don't white? Like the white bit, I don't like to waste it. Have they got snow cap mounted? Oh no. They can do. Yeah. I, I think I did. Yeah, a little bit. There's some, um, you know, uh, I don't know if you know how well you know my village, but you know there's the main uh, road through my village. Yeah. But there's also a top road, I think it's called Mil Milcott or something like Milcott, that. Milcott, yeah. Yeah, Milcott, and you can cut yeah. through from that road to into my village. There's a road yeah. to cut through, right? There's a great big hare that lives on that road, right? And he's massive. He's about this big. He's like this. It's about this big. Well, this telly's not this telly's not changing now. I don't know what you've done to it. No, it's not. There's nobody. There's all we've got on this is a close up of Delphine's desk now. Anyway, anyway, so it's about it's about this big, and he just sits there like this and watches the cars go past. And he must be so old because he's really wiry and everything, and he's massive. He's absolutely huge. But. I don't think I've ever, see, I've ever seen a hare no, in real he, life. And, he's, and, he's, and he just sits on the road, because it's a very quiet road. Yeah, it's really it. quiet. In yeah. fact, to tell you who lives on that road, uh, uh, Vanessa, who does crocheting on, on Yarn Lane. It's a small world, isn't it? We've got quite a few people that live around where, yeah. we, where we are. That's still on Delphine's cutting mat now. No, it's no, no, different to that. It's not one above, it's the, the one from the front. Sorry, everybody, with all our technical issues here today. Oh, no, no. Can't it's still Evix, it's searching, it says. Need a pin. Where's all the pins go? What do you need? Need a pin. Oh, there's some pins on that head table there. Yeah, I had my nails done yesterday, so I can't scratch it off. Oh, uh, I've got nothing now. So that one's still on Delphine's desk, and that one's gone off completely. <laughs> I don't know, nothing like live telly is there to keep you on your toes. <laughs> Never a dull moment, is there? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 no, hang on. You've gone to a very strange shot now. I don't know where, even what that shot is. Right, oh, no. No. It's not, it's not picking up the shot that Bruce is on. It's only... Sh You're on the above camera now, aren't you, Bruce? Yeah. So we, you need to, it doesn't even give you a choice of the up, up, upstairs camera. And that, and that whole monitor's gone off now, the one underneath it. Oh, here we go. You keep going, Delphine, you're doing a brilliant job. <laughs> I'll just carry on making my mountains. Right, stop. St don't touch anything. Are you still on the upstairs thingy? Right, so I've got the graphics back, I've got the right picture, so you're perfect. But this one's gone completely black down here. And so I can deal with, I can cope without it. I'd rather have that picture and the graphics in. Leave the camera alone now, and Bruce can do the monitor later. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry, Delphine. It's all right. <laughs> oh, just so you know what you're doing, isn't it? Well, I won't go that far. Uh, 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 Hayley says we will be getting more embroidery threads in. We apologise they're sold out so quickly. So, who, who, who was that from? Lynn. Lynn, my love. 
I mean, oh yeah, ring the call center. 0800 001 4433. We can't sort anything out, out from here because we haven't got the access or anything. They're literally just up there. Give them a call now. It's completely for free and they'll sort it out for you. Question about, are those tulips on the shelf Amber Makes or Alison Marion's? Great project by Delphine from Linda in Hornchurch, who lives near where my dad used to live. Uh, they are Alison Marion's. And they're all her kits. They're not Ian's kits, those. They're all her kits. Because Ian did some as well. They're all her kits. They're Alice and Marion's. Da, um, Amber makes ones are ones in a pot. Do you remember? Because um, lovely um, Emily made them on Tuesday, didn't she? On Search for a Star on Tuesday. Have you been enjoying Search for a Star? We've got Ruth in today. She's going to be doing an Alice Caroline push in a minute. Right then, shall I do some sewing? Yeah, then? if you don't mind, I'll read some messages. Will you? Okay, you don't. Oh, you're one of you're one of Lorraine's favourite demonstrators. Just seeing you know, just one of. <laughs> don't get big-headed. Good morning, John and Delphi. Beautiful project says Shelley. Okay, uh, Graham says once you've stuck them down with the bond web, how long does it st stay stuck down for if you're slowing at slow at sewing? Oh, it will stay it will, as long as you don't move it around quite a lot. It will stay stuck down for quite a while. Oh, months! It will stay yeah, down yeah, for months. Yeah. And if you find it coming, away, Graham, if you find it coming away a little bit, just press it back down again, and that will take it down. The only you have to sew it though, because it won't say if you put it in the washing machine, they'll all come off. Or if you have it on a quilt or a duvet or something or cushion, they will come off. You don't you have to be stitched down but they'll stay there long enough for you to stitch them right wadding by the half meter if you want to use what now have you used wadding behind any of these yep behind oh, behind both of them there we are again look you are watching it, well, which way that comes in you're watching delphine brooks with john scott and delphine brooks and there's her logo Right, so this is wadding by the half meter 80 20 wadding beautiful and soft this is the one that most of our <laughs> Designers um, want. A oh no, there's only 11 meters left in stock. But this is where you don't just get it by the half meter like that. If you want three meters, you will get three meters. It, it comes in. It's cut off this huge, humongous roll uh, for you in the warehouse. But it's how much is it? 6.99 for half a meter. I oh, know. Right, what are you doing now, Duffy? I want to do some sewing. Oh, you got your sewing machine now. Huh? I have. We're doing the sewing machine in the 12 o'clock hour. It's the Delphine sewing machine of choice. It's the Elna 720. Um, right, Lynn says, have you quilted it in embroidery thread as the quilting is amazing? This is my first applique. No, just normal threads. Just um, normal threads. Yeah. Just normal threads, Lynn. Uh, Graham, it is double, right, okay, Graham, what it is, is it's paper on one side, glue on the other, you draw your thing on, you put the glue side to the fabric and you iron it so it sticks to your first fabric, then you cut it out, then you peel the paper off, then that side is sticky, so you then put that down onto the second fabric and iron it from the top there and it sticks it down to the first page. It's not sticky, it's not a, it's not a sticky fabric, it only becomes sticky when the heat melts the uh, glue on the back of it. What are you doing, Delphine? I just wanted to change my colour so you can see it better because I had a pink in there. All right. But I want you to be able to see the stitches easier. So I've just quickly changed it. Right, I'm ready now. Right then. So I'll start on this. So what, right, now what stitch have you got on? I am doing free motion. Oh, okay, so you've got your free motion foot on, which yeah. means that... You've dropped your feed so dogs. So I've dropped my feed dogs. I've got a darning foot on there. So right. it means I can basically draw you using the sewing machine. Brilliant. So a lot of people are afraid of uh, free motion, but there's no need to be. So it's like you're in charge of where it goes. Anyway. If you've never done, all I'll say is if you've never done free motion before, don't do it straight on the picture. Get a piece of, of, of fabric and just, now, uh, so you've got your, your thing laid on top of wadding. Yeah. Yeah. So have a get a practice. Get a piece of old uh, cotton that you've got in, in your stash. Put the wadding behind it and just practice. Don't do it immediately onto your um, project. So I'm just going to go around the flowers. And you can draw little details and everything on there as well. Uh-huh. So I'm not doing any blanket stitch or zigzag stitch to attach these. It's all free motion on this one. But if you don't want to do free motion, you can just go around all the pieces with a zigzag or blanket stitch. Uh -huh. Or you, this is even achievable by using just a um, 
a straight stitch, but it yeah. just means you have to do a lot more pivoting and taking it out. Yeah, of course. a little leaf there let me just turn that around if you've got the panel in your basket please make sure you check out becoming very limited now so i'll go around this one what did you just do then what was wrong with your thread sorry Why i just turned you... it it's because um the thread has to come off a spool a certain way yeah and um, because i was rushing i put it on the wrong way oh, okay that's right there we go that's better Like I said, just put in a little, tiny little detail on the flowers. Okay. So I'm not taking it out and starting again. I'm right, Graham says so we can't see it on the picture. Are you just doing the edges? Uh, no. So I'll show you a what I've done so far. Though, okay. Probably. Just put it on the. Oh. So all I've done. Is, just put I? it flat. Yeah, put it flat on the table. Yeah. So all I've done is go round and just add a little detail on the flower. So you've gone round the edge, but then you've yeah. come in to, to delineate the petals, sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. And then again, just uh, on the on the the bigger leaves. So I'll just do a well, few hang on, more. We can't see. Whereabouts on the leaf? Oh. Sorry. Where are we? There. Just here. Oh yes, yeah, so you've done the veins on the so leaf. I've done the veins well, so. on the leaf. Yeah. So and okay. also just going round the little flowers as well. So I'll do a few more of those and I'll show you doing the detail on the mountains as well. Right, uh, Bernie says she's only got a very basic Janome machine. She'd like to try free motion, any advice? Well, you do need to, have you got a darning foot or a free motion foot? Because that's imperative really, isn't it? Yeah, because even if you haven't got one for that machine, you can buy all. You can buy them parts separately. I think for my very first machine, I had to buy the foot separately. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, yeah. it doesn't come with the. It doesn't come with the. Like it doesn't come with the five fifty, five sixty, five seventy. Ring at the Elna phone number because the Elna Genomi phone number is the same. Speak to them and they can sell you the foot. And, and make sure that your machine uh, drops the feed dogs. I mean, most machines do, but make sure you don't even start it. You don't if your machine. Well, some people say you can do it with the feed dogs up, but it makes it much, like, much, much easier if you have the feed dogs down. Question for Delphine. John, can the hair be hand-stitched? I'm Delphine... I'm a Delphine newbie. No, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Delphine newbie. Thanks, Ange. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can... Yeah, you have to have a lot of patience, but of course... Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it all it's one of the, this. It's one of these projects that you can go all out and go cover it in thread and make it a thread painting so you can't even see the fabric underneath really really simple just keep the artwork as it is make a cushion you can put it in embroidery hoop and do yeah. all sorts there's loads of stuff you can do with it you could just do it as a normal applique thing and do yeah. blanket stick you cut out your flowers do blanket stitch yeah. around the edges or zigzag yeah. around the edges and do it yeah. like that and don't need to do all the stitching if you don't want to so i'm now just going to do the uh, detail on the field right so all it is is straight lines so it's coming out like a fan Right, so home. I'll do that and then I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just staying quite close to the line of that hill first. So that's where I'll start it off and then I'll go out. Straightish lines just to mark out the uh, hill shape. Uh huh. And then just down to the tree line, but try not to go through the trees because you want to make it appear that they're in front of this. Oh, right. So just taking your time, try not to go too fast, as it moves the fabric too quickly, yeah. I mean. But the thing is, however fast you move the fabric determines the size of the stitch, doesn't it? Yeah. So if you go really slowly, your stitch is going to be tiny and tiny next to each other. If you go too fast, they might be too big. Oh, there we go. I'll just stop it there. And you can see what I've done. There we go. Let me just move those so it's... Oh, I see. So you've made it into mount. Oh, no, I see. That's brilliant. So, so is that now a mountain or is that a furrowed field? That's a furrowed field. But what it's doing, it's bringing, it's drawing your eye closer yeah. into the picture. 
So you'll do that again on the other side, and then we'll start on the uh, mountains now. Okay, brilliant. So while I've still got the... No, in fact, I'm going to do the sun. Okay, yeah, because you've only got about four minutes left. So. Okay. Right, I'll do a bit of everything then. One. I'll just keep with the yellow thread. Right. So, this, so what I'll start with, go with the yellow, just go round and around and around and around, going bigger and bigger and bigger. And Minnie Harley says, morning all, such a talented lady. I absolutely love watching Delphine. Oh, oh thank you. Nice. And then the more you do it, it's going to create like a little cone shape in the middle. Uh huh. So that's when you'll go over it with a bit of white and then that will push that right down. So then what you'll do then is I'll switch to another colour. So you start off with the yellow going round and round and round and then I'll switch to uh, an orange and then go round and then the pink and then the purple oh, okay. and then finish off like, with the white right round the middle because that's going to make it stand Pop out, out. yeah exactly uh, Bernie says uh, my basic genome is so basic it doesn't drop the feed dogs it comes with a hard plastic base to cover up the feed dogs so could she still do it then? I don't know. No. I'm not sure. No. Uh, do you know what, Bernie? The best thing to do is ring the Elna Genomi helpline. They'll be able to tell you everything about that. I don't know. I don't want to say to you, oh, yeah, yeah, by the foot, because you're ready to do it. You need to speak to... Oh, maybe somebody out there knows if you can do that with it or not. When I do free motion, it appears all wiggly, says Debbie. It's just, it's just practice. Yeah. It's just, it's just, yeah. The, it, the, the main thing is, is to keep your speed consistent with the, so don't keep going on and off the pedal. You do want it to be quite quick. So, I wouldn't turn your speed down. You want it on the fastest yeah. setting. And you just got to be, just pedal to the metal. Just go for it. And you'll go. You're the one that's manipulating the fabric. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Um, it takes a while because if you're used to saying like I am, it takes a, it takes a while to get that f freedom because you kind of, what you're doing is using your pen, uh, you're using your needle as a pen. You're moving the fabric and the pen is writing it. So start off by doing uh, circles and squares and then try writing your name and things like that. And then, sl not on this, obviously when you're doing your practice and everything, and then do that. Graham, we'll do a close up of the flower once, uh, once Delphine's done it for you. So that's so. I'll just show you these bits, and I'll just quickly give you a tip of how to colour in the hair. Yeah. So all I've done there is you can just add on like a few little streams, almost, you know, like coming down the mountain. So again, whatever direction you want to put them in, you can, uh, by all means, uh, I'll put the stills on of mine, uh, the pictures. Feel free to just copy mine. Just use a, a free mo. A, a, friction pen and mm -hmm. just draw them on and go over the lines right and then that with the sun and then to do what i've the reason why i've colored the hair in like this is because basically it's like painted in numbers but with thread okay so all you do is a thread paint over the over the hair that's mm -hmm. all i've done okay uh, who was that message from oh yeah right okay so somebody's messaging they haven't got their name on it right uh, she tried free motion with the feed dogs down then she forgot to take them down one time. She did it with the feed dogs on. She finds it much easier. You can do it with it uh, with it up, but I think you get a more of a flow, don't you, yeah. with your feed dogs down? Because what your feed dogs are doing, they're feeding the fabric through, and you don't want the machine to be feeding through. You want to push it through because you want to go in swirly lines and things like that. But I always try both ways. So Bernie, maybe try it, but I would definitely ring the Genomi helpline because they can help you. Melanie says the hard. Oh, here you go. The hard plastic plate is the darning plate. It covers the feed dogs if the machine can't drop them. But Melanie, can you then do this? Can, they, can you then do free motion with it? Uh, Hayley says yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Anne says, machines come with a cover for the feed dogs, or maybe you can buy a cover for your machine. Carmela says, the lady with the old genome, the hard plastic plate is called the darning plate, and it should allow you to do free motion. This is what I love, right? This is what I love about I just have to say, oh, does anybody know? And you're all helping Bernie, right? So Bernie, everyone's saying you, you can put that on there, but you would need to also need to get your foot to do it. You can't do it with a normal foot. But how brilliant everyone's replying. Um, my old brother, not her brother, the brother sewing machine, had the same plate and I can free motion on mine. There you go. Oh, there you go. Kerry says, yes, you can do it. All you need is the foot. Covering them isn't as good, but can be done. So there you go, Bernie. So just ring Janome and ask them about the foot, how much the foot would cost. 
Yeah, we can see the plant again. I just, well, first of all, I just want Graham to see a close up of the flower so where I'll you've done your stitching. Oh, there, there's, so if you just look here, there you go. So just show Graham the flower, first of all. And then on the neck, close in, closer in, closer in, closer in. So you can go in the wrong way. There you go. And then where you were just doing then on the neck? Here. So a little tip though. Um, I know I said you go over the colours what I've done on here. Start with the darker colours first. So first do the black and the darker blues. Do the yellow bit last because you want the colours to blend in to, to, the, to the other ones, to the okay. darker colours. And uh, was it Beverly you want to see the panel again? Here's your panel. So for your 11.99, you get the, the main picture. You get all the squares that you need for cutting up for the different colours. And then you also get all your flowers and your leaves and everything like that on the little panel at then. All of that for £11.99. Now, we had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. How are we doing, Hales? There's still some available. Oh, OK, once you've all checked out, there's 50 left. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. So congratulations. You finished. Was there any other tips you want to give us before we go? Um, no, don't think so. And then what did you... So hang on. So if you make a cushion, yeah. you ju you've you used the pieces of the back... To make the back, yeah. To make the back of it. So that's not even piece. That's just... You've just used yeah. the squares and cut them out and used that as the yeah. back. Well, how did you do that one then? What did you do with that one? You just... Uh, that, uh, or that, a cheap frame? No, that's, I had that frame professionally. Oh, sorry. Normally you yeah. buy a cheap frame, don't you? No, no. Th these ones I have frame professionally. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you yeah. just took the actual thing, like you would do a painting I, or yeah, a picture, and say. Yeah, I did put a backing on it. Um, so obviously I have put. It, I did quilt it. So I just put a. Um, just do it. Just a random bit of cotton on the back, only to keep it. Stiffer. After you've done all of this. After I've done all of right. that, uh, because it just stiffens it up a little bit. But then no, my frame um, sticks it to a board. Brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, 11 99 that bundle. Please, please, please make sure you check out. Uh, we have got a few left. There's 50 left, but, you know, from the hundreds we had. And then we'll leave those, shall we, for the people who are coming in to watch later on. Because uh, lots of people are at work, aren't they? Don't see it. And I know a lot of people say, when well, I've got Delphine tomorrow, they go, oh, I'm at work tomorrow. But you better watch it now and, and not think, oh, I can't get it, I can't get it. Well, I'm saying there's 50 left. What time is it? Four minutes to 10. At four minutes to 10, there were 50 left. Who knows what's going to happen now? Anyway, so Delphine's back in an hour when she's been going doing this one here, hummingbirds, or as I like to call it, ducks on the canal. She's shaking her head at me. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? What are those flowers called there? Hibiscus. They're hibiscus. They're very big in San Diego. When we, where we stay in San Diego, there's mm. literally some tops of, of hibiscus at the front door, and the hummingbirds are there when you go Aww. down in the morning. They don't care. They just kind of let you, you wander in and out, and they carry on getting their nectar out of the flower. Anyway, uh, thank you, Delphine. That was brilliant, as always. Uh, in uh, the next hour, Ruth's here. She is today's search for a star. And she is going to be doing an Alice Caroline but Oh, and you won't be able to watch. It's a butterfly cushion. We'll see you back here in four. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. 
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us.
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. It's all go, it's time for Search for Star. Ruth Springer is here, everybody. Where's your camera, Ruth? Oh, hang on, there she is. Right, now, before we meet Ruth and chat to her, I'm going to show, show you what you can buy this hour, and then we can have a good old chin wag while we're sewing. So, Hayley, have you got the picture? Here we go. It's an Alice Caroline cushion, butterfly cushion. We have it in the pink, and we have it in the teal. We have no picture of the teal one, I'm afraid. The teal one is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly limited. That one that we put in there is the pink one. So now, um, I'll show you the packet and then when we come to the teal one, I'll show you what you get inside. So, this is what will arrive at your door for $34.99. You've got Liberty Lawn, <clears throat> you've got uh, cotton quilting weight in the pink, cotton quilting weight in the cream. I forgot, sorry. <clears throat> Apparently, that camera's gonna be plugged in tomorrow, on Friday. At the end of Friday, that'll be plugged in, that one. I'll have an overhead. $34.99. Now, I'm not going to open this one because the green one's already open. I'll show you what you get inside the green one, but it's, they're both the same, apart from this here is pink in this one and green in the other one. Or well, it's called teal, yeah, it's called teal. Beautiful. Now, what date was um, Anna in doing it the first time? 5th of March, 5th of March, right? Uh, only, I'm only saying that not because we'll end up gossiping too much and we, we won't get the whole thing done, whereas uh, you'll see the whole thing on that day. One o'clock it was on the 5th of March, because it was birthday, wasn't it? Right, OK, so that's the pink one. This is the teal one. Now, these are incredibly, incredibly limited, the teal one. This is my sample that's already open, so I'm going to open it again for you in a second. Oh. 34.99, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly limited. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to open it and show you what you get inside your pack. So your pink one is exactly the same, apart from this. So if you choose the pink one, you get a piece of pink cotton. If you choose the teal one, you get that. The rest of it is identical. You also get your really beautiful cream cotton for your background. You also get all these squares, these five-inch... Are they five inch? No, I think they might be four inch actually. Hmm. Tape measure's disappeared. You nicked my tape measure. Mm. Hang on, I'll just measure it on there. Four inch squares, four inch squares. So these are Liberty Lawn. You've got Cosmos there, you've got um, uh, Strawberry Thief, you've got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Wiltshire Shadow there. Oh no, that's not Wiltshire Shadow. Um, anyway, you get all of those, but this is what's fantastic. <clears throat> so your instructions right i don't know which order these are going to come out in now this is your cushion that's what you're making obviously in this one the this bit here and this bit here will be teal or again if you bought the pink one then you've got all your fabrics listed here so they're each given a name and then what happens is there's your layout plan there's your um written instructions but then what you get here as well, it's all about the binding and everything. That's your template for your pink or your green for your wing outline. Then this is what's clever. So it tells you fabric A, which is, oh, strawberry thief. So you take your strawberry thief square, you pop it there and you know that you're going to be cutting out that one, that one and that one. And that's how you place it. So that sits on there. So you buy and you cut those out of there. So then you find fabric B, which happens to be this one. Yep. And you know that you're going to cut that butterfly and those two pieces out of there. So that gives you your whole cutting chart out. You see what I mean? Everything you need is on there. No. Just, just enough for the front and the binding, this one. Front and the binding. But also, it's, it's like a normal quilt. So the front, the applique, and the binding is what's included here. If you want to make it into a cushion, you'll need to find extra fabric to make the back, because this is just what you get. There you go. So that's the size of your front. Your teal or your pink is... Oh, actually, I've said that. 
No, 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 because you've got to get your binding out of there as well, haven't you? So you get more of that, but you've got to get your binding and your... We, there's a cutting there's a cutting stretch which we need to talk to you about during the hour anyway and then all of your four inch squares there which are, so that there is quilting weight quilting weight this is Tana lawn to do your applique out of or your or your stained glass window effect out of that so everything you get in there 34.99 now I need to tell you that the teal one there are only three left of the teal one. Oh, two now two now there's two left of the teal we've got good we've got plenty of stock of the pink one for today there it is, that's what you're going to make. The only difference is, see the outline of the butterfly and the binding? That is uh, teal, obviously, in the teal one and pink in the pink one. Okay, uh, I'll bring you do other upsells later because I think it's time we met Ruth Springer, who is our search for a star for today. Hi, so, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You were here bright and early this morning. Very, too uh, early. So thank now, you. tell me the following things. Where are you from? how you got into sewing, how did you find out about Search for a Star, and then what you're going to do for us today. Go. What was the first question? <laughs> Where are you from? I'm, um, I'm a Londoner. A Londoner. Border Essex. Right. So I'm kind of, sometimes I'm an Essex, Essex girl. Essex girl, Shah. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I'm a Londoner. Um, I got into sewing probably about 15 years or so ago. Um, I'm a crafter by trade. Okay. I make greetings cards of oh, my okay. living. Oh, right. um, and I bought a sewing machine because I wanted to do my own alterations. Oh, okay. Not because you were going to sew fabric onto card to make cards. No, not no, and make cushions. But have you ever done sewing before that then? Little bits and pieces, yeah. but but really nothing. And I bought a bit of a rubbishy sewing machine. Yeah. When I look back now. Yeah, but you don't know when you first started. No, when there was the sewing street wasn't around to advise you in those days. And I got hooked, and that was that. And get inspiration from everywhere watch the show uh -huh. some um and i thought you know what why not have exactly. an adventure yeah no life's all but about adventure. but i didn't adventures. expect to be here so it's just great fun it's just oh, brilliant fantastic it's welcome welcome thank you so what are your what would you say a typical sewing day would be for you what would you love making the most have you got a favorite at the moment i love designing foundation patterns oh and, wow and making them yeah they're not easy uh well I say but, that, uh, I've got a friend called Shimoy Mary who hadn't sewn since she was at school. We opened sewing quarter, she bought a few, and she was like, I can't do this sewing luck. Then we did a foundation paper piecing pattern, and she found it, her bra my brain won't let, I have to really, really think, but her brain went, oh no, I know this, this is easy to yeah. me, and now she does her own patterns as well. I was petrified at first, couldn't get my head around the, the process, yeah. but once it clicks, it clicks. It's that, tur it's that pinning, turning, and all that, that my yeah, brain just you, has you, to think about it. You have to plan it. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't make a quilt, cut up a couple of pieces, then sew it, and then cut up a bit more and then sew yeah. it. Yeah, you plan got it. to plan it all, And yeah. it, the results are wonderful. Having said that, I love applique Oh, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you should just adjust to that, but it, if, if, if you can choose what we're doing. So at the moment, but you said, at the moment, it's foundation paper piecing, but who knows, next month it could be something, you oh, might absolutely. have discovered something new. I like patterns that take me a couple of days, a nice weekend project. Uh -huh. And then it's sort of then I can say it's finished. I've got lots of unfinished oh, who objects hasn't? Who hasn't? floating yeah. about. So we sent you the Alice Caroline you butterfly did. applique project. What a treat having to work with Liberty fabrics. I know, beautiful, aren't they? Just gorgeous. Um, so we sent it to you. Obviously, you need some bond web, which I'll tell you about in a second. But um, would you say it was a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced project? I think. You know, you've got to start somewhere. If you're a beginner, have a go. Right. I learnt a new technique. Doing, doing this. It, doing this. Oh, brilliant. That, something that I was scared of that actually turned out so easy, it was just silly. You could have it, knocked me down with a feather. Isn't it weird, though, that in life, generally, when the apprehension of doing something is 99 times... Always. It's like every, I, I just think every Always. decision... We're all set crossroads in our life. We have to make the decision where we're going to go. We have to decide to do... Like, you had no choice. We sent you a project. You think, well, I've now got to do something that I wouldn't choose to do. Found out that it was easy. So you'll now incorporate it into absolutely, other projects. And absolutely, absolutely. Like and I could have kicked myself that I just didn't do it before. But you can't have confidence unless you know how to do something. OK, I've got a message around. So, it's You'll get the backing fabric too. Everything you need in the kit, the whole cushion. Oh, Anna! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There wasn't any in the bag. That was why I presumed you didn't well, get it. You will get back backing for the cushion as well. That makes it even better value, doesn't it? 34 99 Right. Well, because I'm, I'm going to show you how to plan out that piece of backing. Brilliant. So that, let's start that with that. That you've then. got. So um, in the pattern, 
or in the kit, you'll have the the front panel. Right. And it says to cut it at 20 and a half by 14 and a half. Right. Actually, the panel that you get is just a little bit bigger than that. Oh, okay. And I didn't cut it. I just, just marked, marked it. it. Good idea. Because I'm quite heavy handed and I've already frayed a bit. So don't fray into your seam allowance. Just leave it. Uh -huh. You can also... Um, you have the basics in the kit to make a gorgeous cushion if right. you don't do anything else other than follow the instructions. Right. But you can just do so much more. The pattern encourages you to just have a play. Oh, no, Go Anna always says when she's on, they, uh, uh, um, uh, Alice Caroline, the designer, she, or the, the lady who owns the company, she designs and her team design everything, but they want everyone to go and make it their own personal thing. So if you want to embellish it, do whatever you want to do with it, they're perfectly happy for you and to that's, do that. Yeah, I love that about this kit because yeah. it will be beautiful either way. Mm -hmm. So if you want to quilt it, just give yourself a bit of wiggle room because you'll get a bit of shrinkage. Of course, yes, so, yes, yes. So that's that. So that's the panel. You weren't supposed to see all the bits I've already done. Oh, don't mind, worry, don't worry. Mind. Thank Blue Peter. Um, and then you have the, the backing panel. So out of that, you cut two of your backing panels, which will make your yeah. envelope. Uh -huh. Um, and it's 13 and a half by 14 and a half. Do the 13 and a half across the short side of your okay, fabric. Yeah. It just gives you a bit more wiggle room when you come to, to uh, cut your, um, your binding, binding strips. Yeah, right, okay. And then your butterfly goes here. We found a little anomaly, didn't we? Yes, yes. Now Anna's watching, so Anna will know this. It says in the pattern to cut four strips one and a half inches by 14. Uh, okay, by I'm just going to turn that up. Sorry. That way. No, 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 sorry, no. Don't by, you worry at all. Don't you worry. By 15 and a half yeah. inches to make your binding because the binding in this kit is like uh, courthouse steps. Yeah. So you have two strips at the side, a strip at the bottom. There we go. But, there go. sorry. No, but no, no. You, you listen, don't you apologise at all to Bruce. We. Right. So you, we it says on there cut four too, strips. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all at. I uh, think 15 and a half inches long. Yeah. Instead of doing that, just cut two strips all the way down the length of your fabric. And then put the butterfly to the side there. And then keep the butterfly yeah. to there's the plenty side. Of, there's plenty of fabric there's to do it. There's plenty of fabric. It also gives you the option, if you decide to, to join the binding together into one strip and bind it all, all in the one way piece around. with lovely mitered corners. Yeah, so that's which is what I think I'd do anyway, because it, once, if, you, if you just did those two long strips, join them together, then you could do that all the way around, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. yeah, I think I, well, yeah, I think I probably would have as well, but um, I cut them too short, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I followed the pattern. Yeah. But anyway, so that's that. So you've got all your, your basic pieces. Um, the next thing you do is trace out your um, the pattern onto the bonder web. Right. And I haven't really done that, but um, it's just really easy because you can just, you lay the bonder web over the top and draw around. Right. I used a pencil or a fine tip felt pen. Right. I did try a ballpoint and I didn't find it quite thick enough to see okay. through. Okay, right. So um, the other thing is, is the, the way it's drawn on here, Right, they've got a layout plan there. You don't have to stick to that because if you've got this bonder web, hang on a sec, if you've got this bonder web, um, it's not as wide enough to lay them out the way they've laid them out in the pattern. So if you've got this bonder web, that's the 2 dollars one there. So if it, you've got enough bond web here to do the project, but you just can't lay, lay it out the way that they've drawn on that one. So it's, it's just, I'm just warning you that you don't put your strip of bond web out and go, oh, well, Anna Sanders said you have to do it like this. You put them wherever you need to. And the other thing about bond web is you don't have to worry about um, grain or anything like that. You can twist them around so they all fit and everything like that. So you can do that. Or, of course, you can get today's early. Oh, it's sold out. Today's early bird sold out. It's it's worth mentioning that the bonder web in the narrow kit yeah. um, is about here. So first of all, across the top, lay out the pieces that are full. Right. And then underneath, you can put lay out the pieces that aren't full. Yeah. Brilliant. And then it'll all fit perfectly. You'll yeah. have some left over actually. Lovely. So that's that. Okay, um, what am I doing next? I don't know, what are you doing next? I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> next. 
the next thing you have to do is just position where you want your big butterfly. Right. And I, um, here we go. Here's one I prepared earlier. Brilliant. You don't need a light box or holding it up to a window. It's, you'll see it through. Yeah. Um, and I actually, when I did this, I, I put the, my fabric flat, twisted that to where I wanted it, taped this down to a cutting board right. and then tape the fabric over the top. Right. That way you can draw and you can turn it and... Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than trying to kind of yeah. wiggle it round. So that's that. So you just draw, right, you drew round. Let's just have a look I'm at sorry. that template. That template, no, 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 don't. stop saying sorry. You're doing a brilliant job. Um, so you've st does that, that comes in your kit, doesn't it? You it just stuck the two pieces together. It comes in two pieces. Yeah. So you just stuck it together down the middle, so you've got your complete butterfly, and yes. you've drawn the outline of the outside onto your fabric here. Did you draw all of those on as I well? I did, and I drew the outside in friction pen. Right. And did it disappear when you ironed it? Well, it, it does sometimes. Yeah, Let's yeah. just draw it, draw it over yeah. again, it's okay. fine. But the inside, where you're positioning your small pieces, I did in pencil. OK. Because you don't want those to disappear. No. That would make life a little bit tricky. Indefinitely. Um, and it's going to be covered over anyway, you won't see it. OK. So you've, you've then cut all the pieces out from your little four inch squares I of your have. Liberty Lawn. And I then you have. start placing them I on have. the I've pattern got, pieces. I've got a couple to, oh, to, to, cut, out, to cut. But what did I do with my pattern, John? Did I? It's here. Once you've got them cut out, yeah. you then have a key. Oh, OK. Which tells you... Should I come a bit forward? So, yeah, yeah, so it's, it it's, it's a double, it's a, it's a double um, whammy of you've got the drawing, you've got the pieces, and you've got it drawn on your fabric, so it's all there. So you so, can sort of do a jigsaw, can't you? Yes, absolutely, and it's, it's simple. There's nothing to say that you have to put them there. It's yours. Oh yeah, no, no, totally. Just but if you don't put them there, don't put them there. Your thingy's not going to fit over the top, is it? Your, your butterfly thing. It, it. Um, all I would say, when you're cutting out your, when you're cutting out your little pieces, yeah, go a little bit outside the line. Right. And when you're cutting out your apertures, come a little bit inside. The oh, line. okay. And then you know that you'll get overlap and it won't you won't get any gaps. Yeah. So that's all good. One uh, more. Diana says, looking forward to watching Ruth. Uh, have a great time, Ruth. Thank you. That's nice. And the, Thank what you were you saying, much. Hayley, about the messages? Oh, I hope there's nothing rude. Hey, what? I hope there's nothing rude from my family. Well soon say. Are we gonna put them in across the bottom? You we just put them across you mean they come in the white boxes? Fine. With white boxes, Hayley's having issues with the white boxes at the moment. So we had loads, we've had loads of messages, um, but there's an issue with the white box. We'll let you know if anyone from your family slags you off, don't worry. Well, actually the message was about you, from my oh, brother. Okay. Is it... <laughs> <Go and someone laughs> okay. Yeah, that's Hayley you can no, hear he said, he sent me a text this morning because he's been watching all morning. Okay. And he said, John seems very, very nice, I like him. Oh, he's got that wrong then, Don't he? like his shirt, don't tell him. What's he called? Lawrence. What's his last name? Green. Lawrence Green? You're blocked. <laughs> Why don't you like my shirt? What's wrong with He's my shirt? He's going to absolutely kill me now. I don't He's care. going to kill me. Anyway, yeah. so <clears throat> this was um, three left and three right. Oh, I'm not going to get the paper off now, am I? There we go. Okay. There we go. it that way and that way and you can see they just actually I think I'm going to turn that round that way that look that's yeah yeah that looks, a different, that looks a different shape that one what have I done it doesn't really matter as long as no, it no, overlaps no. the the window part it will be fine so once you're happy yeah then you just just touch, touch. it Okay. If it was a kiss, it would be a peck. Okay, then. Okay. Yeah. What time in the morning is it? Oh, it's 20 past 7. Can get away with it. Is it a watershed? I yeah. Know. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Well, she asked for gin before she came on, so. <sighs> 
Put a little iron, little iron, the little clover iron. We don't often see this being used. Just touch the end of it with the iron. Right, now I'm just going to say useful. to you. It is useful. All I'm going to say is, it's got a lovely long cord. If you buy one of these, I'm going to send this for your safety. This bit here gets hot. So hang on, I'll, I'll just show, I'll put it down so Kat can see it, right? So you switch on here, it's off, low or high temperature along there, right? So I've got it on, we've got it on low at the moment. This bit here gets hot. I know there's a guard here to stop you touching it, but it's very easy when you're pressing to go like that, to press it down. Don't do that because this does get hot. I'm only telling you that because I don't want anyone to hurt themselves. And I, I only know because I did it myself. Once you're used to it, you'll be absolutely fine the way you hold it up here. But no, we've tried it before. That doesn't, that doesn't, but there's no, because it's the same on the other side. Look, you see. So it's basically, you can't get it from the side there. Just please be careful. Once you're used to it, or once you've done it once, you won't do it again, believe you me. So the heat comes down there, and now it comes with that little uh, little spade shape there. You can buy, they're on the website, you can buy different uh, shapes to go on for doll making or for flower making and things like that. And it comes with a screwdriver. It comes with a little stand, so you're all safe and everything like that. But just be careful, because that bit there does get hot. But it's fantastic for little projects like this. It is. OK. Because it just prevents you from just sticking things where yes. you just don't want them stuck. Yeah. OK, I've got four more pieces to do. OK. It's also worth mentioning, before you remove the paper, keep your pin in because this paper's brilliant. It comes off when you want it to. Yeah. But you don't want it to come off when you don't want, want it, it to, to come off. Yeah, and exactly. lose your code. Yeah. It just what makes have you, um, You've used little um, applique pins, have you, there? I have. We've got little applique pins. Beautiful. Uh, Yvonne McAtamia, every 12. time she comes in, she oh. wants these, and they're always out of stock. Six ninety nine. Well, I, 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 with that, have you got one that I can just nick off you? In here? No, 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 I just want to, no, no, they've got them, but I don't want to open my packet. Look, they're tiny like this, so when you've got tiny pieces, I don't know the best way to show this, Look at this, right? Really, really tiny. Because you know when you're doing lots of applique, if you've got normal size pins, which are twice the size of this, there's more chance that you're gonna catch yourself on them. Whereas these, they're just, my nails are dreadful, aren't they? They're just really, really tiny, sharp needles. They're fantastic. You do get 150, I think, in a packet. Is and it 150? Can, you can iron over them as well. And you can iron over them because they're glass headed there. But they're just fantastic for, I, I can't put them down because I've got an overhead. But they're really, really good for things like this because, you know, it's like, especially if you're doing applique and you're doing hand stitching, your thread keeps catching in all the long needles and everything. Whereas these little ones are fantastic because they're just literally, and I'll tell you what they don't do is they don't buckle. You know, if you put a long uh, pin through a piece of fabric, sometimes it can give it a wave and takes it, these are brilliant because it keeps it lovely and flat. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just, gently touching things in place yeah. because now I just, before I make it permanent, I want to see, I've got a little bit of this to still cut out, Yeah, yeah. but I want to see if I've got Oh it. yeah, because you don't want to have them placed down and then put your butterfly on top and realise there's a big gap somewhere yeah. or anything, yeah. That would spoil it. Yeah. But there's quite a lot of wiggle room here, so it should be fine. Let's just move that there. How's that mm -hmm. looking? That's about right, I think, mm -hmm. isn't it? Okay. So I'm just going to take that off. You got any left to go down? The pieces, I think I'm done. Yeah, Have yeah, 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 you're done, yeah. Anything. Let's move that out of the way. You can now take your pins out. Uh-huh. And just put things down. Again, I'm not going to be... Put that in the wrong place, haven't I? Thank you, John. OK. That's what I'm here for, to help. Um, you don't have to be completely permanent here, just enough to be able to get the pins out of the way. Uh -huh. Because then you can go... Once you put the large piece down over the top, you can actually go back to a big iron. Oh, look at this. Who's Josh? Ruth is doing an incredible job. Get her on every week from Josh. Thank you, Josh. Very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a pin there. So. OK. I did. I did put quite a lot in. 
That's okay. Uh, uh, there you go. Hi, John. Thank you for keeping us entertained. Just wanted to say, so love your shirt. My husband would love it. <laughs> thank you, Sue in Essex. Essex, see? Essex boys. Where's your, does your brother live in Essex? He does. Mm, there you go, you see. You see, some people haven't got the personality to Absolutely carry it. Absolutely not. Absolutely. I, the thing is, I have to say, right, people, when they meet me in the street going, why have you got a fancy shirt on? I only wear these if I'm on telly or if I'm doing, like, if you go to Festival Quilts, we're doing Festival Quilts, I'll have them on there and everything. But in everyday life, I just wear, like, gingham shirts or striped shirts. I'm very, very boring in real life. This is just, you know. Well, you've got to. You know. Uh, now, my next question is, so that's all stuck down there. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. How do we go about cutting out those little bits there this is this is the the new skill I learned oh okay I actually started with I don't know what I've done with my scissors now I actually started by using a pair of scissors I did have them they're yeah. probably here oh there they are I, I mean you can them. do them with scissors if you want to you can it is tricky I think doing the small bits would be tricky, tricky yeah and also when I've got a pair of scissors in my hands and I'm cutting inside. You have to turn it. Yes. And I would be, I was scared that I would cut into the wrong bit. Okay. Which I've done many mm -hmm. times, sewing on my lap, cutting through yeah. my own clothes, you know, that kind of stuff. And I thought, you know what, have a go. Yeah. Um, I have a digital die cutting machine at home, which I use for cardstock. And I had a go at trying to cut fabric on it a few times with mixed results. You need a Gemini cutter. That's what you need. They'll be here soon. Sometimes it worked and sometimes yeah, yeah. it didn't. So I immediately thought that cutting with the blade would, dra knife. would drag it. Okay. And it just does not. Right. It's is easier than cutting paper. Okay. So I'm that. going to I'm going to do this one here. Yeah. We have got a couple of craft knives. Hayley will put them through. I haven't got them here with me on the desk. They're not the one that um, Ruth's using, but we have got a couple of craft knives. Hayley will put them through the graphics for you. So you just start in a corner, mm -hmm. and as I said, just come in slightly. Right. And and just cut, and like when you when you're saying when you're cutting a piece of fabric with a pair of scissors, move your fabric to the blade. Don't move the blade to oh, the fabric. Okay, yeah. So just turn it, and it just cuts so easily. It's wonderful. You really could have knocked me down with a feather when I tried this yeah. first because it opens up a lot of possibilities for applique. Of course. I do a lot of applique, but never cutting holes out. No, no. No, no, because normally you cut a bigger shape, don't you, and place it on top. And that's it. The what? What, what hails? A what? Have we got that? We'll have a look. Yeah, we've got something that, what's he called? It's very tall, isn't he? Noel and his lovely, now is she his wife or is she his um, girlfriend, I'm not sure. Uh, and they're fantastic, right? I'd never, I haven't done a show with them and then they suddenly came in at Sewing Street when we were in the old studio and we got on like a house on fire, it was brilliant. She's quite saucy isn't she, she's a bit minxy, they both are actually. Well have a look, see he's got a cutter that would be brilliant for, it's called a gyro cutter is it? We'll have a look, see if we've got them in stock at the moment. Um, so that's... Did I do that one? What did I do? I just did that one. <laughs> You've turned it round now. And it just gives a really, a really sharp edge, isn't it? Yeah. Clean edge. Yeah, because also if you've got little scissors, the more snips you do, the more jagged your edge is going to be, isn't yeah. it? Whereas that's going to create a really, really smooth edge. So I'm just going to finish this off. Yeah. And cut all Message the way. for Ruth. Morning, John. I've sent message earlier that obviously didn't get through. Well done, Ruth. Another nice lady who speaks very clearly Thank from you. Susan in Hampshire. Thank you um, very much, Sue Susan. Sue here says, uh, good luck, Ruth. Julie Vaughan says, Ruth is cool. Derek says, I'm loving today's search for a star. She's doing so well. Congratulations. Thank you, Derek. Praise Can't indeed. believe, this is another Sue. Can't believe how well all the search for a star people are doing this week. You'd never know they'd not been doing this Oh, hang on. For years. Anne Thank says, what a lovely lady. Much. Ruth, you're doing amazingly. Thank How you. on earth are we going to choose? They are all winners. Pam Minihani says, another lovely lady today. It's going to be tough to choose. Another message on the screen. You see the white box has started working now. Oh, hang on. You have to press the button now. That could be why it wasn't working. Hayley forgot to press the button. Hello both, what a lovely lady. Can you please ask Ruth if she made the pattern for a gorgeous wrist pin cushion? I did. And is it for sale? Of course, but 
maybe. No, let's no, no, you can say it. You can say it. No, 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 you can say Do you sell, have you yes. got a website where you sell things then? I don't as yet. Not right. this kind of thing. Right. Well, it's about but time you did. It is about time I did as well. Can we say, all right, put, just pop your hand here. So we just, Bruce can do a, look at me manhandling you. I do apologise. It's quite all right. So you, this is KF, is it, round here? It oh, is. now, now there's a story about this, because I asked you this when you came for your screen test. I have a quick look at it, right? So it's a pin cushion in the middle here, but look at the petals. The petals are for... I'm just, just using a folding technique yeah. with, for the clips, and it's stuffed with lavender. And it's stuffed with lavender. So you yeah, put yeah, a pin in, lavender. you get a lovely waff of, of lavender. Yes. Useful if you've unpicked something for the third time, and you just need to yeah, yeah. But don't, calm down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and lovely, because how many times do we sew something, like pins, you automatically put them in your pin cushion, but clips just get thrown on the table, don't they? Put your little clips up straight onto your pin cushion as well. It's a fantastic idea. Thank anyway, you. Anyway, that's welcome. You're welcome. OK, so all I've, I've got a couple of rogue yeah, take your pins, pins out. in there. We'll take those out. So now we're ready. <laughs> okay, so now there's another pin there. Um, do you want to borrow my glasses? I think I probably need them. Actually. Have you have you only used this, or do you use a big iron at all? Um, I would probably. I'm going to use this. Well, there's another pin just there. Just to. Oh goodness gracious! Okay. Don't worry, we're teamwork. It's That's what we do here. Going on here. Um, I'm just those down there. You're going to what? Sorry. I'm going to touch this down. Yeah, like I'm that. doing, like that. Yeah. Um, but you can use a big iron yeah. afterwards just to yeah. really give it a good press. Yeah. Just to make sure it's all in place. Okay. And then that's really the, the trickiest part of the mm -hmm. fabric, um, the pattern all done. So, have we got all of the fab, the backing off? I've forgotten which way round this was now. Which, just which was upside the glue down and, and which was... That's the, this is the glue there side we go. here. I'm, I'm very glad you've got your eyes on for I me I have to wear my glasses for the whole show now. It used to be able to pop them on, but now it's... OK. So I suppose this is the most important bit, because you've got to get it it's exactly the, now. It's the only bit that you have to get yeah. right. Yes. But, you know, if it's not right, it wouldn't be the end of the world either. Oh, no, either of course not, no. Because it's... It's yours, and you can always, you know, add some stitching to... Yeah, some beads or something. Yes, absolutely. Oh, actually, no, you can see that it fits perfectly anyway. And that is about right. Yeah. And then press from the inside outwards. Oh, OK. I think it just means that nothing's going to shift... Yeah. ..where you don't want it to shift. Oh, hang on. John, that shirt is so fetching, and the lady today explained things clearly from Chris. Thank, Thank you, Chris. You. Fetching, am I today? Fetching. I wonder if that's what they mean, fetch. Or do you think it's a spell check and that shirt today is so... Look, like that. I think it's fetching too. And, and also the lady's called Ruth. It's Ruth. <sighs> Search for a star Ruth, this is. Oops. Oh. You daisy. Yeah. Teal is sold out. Teal is sold out. And the fuchsia hot pink one is doing very, very well. Oh, Delphine brought me my ginger water and didn't notice that. I'll give that one back to you. OK. Thank you. I think I've got this on the cool setting. I you got it on, look, yeah, you can put it up higher. Just put it up a little bit higher. You just don't want to stand watching me iron. Oh, no, that's really. fine. Have we got the big one plugged in as well, John? Have I got the big one plugged in? Let's do that for you. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's on. The big one's on. Perfect. I'll just get this secured and then we can give it a really oh, good Oh, I'll press. leave it on its... Thank you very much. Let me just put the lock on so you can have... There you go. Thank you. Gosh, that's bigger than me. Oh? Uh? It's bigger than me, really. Well, the thing is, it's going to look even bigger next to that tiny little clover iron, isn't it? This is where you need to take your time at home. Don't have somebody wittering sitting next to you. Okay, make sure your iron's hot enough. Yeah. But that's okay. You know, it's okay to just place it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can I mean, if you haven't got one of the little ones, you could, again, use your applique pins just to pin it down in strategic yeah. places. Absolutely. Or just use the very tip of your iron yeah. if, you're, if you're confident to do that. 
but this really is once this is done and because you've used the friction pen that will disappear, disappear as well. yeah exactly that's perfect and then once that's done then right. you can start playing with it okay let's just see if i can get How this properly pressed down oh yeah you oh, John, use the big gun to press I think it down I will. let me take that one away from thank you thank you john Okay. There you go. That's better. Be careful of this cat, it's very hot. Oh, it looks lovely. We're looking at it from the upstairs camera. It looks gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't mm. it? Okay, so in the instructions, how do they tell you to now sew it down? Is there, is there, is there, are there sewing there are, instructions? There are two choices. You can use um, an embroidery foot and free motion. Right. Or you can use um, an ordinary foot and, and stitch it down. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. raw edge. So their oh, choice... Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Um, I have done some of the butterflies, which I can show you. I've just done it with a, sim with a running stitch, a simple straight yeah, stitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. But really, you can do a zigzag. You can put some... Um, Different use use your embroider some of your decorative stitches yeah. if you have them. It's up to you. Now that that's stitched, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's just I didn't gorgeous. do this on the on the day it was launched. I did the, I'd done the morning of that day, and I'd gone home. So I did the the crown quilt with Anna, and then she came. Was it Stuart on that day with the? She did with It's beautiful, and I thought I'd like the teal one better. But now that I've seen the pink one actually made up. It's beautiful, isn't it? You've got it? plenty of teal. I mean, teal, 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 in it. Yes, teal and pink together yeah. are just lovely. They, they work really nicely together. And if you do nothing else than this without embellishing it anymore, yeah. it's gorgeous. Fantastic. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I had to embellish it Well, no, we can go more. on to embellishments in a minute. So, um, so you literally, so you would now just literally machine round the edge, would you? Yes. Um, and inside inside the windows okay. as well. So using, not using free motion, just using normal straight stitch? On this, I did a, a normal straight way. stitch on the sewing machine, just in case, if you don't have um, a free motion foot, Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah like Bernie messaged in earlier saying she hadn't got yeah, one. It, yeah, it's very doable. Yeah. It's actually really doable. So you stitched all the way around all of these edges here, so mm -hmm. that all of this, and then all the way around the outside. So your main yeah. butterfly is, um, down. It's secured now, down there. Can we see the picture? Uh, is Hayley back? Put the a picture of the original one. I'm just wondering. Oh, okay. So now they didn't do. Uh, they've done. Um, uh, what are they called? Antennae on theirs. Yes. Which we'll talk about in a second. Which I will talk about. Okay. So if you haven't got a machine, you want to do this by hand. You could do all of this by hand, Absolutely couldn't you? Absolutely. I'd can. be tempted to do like a blanket stitch around the outside there, and then I might have might get a, like some embroidery thread. And just do like a top stitching all around the wings in different colours and things yeah. like that. That'd be nice, wouldn't Absolutely. it? It would be. I mean, it's really, you, you can embroider inside the flowers. But yeah. I used, um, on this antenna here, Right. I used um, just a, a French knot. Okay. With all six strands of the oh, okay. embroidery thread and then kept, cut them all, joined them at the back and cut them all off except for one strand. Right. Did one big stitch into there and one big stitch back. Okay, um, is there in the pattern, do you recall, a template or a thing to copy for the antennae? Or do we have to do those freehand? I will have a look. Only because I know it's on the front cover. Yeah, yeah, but that's not the correct. I no, just wonder if there was I one that was the full size. Do you know, I don't think there is. Oh, yes. Um, no, that's still not full size, is it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, but you can follow it. You can follow it. Yeah, exactly. It's a guide. I've got a friction pen here. And you just um, just draw it. OK. I've just knocked my ginger water <laughs> over. You carry on. Can I have the blue <laughs> paper, please? And just a, a little tip when you're drawing something, you. Yeah, go on, listening. Don't look at where you are, where the pen nib is. Look at where you're going. Righty ho. So I want to start about, let's say, here for my Thanks, antenna. Girl. Yep. And I want to finish, let's say, here. Mm hmm. And 
about Listening, keep going. here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just take your pen. Yeah. As I said, don't look at where you are, look at where you're going. Oh, okay. And then you'll get a nice line. If you don't like it, rub it off and redraw it. Exactly. It really doesn't matter. It's yours. And it's, uh, you're doing it with a friction pen. You're actually I'm using, you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can, if it, if it goes wrong, you can just then iron just, it again, disappear you know, and draw it again. And if it's a little bit wonky, Thanks, okay. it's a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, and also, what does it matter if it's wonky? No, it, my um, old dyeing teacher used to say, Audrey used to say, if you wanted it perfect, you'd go and buy one that was done by a machine. Whereas if you want it done, looks like it's done by a real person, then it doesn't matter if you get a wobbly bit. It's or a piece like of that. art, and it's your art. Exactly. And just have some fun with it. Yeah. Right. Um, I did add some, a little bit, a few other embellishments to it. Right. Um, it does say in the pattern to use a thread that is similar so that it sort of disappears Oh, OK. Here. But, you know. You see, I got this one out this morning. I'd quite like that. I'd quite like to do a um, uh, variegated one on mine, I think, around the outside. I did pink on that. Yeah. I did um, just sort of a soft grey so okay. that it disappears. I think I might have done white on that. It just, OK, well, while we're on that one there, what's that one there? Because that well, that's an unusual one there. Um... There was a little bit left in the square. Right. And I noticed that I could fussy cut it. Right. So I just took the, um, I think it's this one, I grabbed the right one. Uh huh. I just took that one again. Right. Laid it down on, on, on Bonder Web and cut it out again. From the same fabric, it was the scrap. Oh, so so oh, I see. So you've done one with a pink background. The, the the one that comes up is a pink background. So that's the original one that would have just been yes. bonded web to the background. Yeah. And then this one, you bond web the new number nineteen uh, to a pink nineteen, but didn't stitch it all the way around. You just stitched it down the middle. I just exactly just yeah. glued it, folded it, and then stitched it down the middle and added the uh, antennae with. A How cute. So use your scrap. You've got enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, you really uh, have. Can you just explain this one to me up here then? That, what's, the, what's going on with that, that one there? That was just scrap beads I found in my stash. No, 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 no. We've all, got, we've all got stash. Yeah, so exactly. just a string of beads. And it's worth mentioning, yeah. you don't have to draw the antennae always. It's a butterfly, you know. We know it's a butterfly. So just have the suggestion that it's a butterfly. Oh, OK, rather than having to do yes. that. Um, and this one I just, as I said before, I just did with the with French knots uh -huh. and just sort of pulled it down. If you don't do anything, it's still a butterfly. Oh yeah, no, no, it's completely. But then it's yours, like you say, it's yours yeah, to do with what you want, it. isn't it? You've got... Um, I, I think, love that. I love that idea, that you. little 3D idea there. You've got, I mean, I'm, I'm really stingy when I... When I cut this yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I made sure I had lots of bits well, of scrap. Also, the way they've put, they've placed them all means that you're you're using as little of the fabric yeah. as possible to do that. Yeah. So then, what you do? So in your in your kit, you will have enough fabric to make the back of a cushion. So you then make your envelope back, and then you bind bind it around the edge. Now, there's two ways you can bind it around the edge. This is why we say cut out a little bit more of your pink because um, in the instructions says do the two sides and then do the top. But if you made one long piece, you could just bind it like you would a little quilt. I mean, you can make a wall hanging out of it as well if you wanted to. You mm. don't have to make a cushion out of it and just bind around it um, like you would do a normal a, a normal quilt. Thirty four ninety nine for that whole bundle there. Right, let me just take you through what's available. What's the matter? Um, oh, message, message. Another lovely, very talented lady. They've been so brave to come on TV. What a hard choice to make and what a delicate, beautiful project. Well done from Carol Thank in County Fermanagh. Thank you very much, Manor. Carol. Oh, another one. Hang Thank on, another you. one. Uh, oh, what a lovely idea. Brilliant demo, Ruth. Well done from Neve in County Clare. Thank you. And another one. Uh, good morning, John and Ruth. Ruth, you have really inspired me to try this butterfly. Good. Very clear demonstration. Good. Thank you from Ginny in Hampshire. Have a go. That's the last one for now. That's the last one. But before we, we're not going to go anywhere because I just need to remind you about the bun, uh, the, what you get in your packet here. For $34.99, you get enough of the cream for the front and the back. You need, you've got all the pink here for the butterfly and the binding, and the actual outside, and then in here are all the fabrics. Now, this one here and this one here are um, your quilting weight cotton. These in here are Tarnalon. Oh, what? Uh, 
Oh, yes, it's the pink. It's the back of the cushion. Sorry, my bad, my bad. So the front of the cushion is this. The back of the cushion is the pink. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That was my bad, sorry. And then you've got your four-inch squares of your Tana lawn there. So everything you need. You'll just need some bondware and uh, some sewing skills, really, at £34.99. Now, I just need to explain. I've got two other Alice Caroline ones here. The, what, the, the teal sold out, teal sold out, Got still got some of the pink. Right, these have been two hugely popular um, cushion, cushion kits that we've had here. Oh, that, are you talking to me? Okay, I've got the right one. Is this the right one then? Flower power cushion, yeah. Flower power cushion, there you go. That's what you get in the kit. That's what you're making, hugely popular. Beautiful, $24.99 that one. You get all the fabric for the front and the back and the binding. And then, now is that all applique? Yep. Very limited on that one now. Very, very limited. Beautiful, that's $24.99. And then this one here, which I think as a starter cushion, this is gorgeous, this one. Now this one says our cushions, you can make, uh, what? Sold out, sold out, sold out. Oh, I've touched on the wrong trolley. Uh, this one here has enough for two cushions in it for $34.99. Two cushions in this one. Look. And you can do it either way. You've got the, the, the square and the square on the front there. Oh, this is the pink colourway. Sorry, this is the pink colourway, not the rainbow colourway. Pink colourway. So there's all your fabrics that you get in this one. Again, that's your tar on the lawn for your inside there. And then now... The thing that's lovely about this one is the cream fabric for the background isn't just solid cream, it's cream on cream. Like a beautiful, beautiful, like embossed cream on cream, that one. £34.99. That's about to sell out. If you all check out, that's gone as well. The only other thing I've got to show you then are the pins. Oh, I bet they've gone as well, haven't they? We ordered loads because Yvonne wanted them as well. $6.99. These are lovely tiny little applique pins. Gorgeous. And then we've got um, there's a, there's a producer on our sister channel called uh, Your Gems TV, right? And she's also called Hayley, right? And they, she's friends with our Hayley and Rachel and Dudley, right? And they have to kind of, you know, have a nickname for each of them. So Rachel was Rachel from Dudley. And then um, we used to call our Hayley Anastasia. And then we used to call the other Hayley Windy Hayley. I'll let you know why. I'll let you know why later. Anyway, she's really embarrassed now. Now she normally, she normally produce, you have got Ellis today. She, 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 oh, she's on at 11 if you want to go. You're not, don't turn over to Gems to see her. You won't see her. Uh, this is the Bond Web for 2 99 Gorgeous. The big roll sold out. Can't offer you the big roll. And then the clover iron. Now yours will come in a packet. You do get the stand, the iron, a really long cable. It's already there. And you also get a screwdriver to take the uh, different feet off and everything. $39.99. I'll just... Oh, it's cooled down. That's all right now. $39.99. Remember, when you finish using this, don't just put it straight back in the drawer. Let it cool down before you put it away. The guard is here for your safety, but what I did the very first time I used it is I went like that to try and apply pressure, and I burnt the end of my fingers. That bit there does get hot, just so you know. $39.99. Right, I think we're done, are we? Are we done? Thank you so much for driving Thank all you. this way, for coming in. Um, did I... Uh, lots of what? Oh, lots of people asking how to vote. You'll all will be revealed on Friday because you can't vote till after the last one has done their show on Friday. That's Sandy, isn't it? So um, you can't do anything until the. It's a bit like X Factor. you you may vote, but your counts will not. Your votes will not be. You won't be charged. But it's only one vote per person. Remember. So you've got to think carefully about that. Um. Um. So when are you going to get your website up and running then? That's what you need to do next. I don't know. 
soon. Soon. Well, now, because <laughs> you can make a fortune with those pincushions, definitely. Uh, anyway, thanks ever so much for coming Thank in. You, John. Safe journey home. Um, now, I'm going to break a little bit early, but that's fine, because in about five minutes' time, Delphine will be here doing this. Now, it's hummingbirds on hibiscuses, but I've ne renamed it Ducks on the Canal and the Back Canal in Stratford upon Avon. She's not very happy with me, but it's another masterpiece by Delphine, isn't it? We will see you back here in four minutes from now. We know that shopping well, online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about Yarn Lane? A TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn. Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, 
You never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Didn't Ruth do well? That's number four. That's, oh, there's only one left. There's only one more tea. It's Sandy, to is it Sandy tomorrow? Um, I'm only going to call her Sandy. She's going to be like Madonna. She's just going to have one name. Um, only because if you've seen her surname, I've got no idea how to say it. But anyway, I'm sure she'll tell us tomorrow. How gorgeous is this? Uh, you're only seeing half fit. Do you, have you got a picture of it, Bruce? Yeah, we'll show you a picture rather than half fit there. Uh, look, isn't it beautiful? It's called Hummingbird Quilt. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Yeah, you would only give them a name like Harry the Hummingbird or something. Oh, I know. I was, yeah, I don't know. Was... <laughs> okay, so this bundle here, right, I've got two bundles. You've only been to see, you are watching Delphine. You've, it only comes up when you're on. Oh, there you go. Anyway, sure. um, this bundle here, which is on pre-order, a third of this has gone already. Right, however, in a minute, there will be another bundle. But at the moment, there's just the white one. But a third of the stock's gone, right? So... It makes this wall hanging, but if you don't want to make a wall hanging, what Delphine's done with this one, is she's made a cushion. She made a cushion out of this one. Uh, so you don't have to, because how many wall hangings can you have, Delphine, in your house? You know well, you exactly. But you can have as many cushions as you like. You've got the instructions, you've got the template, you've got everything in there, so you can make it into a wall hanging. You can make, you, if you wanted to, you could do that several times over, or mm. have that as a center of a quilt. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, what of these? Right, a third of the stock of these have gone, right? Loads in baskets. A 32.99. All you'll need is some wadding, some backing. Now, what we are saying is, you see how this one's got a yellow binding on it here? When Hayley um, uh, put the kit together, she didn't actually include the binding, but if you're really, really, really frugal with the yellow, you won't be doing it with any other colours, because the only other place that yellow appears is here in the beaks, right? If you're really, really frugal and cut really carefully, you could bind it with your fat quarter. That's what we're saying, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But you'd have to be really, really tight. It's a narrow one, isn't it? Yeah, I, I wanted to narrow uh, a narrow one anyway yeah. because you don't want to take the, too much of the colours on the rest. So it's, I think three quarters of an inch. Okay, so if you do what's on the wall, there'll be absolutely none of the yellow left over. But if you look here... Pink, pink, lilac here. Well, no, not so much the lilac, but the pinks. You've only got two sets of wings out of the pinks, haven't you? So if you've got, did you have much left over? Yeah, I've got loads. Loads? So, now, okay, so would you, because Hayley said earlier you could make both out of this kit. You couldn't could make that and that out of the kit, could you? Uh, you, could, you might need a little bit extra of that blue, but otherwise you could do both, yeah. Well, even actually, I don't know, fat quarter. The length of that, you've only got to do the inside of the flowers. Or you could do the inside of the flowers in a different colour look. Yeah. Okay, so if you... Uh, 
So is this colour in here? Yeah. So that colour's in there. Where is it on there? Oh, the inside of the flowers. So you if just you change the inside. We've all got stash at home, haven't we? I mean, you might not want yours bound in the yellow. You might want. You might have half a metre of fabric at home or a big fat quarter at home of a different colour. But um, what we're saying is, if you're careful, you could basically make a wall hanging and a cushion. But you might have to just supplement it slightly. We're not saying that that's a wall hanging and cushion bundle, but we're just saying possibly you could. Thirty-two ninety-nine. So what do you get for your thirty-two ninety-nine? You do get a metre of the white, right? So that's basically that, isn't it? That's your metre of your white there. Yep. Metre of your white. Then you get these are all fat quarters, right? So you get a fat quarter of is, is Haley with us or is she talking to someone else? Haley! When she's producing, she can't go off and do things like that. She's gone off to chat to someone. What colours are in this bundle, please? This, yeah, these colours. You put the kit together. Pomegranate, is that? Is it pomegranate or is it raspberry? Pomegranate, I think. Pomegranate, then I'd say that was rose. Coral. Oh, hang on, we're going to do this. So corn yellow, that's corn yellow. Sapphire, which is that gorgeous colour there. Copen. Uh, bright pink. That one's definitely pomegranate, isn't it, that one? Yeah. We've got lilac there. Oh, hello, Vix. What are you doing in today? Go do your makeup, love. Your eyes are disappearing into your face. <laughs> it's Vix. She's on, she's on Hobby Maker at one o'clock. Fuchsia and fur. And then, well, so you put the kit together. At first two nine times, you get all those fat quarters. That, but most importantly, you get these. Now, yours will be... Yours will be a proper Delphine kit. This is yeah. just what basically they're on the back of a DPD van somewhere. They're here, they're here, they are. Oh, they're right, they're but they're not arrived here. So yes. they've arrived at the warehouse, but they haven't arrived here yet. So yours will be, this is just Delphine's photocopy. Yours will be the lovely shiny one. But again, as like with all of Delphine's projects, you get pages and pages and pages. Look, so there's your front cover. Then here's your pictures. That's how you make the ducks. Then you've got your flowers. More ducks. Why are they ducks? Why are you saying they're ducks? Hang on a minute, I'll tell you a minute. <laughs> well, she's just realised, yeah. Uh, anyway, look, 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 look. I'll tell you a lovely story actually in a minute, but look, gorgeous. As with all of Delphine's projects, I don't, if, unless you're new today and you've never seen Delphine before, there are so much, so much instructions on there. And there's all your templates, full size, there's your duck. Then I'll stop saying it in a minute. <laughs> uh, beautiful. And then look, there's your placement guide. Obviously not to size. But you know what? It's your project. That's, uh, you see, a lot of people, if people say to me, oh, John, draw a picture, I go, I bet you do it as well, even if you're an artist. If someone just said, oh, Delphine, draw me a picture, on the spot, yeah. my mind goes blank, and I'm like, Oh, draw Daisy. Haley, see my doodling. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, but that's what I mean. It's like, yeah. but but so a lot of people are frightened about placing things themselves. So you can follow, you can follow this kit, this um, to the to the letter if you wanted to. You could let put your layout exactly like that. But if you fancy, we wanted another hummingbird up here. You could put another hummingbird mm. up there. It's your project. You place it where, and you don't mind. You don't get no. offended if people no. go, oh, that was a delphine, but I didn't. You know, she hasn't... Well, she I'm not easily there. offended. Well, we know I'll that. I'll with you. Oh, right. <laughs> it can be changed, you know. <laughs> no. Don't you dare. <laughs> 32 mm -hmm. Now, I've got another kit. There's no picture of it or anything like that yet, but I'll just show you, right? So, you get the sapphire... No, what do you get? Same fat quarters, but in what colour is your background? Which colour blue is it? Okay, so now the same, if you want the same kit, but without the white background, you want a peacock background, then you can get that as well. So you get exactly the same colour fat quarters, you get exactly the same instructions. A peacock's very similar to that, just a little bit darker than that. So you might want to replace some of your flowers, that's all. Oh, hang on, she's just looking up now. Has it got what? Oh, hang on. 
I don't know. Here you go. She's done a she's done a picture for you. I bet she didn't do. I bet Kate upstairs did or something. There you go. There's the blue colourway. Is it coming up? As long as you put MB6641, you will get eight fat quarters. Those eight fat quarters, you will get those instructions, but in shiny cards. And in, with P, one metre of peacock blue, have you shown you that picture? <laughs> Haley's cobbled together picture there. So the background won't be white, the background will be peacock blue. Which means it'll look a bit like this one, won't it? This is, this is sapphire. But it'd look a bit like this one. Bruce. There you go. Oh, there you go. Gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? Now, I was driving home the other day, and it was a love. We'd had a big rainstorm and everything, and in the village next to mine, the posh one, well, yeah. right? I came over <laughs> the bridge where the um, water lilies are. I yeah. always love that bridge. Yeah. Um, and then I came over the side, and there were like these. They looked like ducks, but they were too, they were huge, right? They, so they must have been geese, right? But they were jet black. The whole body was jet black. But then all their feathers, they had like luminescent greens and blues and, oh, and their lovely. beaks were red. No, they're not cranes. I know they, they were definitely that shape. They were <laughs> waddling along like that. They'd obviously come off the river and gone, oh, this isn't where we live. Um, but they were so gorgeous. And I, I almost stopped my car to take a picture. I thought, oh no, people behind me won't be too pleased with no, that. they'll be beeping at you. But they were just, and I've never seen anything like it before. They were like jewels. They were just, but they weren't ducks. They were too big for ducks. Anyway, if you want the instructions on their own, you will get cardboard ones, shiny ones. You won't get these photocopies, don't you worry. If they arrive within the hour, I will show them. If Roy does a visit. Now you see, this is what I don't understand, right? For all the work that's in there, all the printing, they should not be 9 99 because we, you know what I mean? You can buy some patterns, can't you, somewhere where they're just a page of A4 photocopy paper and they're 9 99 So these should not, you're selling yourself short, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's bringing through pictures of ducks for me now. I'm so, ever so sorry, Delphine. No, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm still peeling Bonderweb. Yeah, they did look a bit like that. Yeah. What kind of duck is it? I can't show it because it's not our picture. It's a black duck. It's called a black duck. <laughs> they were huge, but they were so beautiful and shiny and shimmery. I thought she was coming in to tell us something important, though. <laughs> oh, Delphine, you're, fu you're fired. <laughs> oh, well. All right, then. So, Delphine. Now, you're not gonna, you're gonna do something a little bit different today, aren't you? Yeah, because usually I'm, I'm spending half my time just peeling it all off and sticking it on. Yeah. And you know, and I want to actually show you a bit more of the sewing side and the quilting, of things, which is what quilting. people want to. Yeah, yes. Because yeah. that the quilting on that is amazing, but it's not difficult, is it? No, really, really easy. And uh, I mean, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but um, I've actually. The, I'll, all, I'll get it down in a minute when I'm not sure. All free motion shots. around the birds is yeah. actually done in pink, and around the leaves I've actually done it in a green. So up close, it it's got a lot more different. Like that's all by hand. Oh, that's your metallic from earlier. Yeah. The metallic you see, all this is yeah, all yeah, pink. Yeah, that's all yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'll finish the, fill the rest of it in the white. Brilliant. What I'll do is while you yeah. start your demonstration, I'll get that down. So if you hear me falling so you're not going to be on, like the, on camera taking that down. No, I'm too right, I'm not. <laughs> um, so you do that, I'll give it down so then we can come in really, really close and okay. have a look at your I'll bits. Come, I'll grab those. Yeah. Wait, you need the instructions? No, no, mate, no. Maybe. <laughs> you made them all up yourself. I do, I do. I make them all up with a little bit of help from Nick. Okay. So yeah, so just going back to the pattern then. So obviously you do have your placement guide. Again, what John said, you don't have to do it exactly like that. Yeah. One thing I would really like to see if they did, if you, somebody did it on a double quilt and actually repeated it and actually add more on there, it would look stunning. Anyway, so your templates, let me just quickly go through these. I do actually uh, do a lot of text actually in the instructions as well. So take this bird, for example. Oops. So I'm all right. He's all right. He's still here. So you've got the um, the there's four different coloured outlines. The black one is the main part of the body of the bird, which is the the darker pink. Uh, the red two red pieces that just forms up the rest of the body of the bird with the um, so you'll do those in a different colour. And all these little small pieces they're optional to add extra layers to the wings. Now you will also see very very faintly on the pattern is some of these grey lines. Now that's just an optional um, for uh, quilting it or doing it by hand. So I just basically add in additional details to the bird. So 
that's what those grey bits are. But otherwise, the bold lines, that's your template pieces on all of those. You've got three different size of the hibiscus flowers. Again, if, you're, if, you, if you don't want to do any uh, lots of um, fussy cutting of these really small flowers, by all means, just, just stick with the big ones. You don't have to do all three. Okay, those. I've got a quick question before we start on this one. Yep. Uh, Vida says, can you tell me the best size for a lap quilt, in your opinion? Because this is a bit, this, this is, this is, I think it's a bit small for a lap quilt, this yeah, one, Yeah, you'd it? have to go a little bit bigger. I mean, I can't, I can't remember the inches on that. I one. like a 60 by 60 as my uh, lap yeah, quilt. Yeah, because this is, oh, this, this is, oh, I've got it, it's 34 by 34 inches. Oh, there you go. What, that's a lap quilt, is it? No, no, no. This well, yours is, is. That's 34 by 34 Oh, okay. Inches. So I think a 60 by 60. So isn't that 60? Said, you've got a big lap then. <laughs> I've got a, no, no, because if you want to wrap it round you, like oh, a, lap it's not quilt, a lap quilt, then is no, it? No, it is just right watching the telly on a Sunday afternoon on your own, being okay, all sad. Okay, so yeah, you will need a big one then. Yeah. An <laughs> actual lap quilt is measured 54, 54 to 60. Oh, 68 to 76 is bigger than I oh, said. Oh, it's a big one. You're right there. Oh, is it a bit uh, wet? No, no, I'm. Um, I'm You're right. I've got threads attached to me. Feet. Oh, honestly, it's like the Laurel and Hardy show today, <laughs> isn't it? There we go. Ah. Oh, you think it's muted today? What? Oh, useful. What? She's got threads on her thing on her feet. Oh yeah, the lap quilt. So Vida, between fifty-four and sixty across, and between sixty-seven and fifty-eight, seventy-six in the drop. So bigger than I said. Bigger than I said. That is a big lap, isn't yeah, it? It is a big lap. Yeah. Have you got many quilts around your house? No. Have you not? Oh, no. I've got them everywhere in my no, house. No, I haven't got No, I need to sort the house out, actually. It's a bit boring. Oh, is it? Have you sorted out your beige carpet? No, I'm still sorting that. No, it's got, the, the sewing room's taken over everything. At the yeah, well, that's fine. So they'll, be yeah. they'll be glad to get rid of you, because then they can have the house back Well, that's though, what Nick I? says. He says, I'm just, just doing it to get me out of the house. It's exactly what it's he lovely. says. It's lovely. He's very loving and helpful, isn't he? But he then, is. when you're doing your computering things, is he yeah. going to have to come to the she shed? Or are you going to have to come in? No, no, he, he, he does all that in his office. Oh, OK. Yeah, so, no. She's banned him. She's getting invitation only. No, exactly, yeah. And well, then email him. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like our relationship at the moment anyway. Oh, too busy, isn't it? <laughs> We're always You're always working. going away for romantic weekends, we you two. We went away last weekend, actually. That was a wedding, wasn't it? No, not it? romantic weekend. No, weekend just gone. We oh. went away in the caravan with the kids. You got a caravan? You know we've got a caravan. I, I did not know you had did a caravan. Did you not know? No. Yeah, we've got it's a caravan. It's not parked outside your house. No, no, it's parked oh, is at it, is Wellsbourne it? Airfield. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we yeah, keep yeah. it there. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's a little tour. We got a new one last week. I'll say a new one. It's a newer one. Because you know the size of my Charlie is massive. Yeah, yeah. So he couldn't, he didn't fit in the other one, so we've had to upgrade it. Oh. Yeah, so blame the child, why don't you? He's huge. He's, 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 how old is he? 11. I'm asking you. Yeah. <laughs> he's 10, 10. A 10. And he's size 7, nearly size 8 feet. No, same yeah. as me then. Yeah. And how, how yeah. big feet is your Joseph? We'll get on with some sewing in a minute. Yeah. Joseph's only 3 and a half feet. Same oh, really? age. Yeah, they the And he goes what? I, he's asking when he's going to have his growth spurt. Oh, his dad's not very tall though, is he? Was his dad 6 foot? And was his? He's still alive. I'm saying, was it? His, is his dad 6 foot? Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Um, right, uh, what do you say about the stock then? Okay, well, the stock's gone already. And again, we had hundreds of these. Half the stock's gone. Right, I'll stop interrupting about ducks and things and caravan. I had no idea you had a caravan. Yeah, love me caravan. Yeah, what are you looking at me like? That, that is it one you put in the back of your car and tow yeah. it? Oh, yeah. okay. I, people keep on trying to get me, low keeps trying to get me to buy a Winnebago, but oh, I said, what's the point of being on my own in a Winnebago? Might it's well so be on good, it's so good for the kids. It's just good freedom for him yeah oh no yeah. no it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant oh, and they get to see the it. country right yeah. come on show it sew inside right all right first bit of sticking so i've cut it all out already so yeah. i don't think you want to watch me cut it all out no no that's it. fine you've got a couple okay. more bits to cut out haven't you didn't you say uh no done i've that. done it oh done it I've while, done it while you were talking oh it's all right all right <laughs> so all you've done is uh, like i said make sure you um when you're when i do say this in the instructions when you do come to sew it all down into place and i do do a step-by-step -step guide and all the photographs and everything of where you put it down make sure you don't stick it all down and then sew it because there's a lot to go through your machine so do your vines first then the flowers then the bird do the birds last oh i see when you say a lot through your machine you don't mean going through your machine at one point you mean if you've stuck them all down you could be down here stitching this flower and that flower could be unpeeling exactly. over there exactly so yeah. do it in bits so yeah. i say lay it all out first so you and then take a photograph of it yeah. and then take it all off and then just put it on in of stages course. 
So I've done my little flowers first. So I'm happy with that position of those. Okay, Jojo says your description sounds like black swans. They've got red bills and beautiful black iridescent plumage. Maybe they were because they were bigger than ducks. Lo says, you know, I didn't know Delphine was a shed dragger. Ooh. A shed dragon. Yeah. I've never heard that Meant in the before. nicest possible way. That's low goes away every weekend in a Winnie Bago. Oh, I love my caravan. Oh, I love it. Right, so, and also with the vines, uh, you can do them two different ways. I, as you know, I always cut, uh, draw the bonder web on the glue side, but if you want one going in the di other direction, then just, just draw it on the other side. Just draw it on the other side, yeah. So I'll just put the one of those So on. when you do letters, not that I've <coughs> seen you do letters recently, but when you do letters, you draw them the right way round on the glue side. Yes. Because if you're doing a, a, a big R, yeah. because if you draw it on the other side, it comes out backwards, always, doesn't it? So, so whatever you're tracing, always draw it on the glue side if you want it to come out the exact same shape. Yes. Yeah. It's an endearing term for caravaners, yeah. apparently. Oh. Shed. I'll, I'll tell Nick when we get home about the shed dragon. <laughs> Are you what? Never heard of that same No. Anymore. Well, she's from down south. Um, what are you saying about the hummingbirds? Everywhere at the moment. It's just where ours look like ducks then, isn't it? Why do you think they look like ducks? I'll tell you later. No. No, keep going. Look, at you. you've got a little cheeky grin on your face. I haven't. You have? I haven't. I'm just tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well. I've got four days in here, you see, in a row. Have I got you again, Hayley? I've lost oh. my pin. What have you lost? I need a pin. I had one. There's a whole tray of pins on the side there. I oh, know, I keep losing them. Oh, hang on, we've got some hummingbird facts while you're sticking those down. Keep looking at that. Don't look at us. Keep watching Delphine do the sticking and everything. There are under over 330 species. Oh, well, that could be why. I, I, this could be the duck species version then. There are 330 species of hummingbird. They eat, well, they're always eating. They're always at the, the plants, aren't they? They eat half their body weight a day in uh, bugs and nectar. Imagine if we did that. Uh, they're the smallest of what? No, the wren's the smallest, isn't it? Oh, the hummingbird's smaller. One point nine five gram. The bee hummingbird of Cuba. So you have to go to Cuba in your caravan. I agree with Delphine. <laughs> I love my caravan and I'm away next week to Stirling. It's home from home. And my cats love the caravan as yeah, well. Yeah, people take their pets. Mine yeah. wouldn't stay in. I'd have to have a cat flap fitted and everything. The geese you saw are probably Australian geese summering here. A little fact, a little fact, geese in flight can give off an iridescent glow in the sky. Thank you for answering my question about the lap quilt. That's what we're here for, Vida. Our pleasure. Uh, I'm actually looking for a duck quilt this morning. Oh, oh, these aren't ducks, Julie. Sorry, these aren't ducks. I can see what John means. No, they're nothing like ducks. I just thought, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I can only get away because it's Delphine and she slapped me afterwards. <laughs> Um, I just didn't send any more. There's loads. You always get loads of lovely messages. I'm not reading any of them out. How did you just you suddenly make that one while I was chattering? Well, because you were talking. I'm sorry. So I complaints. Just, <laughs> just pop the little wing behind. Another it. message for you now, John. Go for it. Get a little motor home. It's the best life ever. Campsite atmospheres can be amazing. Just adore it. You can even take your cat. There you go. I've got two though. They take up the whole blooming caravan. They're so big. Um, yeah. The thing is, right. And I don't mean this for me to sound old, sad and lonely and everything, but why, should, why would I go and drive a caravan somewhere to sit in a caravan or a motorhome on my own when I might as well just sit on my own at home, in my own house, in my comfort of my own house? Well, it's not about... It's, it's like being outdoors and you Yeah, just... but when people are there, I'll turn up a caravan and they're like, have you, seen, have you seen what they call them? Doc number 37. It's a bloke on his own. That's what they'll be doing. No. They'll be some there's, sado on his own. There's plenty of people that do it on their own. No, I don't think so. And you make new friends, John. Eh? And you make friends around the campsite. And, you know, you go and do the washing up, al fresco. No? No. Oh. I'd do it if it was abroad. Well, do, go abroad and do it, then. But I mean, I've got to drive abroad, and I don't like driving oh. I could only drive when the car's on the same side as us. So I could do it in South Africa, <laughs> and I could do it in it's Australia. It's a long way to tow down <laughs> South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> oh, funny. 
Instead of a Winnebago, <coughs> just get a double-decker bus and we'll all come with you, says Derek. It'll just be like the movie Summer Holiday, but with sewing machines, not Cliff Richards. Uh, oh, hang on. There are house... Oh, uh, more eggs are house cats, but when they're away, we put them in the cage in the awning. Oh, you yeah. see, mine, mine, if I even try to lock the cat flap now, they're at me. Like, get that cat flap open. Yeah, my, the friends that we went with on um, the weekend, they've got uh, two little dogs. And they, they go in the cage when they're asleep. When they're yeah, asleep. yeah, but I can understand dogs, because you take dogs for a walk. I'd hate to imagine if I went and let Luther and Ghost out, and then they didn't come home that night, not to drive home without them. I'd be distraught. Oh, John, you'd never be alone. You'd make new friends and it's fun people watching. Yeah, but people watching is only fun when you can sit going, I've seen her. <laughs> <laughs> you can come with us, John. Is there an, how many bedrooms have you got? Oh, no, but no, you can go in the awning. <laughs> I could do what? You can go in the awning, couldn't you? I could. We've got an awning. Nice well, one. A zip-up bit. Does it zip up? It's got yeah. walls on it and things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Is I'll go in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right then. Yeah, but I love me couch. I mean, is it en suite? We have to, well, it's got a bathroom. No, no, my awning is no. en suite. No, you can use a shower block like everybody else. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> shower you block with other people, yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, you can enjoy it. it <laughs> oh, you're making it sound very appealing now. Yeah, great fun. <laughs> <laughs> Right, shush, let's get, let's get right. on to sewing. So, to make the little flower, I don't know if you saw what I did there, it's the exact same flower, but just offset it a little bit and then it just makes it pretty rose. Okay, would the blue flowers show up on the blue background? <coughs> yes, they will, because your blue background is a peacock, color. not the dark blue. What you might want to do is change the insides of the flowers. Yeah. So, oh, I can't be sitting down if I'm having my picture taken. <laughs> Help me where have my picture taken. Up. Have we got to look like we're having a like, 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 like we're working. <laughs> Come on, we're on telly, hurry up. He's hardly paparazzi, this man, is he? Right, thank you. <laughs> right. Um, I've no, I don't know. Oh, it's coming around here now. We've got more. Right, Do you I'm, mind having your picture taken? No. Oh, that's right then. How can I mind having my picture taken? I'm on the telly. Yeah, people aren't taking your picture, though. Oh. Anyway, let's not look at him. Let's pretend we're working. So we're, let's pretend uh, what we you saying? No, blue. The blue, the blue, the blue. Right. So the blue, if you've got the blue background, you can still put the... Oh, I've got to hold it up. Nice. You can still put the darker blue flowers on, but maybe use one of the other colours to put on the inside there. Or maybe it look really striking if you have the peacock here, the copen there. No. Uh, yeah, and then the sapphire there. That would look quite nice. Then you stitched into it. It would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? I think, anyway, that's my personal opinion. Well, I did, um, yeah, because I used the different inner of the flower on that cushion, look. Oh, yes, there you go, look. Look, see, so you've got the blue background like this. Ooh. You've got your blue background there, then your darker blue there, but you've used the lavender or the lilac in the middle of that one, haven't you? So would, I think this is gorgeous, but then you, I'm like that. I like a darker colour uh, background on my quilts and everything. Brilliant, thirty two ninety nine for hot, all of this, to make all of this. Right, come on, hurry up, you've only got half an hour. Oh, I'm nearly done now. I was just putting the little pretty bits on the wings. The colours are lovely, aren't they? Did you pick the colours or did Hayley pick them? I did. Well, we put them, yeah, we were... Worked as a team? We did, we were next to each other upstairs. Oh, there, yeah, because I thought that was lovely. Who was in the other day? And they'd work with Jen. Oh, Sally Ann Harrison, right? For her, for her lattice cushion. And she said, while we're prepping, can I say thank you to Jen in the scheduling department? Because she's done such a fabulous job putting all these colours together. And I said, of course you can, because credit where... It's like if we get a message saying, your call centre are brilliant. I think it's important that they know that people are messaging in. I think it's important that Jen knows that Sally Ann Harrison was really, really chuffed with the things she'd chosen for her thing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because we take out the hard work, don't we? Picking the colours for you. Yeah. Just popping that one underneath there. Okay. I'll do a bit of sewing in a second. I know that you're looking at me, that look. No, I'm listening to Hayley waffle on oh, about... Oh, right, OK. You know. <laughs> OK, the blue background one, the newest one. We've only got 20 of those left. So it's this It's this colour. So it's a bit dark. It's slightly different to this, isn't it? It's a bit darker than this. But it's this. Look, with that. How beautiful is that? Now, oh, there's no white in there. Sorry, no white. There you go. Yeah, metre of the blue, and then you get all these lovely colours there as well. It's not this, but it's slightly darker than that blue, isn't it? Because it's, it's the peacock that's in there. Go, I love that colourway. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah. But there's only what left? 20 of those left? 
There's only 20 of those left. How are we doing with the white one now? No. Okay, we started with hundreds, we've got 40 left. 40 left of the white one once you've all checked out. People multi buying. Well, yeah, you see, if you buy three, you can make a really lovely bed runner. You could make, a, well, you can make a lap. Oh, I wonder, we can't see your name sort of thing, but it could be that Vida's bought three to make a mini, a mini quilt. Yeah. Uh, not a mini quilt, what did I say? Lap quilt, lap, lap quilt. quilt, lap quilt. Be beautiful. How? Yeah, go. well, yeah, if you, for three, you'd need to buy another kit. But, but if you're going to make two, all you need to do is buy a metre of white off our website and the white, and it's definitely white, is it, that? Oh, uh, okay, you can't buy any more that white because it's all in this kit. So don't buy another white because whites are always different from different bundles, aren't they? You know what I mean? So you can get white, white, because it's beautiful, but it's kind of, a Rose and Hubble white might be different to a, a John Loudon white and things like that. And what you wouldn't want is to put two together and realise the whites are different. It's like when you watch the uh, Oscars and the BAFTAs, these people with loads of money, and they've got a black tuxedo jacket and black tuxedo trousers which haven't come from an original suit, and they look completely different. Makes me so angry. <laughs> wow. Nice one, Delphine. John in the granny awning. Is that where you put your granny in the awning? Oh. <laughs> John, you need to try it. You'll love it. I you can will. see you talking all day to the other campers and loads of other places to oh, hit. Oh, you'll go down and scream at a campsite, you would. Yeah, but you see, I was thinking of buying one of those motorhomes. Not motorhomes, no, no, no. A fixed caravan, a fixed caravan. And then somebody told me to watch this show on, like, Channel 5 or something like that. And I, I'd have turned around within 10 minutes. It was like all these blue coats and not, not blue. It wasn't Pontins or Butlins. It was like a one, I don't know, even know where it was down in, down south somewhere. And they were dressing up as furry animals and they were having knobbly knee competitions. I was like, oh, you know. Oh, where, where's that? It's what, a, there's oh, a whole like TV a, show about what, it. Like a static, like a, you mean all a static, static caravan, caravan. And then at night time they have singers on, you know, like, um, yeah, you, you are limited. That's why I was, I was saying I could borrow people's and stay here, there, and everywhere. But I, I, then, then I started getting really fussy. Like, I don't want to drive more than two hours from my house, and I don't want. I want it to be mine with my clothes in it already, so I can just turn up. You'd have to pack a bag. You can just get them. There's a toothbrush and toothpaste and things like that. We often just go around the Cotswolds. Like I said, we were in the Charlbury at the weekend. Oh yes, yes, yeah, nice. And um, took the kids to that Diddley Squat Farm part. Yeah. And then we the thing is, if you've got kids, I can, I can, oh, well, you're very social, I kids. can see it. You know, it's brilliant because they're going to see, rather than sitting at home on their iPads or anything, they can sit on their iPads in the countryside. Exactly. Yeah, but they don't, we don't, we, oh, we do take them for the evenings, but they just play. They yeah. Play yeah. Oh, no, I think so. And also, your two get on so well, don't they? Most of the time. When it's football related, they do. Uh, uh, loads going to Stratford for the day. I'm hardly going to go to Stratford for a day in a caravan, am I? I could just walk there and walk back again. Love, love, love it, says uh, Heidi. I bought mine earlier. Can't wait to have a go. Well, yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Right, OK. Then you just sew it down. Right, using which stitch? <laughs> what kind of stitch are you going to do? I always use a blanket stitch. Oh, so you're not free motioning this one? I'm going to free motion in a minute. Okay, so you're actually stitching your applique pieces down using yeah. the blanket stitch. Yeah, and then you see the straight stitches as well. Some of the straight yeah, stitches. Yeah, the peacock. That's not a peacock. What is it? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. You can... Um, oh, no, hang on. No, that's got, a, that's got a blind hem stitch on that one, I think. No, it's a blanket stitch. Oh, no, it's a blanket stitch. So you can't see it from there. I'm just looking. Where am I looking for straight stitches, then? On the... Um, on the flowers. You, on there, and... I'll hold it up so you can come close. And the, um... Where am I looking? Delphine's going to point to it now. So you do straight stitches on the flowers here. Hang on, that cat's just coming in now. There you go. On the oh, so not round the edge. I see what you mean now. And yeah. here, oh, hang on, little ones there. there. And then if you lift up the bird, there you go. <laughs> and then you can top stitch on the top here as well. So you can put some stitches this side of the bird. You can't see that, can you? No, and it's not, you haven't come through, though. You haven't done it on the back. No, because I've covered it all up. Right. Well, I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. Go on then. Right. We've got a new system now for all our samples and everything. They take a picture, they write it in the computer and everything. It's very organised. Oh, very posh. I know, so we know where to find it and everything. Right, Cat's just... in charge of that. 
So then just go around all your pieces, the blanket stitch, and then we'll do a, uh, I'm not going to go around, obviously, all of it. I'll just do a couple of bits, and then I'll show you how I quilted it. OK. Catherine says, go on, John, do your version of Carry On Camping. Would be hilarious to watch. Maybe I will one day. Oh, Lo says, no, we're coming to Stratford. Come for the day and see if you like being with the camping people. Thing is, Lo, you're drunk by 11 o'clock, so it's not much fun, is it? Yeah, you'll have to come out. You have to come join us for the day. You know, you get the Cadac out, and get you in a camping chair, nice cold beer. All right then. Yeah. Uh, well, if you go to one not too far away, I could just come for the you day, could, couldn't yeah. I? We're going to Malvern for in a couple of weeks. Oh, you just missed the quilt show there, haven't you? Wasn't there a quilt oh, show it, at Malvern? Yeah, wasn't it? isn't it May? Oh, was it that long ago? I thought it was. Just... No, hang on, Malvern. I thought people were at Malvern in, uh, already. Oh, I don't were. know. Oh, I can't. Remember. I've not been for a few years to the Malvern. You going to Festival of Quilts? I am. I'm oh, teaching. no, I've got to meet. I've got to meet him about Festival of Quilts. Oh. Uh, at one o'clock. No, 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 not oh. about the Festival of Quilts. About how we're going to be involved in them and everything. I shouldn't be telling you, but. Yeah, I'm teaching workshops. Are you in on the Sunday? I'm teaching every day. Oh, are you? Because I'm on, I'm doing my yeah, talk yeah. on the Sunday. I in the did. Theater. I saw that you're you're headlining. I know the like the like lives and loves of John Scott. Oh, there you go, 12th of May, Malvern. I thought you'd already been. Am I thinking of Utoxa to them? Was that recently? I might go to the um, one in Malvern, actually. We can't drag the boys round it. I did one year. Louis was only a baby. He screamed the whole way around. <laughs> yeah, Utoxa's... Oh, it's this month. Uh, 23rd, 23rd of April. Oh, OK. Uh, oh, Malvern have two. That's why I'm getting confused. One in May, one in October. October, yeah. Uh, the site of my static caravan is very quiet, no club or shop. If there are more facilities on the site, the more rowdy they are. You could look at hiring one for a long weekend on a nice, quiet site. Good idea, Sue. Yeah. If I won the lottery, John, the first thing I'd do would buy... Oh, I thought you were going to say buy me a camper van. I'd buy a camper van and have the freedom to travel everywhere without booking a and b I, I understand that. And if I, if I did that, if I could buy a nice luxury one, I'd be off. I'd, I'd get a Winnebago rather I don't want to have a thing on the back of my car. I'd rather be sitting there like that. Because they drive like that in Winnebago, don't they? Anyway. I'd like <laughs> And you have big armchairs. You drive in big uh, swivel armchairs and things. My, my in-laws have got a um, motorhome and they're going to do the... Is it the Scotland 500 or something? I don't know. They're going basically round Scotland for five weeks. Oh, you see, if I had the time yeah. and the money, I'd love to do that. It's, I'd be that kind of, I couldn't be bothered packing it all up to do a weekend and then think, oh, I've got to be back at work on Monday morning. Yeah. Because also, because the hours we keep, you see, you have to think about the last night. Or, like, if you have the weekend off, which I know is very rare for me, but on a Sunday night, you think, oh, I've got to be up at past four in the morning. So you, that takes off your Sunday evening and there's nothing more. It's called the NC500. That's it. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, John, we're watching you now from our caravan in Anglesey, from Barbara and Doug. How lovely. Is it nice weather? I like Anglesey. Are you near the um Can Fair Pool Go 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 Go? Um <laughs> Oh hang on. Hayley's found me the perf what? <laughs> Nothing, you just crack me up, you make me laugh. <laughs> Four Hurricane 34J. Oh, it's a motorhome, a caravan. Oh. It's petrol. So it's not a caravan, it's a it's a Winnebago. Yeah, how much is it? Yeah. I could buy Hannah's house for that much. 189,000, the one Katie thinks would be good for me. Yeah, they are really expensive. I've got some friends who had one built and it was really the price of a London house, but it was like, Luxury, but then they built it so big that there are some camps, campsites you can't you get can't to, take, you can't get no. into. So, no, because they always ask the size of your van because they won't fit on the pictures otherwise. Oh, you see, Barbara's in, um, oh, I don't know where Ben Leck is. That must be that must be the Anglesey. That's Barbara from Anglesey. Ben Leck, all I know is come over the bridge, turn left, <coughs> go to Clamfair PG, Menai Centre. It's gorgeous, though, isn't it? Anglesey. Julie's mum used to go there. Uh, 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 Lo did three weeks at Christmas in Scotland, like your parents in Laura do. Morag, Delphine, do you think we will get... Do you think we will all... Hang on. Do you think we all will get John into camping, relaxing life? Caravan ah. is better because you have to pack up in a camper to go places. No, no, you have a car towed down the back, a little car, and you tow it, don't you, on the back? The caravan, yeah. You know, oh, no, on a motorhome. 
no, you don't, no, no, don't, you don't want to do that. What's the point? What's the point in that? Well, no, because then you can park it up, get everything out, and then think, well, I'm going to go see those waterfalls today, yeah, get but, in the car. But for the price of a motorhome, towing a car, you might as well get a really, really fancy caravan and a nice fancy car, and you leave it there, and you'll have change. Oh, sorry, I don't need to. I'm going to go and stay at Sue's in Cornwall. Oh, right. <laughs> you can stop at my holiday house in Cornwall, says Sue. Uh, John, Joe, Joe says she'd love a camper van, John. I really miss mine. Oh, now my knees are so bad, I can't get it in, I can't get into the cab. Oh. I drive round as well, Joe. I just get in the car and drive round, especially around Cotswold. Vi right, sorry, Vivian. Hi, John Delphine. My friend is on her own and goes all over in her caravan. She's made lots of friends. You see, I'm not very good at making friends. But no, no, I don't believe that. Oh, I'm shy. You're shy. I am, shy. I am. I am. I am. Underneath, underlying, I'm very, very shy. Anyway, should we get on with your talk? I, I have been. You, you've yeah. been natching away. I've been I don't know, but we're, we're character. <laughs> as long as we've been watching it, that's all. Oh, exactly. I sewed some straight lines. They're brilliant. That's it. I'm going to sew some more now. Okay. Oh, we going? So I can carry on talking. Then. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> so now, just tell me, you've got, you've got the. So you applique the, you iron the pieces onto the piece of cotton, but yeah. now you've put a bit of wadding behind it. Yeah. But you haven't got anything underneath the wadding. The wad, the no, wad, it's just the fabric it, and the you wadding. You can make a quilt sandwich with something else underneath it, but I just tend to do it like this. Does that, does the wadding not get stuck in your feed dogs or anything like that? No, mine no. doesn't, no. Okay. And of course the machine is coming up in the next hour, so watch how smoothly it's working. And it is Delphine's sewing machine of choice. Oh, it's a beast, I love it. See, so all I'm doing there is just sewing some details on the wings. Yeah, yeah. We are watching. Yeah. Oh, we've got confirmation of the black duck now. It's called, a, oh, that's it, there it is. But it looked bigger than that. It's called the what? The duck is a Cayuga and quite beautiful. We have seen, have them here in Herefordshire. Love you and I love Sewing Street from Lorraine in Hart. Oh, Hart Hertfordshire, not Herefordshire, Hertfordshire. Thank you. Did we show that picture? Oh, there you go. Yeah. They looked a bit, the, my ones looked a little bit more sleek than that. Can you look up Black s Swan? <laughs> Could you look up Black Swan? Just say. Um, Oh, I am. I, I am deep down. I am shy. You're picking on me now. Oh, oh so I can hear Bruce coughing. It's fine. Right then. So I need a. What do you need? Um, friction pen, please. Oh, there's one in here. Oh. Yeah, we're getting them back in a minute. Yeah. Um, what colour would you like? Anything. I'm. I'm not. Lovely. Okay. So. You sew all your pieces on, you yeah. sew all your little details on. You don't do any hand sewing yet, though. You'll do that at the end. Right. So then now you quilt it. So all I've done is using a friction pen, is you just draw on some... It doesn't work. There it goes. Just draw on some swirls. Wherever you're going to sew over the top. Like you see, it's brilliant because uh, I think it's much easier when you've got a line to follow rather mm. than, oh, just, just some, um, sew some yeah, swirls. Yeah, because I won't sew directly over these. It's just, it's just an indicator of where I'd like them to go. OK, get this. Alison, hi, John. We've got a motorhome and we can take our cat with, her, with us. She loves it. She's been to 26 countries. That's probably the most well-travelled cat. Cat ever. Oh, how <laughs> brilliant. When you travel, does she have to go in a cage in the back of the motor, Winnebago, or can she sit on the dashboard and look out the window? So there you go, just sew, just, and then go sew over Okay. Those. So I'll just quickly change my foot, it'll take me a second. Why are you changing the foot? Because you can do it straight stitch, but it's quicker if I just to show you the free motion. Oh, no, no, that's brilliant, brilliant. And this shows how easy it is to change your foot as well. Really easy. So if you're just changing normal feet, you just clip them off the bottom, don't so you? But this is to... Yeah, so if I wanted to change a normal foot, I just... If you can see that. So this Hang is on. obviously your main part of the machine. Hang on, and Kat's just coming to you now. Ah. Kat's who's busy eating more chocolate. <laughs> so that's the main part of, your, uh, part of the foot. And then yeah. to take it off, you just press this little hook and it yeah. just drops off. And to put it back on again, you just 
give it back up. So that's how you change a normal foot, but because we're going to yeah. a, a free motion foot yeah, now, so which I'm is the whole to unit, the free, motion, the free motion foot now. So it's a bit dusty, it's been busy. And then to just clip it on, you just hook it over there and make sure that that little arm bit there sits on top of the screw. You do need one of these feet, you can't do it without one. It's either called oh. darning foot or a free motion foot. And then it will come with that machine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tighten it up and then feed dogs, feed dogs drops, and then it's ready. Although looking at that bobbin, I think it might run out on me. Oh, no, you've got another one. But the beauty of this machine, yeah, my bobbins run out, my machine's already threaded up. Yeah. And usually you have to take it all apart again yeah, to yeah, re-thread yeah, yeah. it, but not in this one because I've got two spools. So because the machine has got a separate, completely separate motor, you see, so to do your bobbin, so I can carry on sewing if I wanted to, mm. but on this, let me just put that in there. It's a separate motor. There you go. 720 Pro sewing machine, Elna 720 Pro. So I'll just put enough on there, just uh, that'll do. Put the graphics in for you to see. So, and then you just put it straight back in. It's even got a, the automatic, uh, sorry, the needle threader with it as well. Yeah. Let me just trim that bit. This is actually Michelle Fiend's machine she brought from home. It's not one with the one from the, off, uh, from the studio. It's her machine from home. And then... We wouldn't advise you to, because it's quite a hefty machine. It's not designed to go... Yeah. To, I mean, you can take it around with you, but it's kind of... Um, Jane from elna has got the version before this, the, the quilting queen, and she says it just sits on her, in her workroom. It's her go-to machine all the time. Becky Alexander Frost has got one of these. Debbie Shaw's got one of these. They're very, very popular. When we drive, she's in a cage, but when we go out, we take her on a lead. You see, people would think I'd got two panthers on a lead if I took mine out on leads. How big are your cats? How big are they? Yeah. Okay, so Luther, if Luther stretches out across my bed, he's the size of a double bed. Yeah. From the tip of his tail really? to the end of his paws. If he's like that, if he does this, right, and his tail, he's the width as wide as my, my and the, his paws are like a child's hand. So I'm just using those swirls as a guide, so I'm not going directly over them. Uh-huh. Oh, they're so happy. Yeah. And it's, this is a really quick way to quilt as well. Yeah. So literally just following the spiral lines round. Yeah. Now, it's important if you're going to do this at home, sit down or have your machine the right height because you want your shoulders to be very, very relaxed while you're doing it. You don't want to be tense like that because if you think of the amount of time you're going to spend doing this, you need to sit really comfortably, have it at the right height so you can just literally move the fabric around like that. Isn't that true? Yep. And wear quilting gloves. Or just have sweaty hands. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Buy a chalet, John, has foundations and you can leave all your clothes, etc. We've got one on the Ayrshire Coast, lovely, from Clare. Oh, but you're already in Scotland, because it's a bit far for me just to nip up for the weekend, isn't it? I know, I, I don't need, I've got a lovely house and a lovely garden. Once I've got my garden furniture out again, I can just sit on that and look at the fields. Oh, um, Hayley's computer has suddenly got hot because all I get down my, the microphone is right next to you, all I get is ooh, like that. Well. So I've nearly done all these swirls already. It's what? I, t I said to everyone the other day, I can hear, it's like, no, we can't hear anything. Cat was like, no, I can't hear anything. And I was like, Cat, Charlie, listen in here, it's so loud. No, we can't hear anything. 32 99 remember this lovely, gorgeous quilt. What are the little pinky purple flowers then? They're not hibiscuses as no, well, are they? No, they're whatever you want them to be. Californian flowers. Are they all over the world then, hummingbirds? Because I've only ever, I've never only seen them in, in uh, San Diego by the beach in San Diego. I've only ever seen them in Hawaii. Oh, have you? Yeah. 
One more then, and then yeah, yeah, that's I'll fine. move on. There we go. So I've done it in a yellow. So it's just a bit different than constantly doing filling all the negative space with white. I yeah, 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 yeah. Like doing, doing it with a colour. It's quite subtle, but it's quite pretty. So I do. No, it it's in, really pretty. I do it in gold, metallic thread on the cushion. Oh yeah. There you go. This is the metallic thread on the cushion. Thank you, Cap. From Cat from, from Friday, you won't have to do that because I'll be able to hold it under. America, Alaska, America, Alaska, and Canada is where hummingbirds are. So they haven't made it over the sea then. To, you know, other parts of Europe and things. Um, I don't recall ever seeing one. In Europe or in abroad? Ever. So, and also, while I've got the yellow attached on yeah. the free motion foot, so also on the quilt, I use the free motion just to go over the vines. Uh huh. With a little, do a little leaf design. I'll quickly do one. It'll take me a second. Illinois, they have them, says Laurie. So you can do this by hand as well, would look really nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly, with embroidery thread and things. But I like to do things Oh, hang on, there's quick, a bit of quilt so in the way. Just push that, you, stop, stop. Oh, it's it. in the way. That bit there, it's just in the way of the camera. That's it, brilliant. Because I also want to ask you, you've done your swirls, but then you've got something else in between the swirls as well. I just want to see how you do that. Oh, this I'll bit show here. you that, yeah. The stipling. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I mean, that's something that I... The, the stifling effect is what I use pretty much all the time because it's really easy. Yeah. You can, as long as you get your, keep your size quite consistent, it's quite a nice way to quilt because it's really quick. Yeah, and it's all over, isn't it? You fill a big gap with yeah. it and it looks lovely. How you do your leaves mm -hmm. like that so right, hang on hold it there hold that brilliant uh, all right turn it around so yeah it's just, cool. just coming in on that now gorgeous yeah and then so you want me to show you the yeah if, uh, unless you've got anything else you want to show uh, no that. i can show you that yeah yeah, yeah good yeah. and then the rest is just all done by hand so french knots mini french knots big ones and then I did some hand embroidery on the birds as well. And a little tiny French knot using metallic thread on the eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the side... We sold out the metallic ones. As, oh, and now the embroidery threads or sewing, or sewing threads? Was it was that the, use, the floss that you used? I used the floss for the eyes, but I used the sewing ones for the, for the cushion. Oh, OK. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. So with the side thing, you just want to make sure that... I played like a little bit of a game with it. You just don't want to um, go over the lines. So just oh, constantly yes. moving it around. So just try not to cross the lines and just fill any of the space. That would be where I'd automatically go wrong. And then I've just, since you've said that, so you don't cross the line at all. No. So you wobble around in between the existing lines. Yeah, you just, yeah, exactly that. Wobbling around. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And it's really, you see, it fills quite a lot of space quite quick. Yeah. There we go. I'll just finish this little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. If you are going to do this type of quilting, though, start in the centre and work outwards. 
There you go. Lovely. I'll get Bruce come in and see that one. Oh. So yeah, all I've done there is just create little wiggly lines in between. But, but it works, it, doesn't it? It's lovely. And if you didn't want it to be obvious, you could just do it in white as well, couldn't you? Just do it in white, In yeah. fact, you've done this one in white. And mix them all in different... Yeah, so I've done the, the, the swirls around the vines in green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones around the birds in pink. Pink. And the stipling in white. You could you could do a something like kind of so subtle that like if you ombre that through your rainbow colours in the background, mm. you're not going to notice it to start with, no. are you? And then suddenly you'll be like, oh, but it's changing colours is going through. That'd be it's nice. It's only until it? you start look look at this close up that you see these colours. Yes. So you can't really see it at home, but it looks really. And uh, let me put it in in your shot there, then see if Bruce can see it there. Yeah. So all these ones are all the oh, sorry. pinks. There you go. So all these are the pinks. And you can just about pick it up. These are all the green ones. And you just mix up all the different colours. It just makes it more interesting. So from afar, you think, oh, it's just a, a plique. But when you get up close, you start staring at the uh, the swirls and th those colours will jump out at you. Yeah, it? yeah, it gives you so much depth as well. Yeah, it? And it's so yeah. simple, like you say. It's such a really simple, simple way of doing it. And all of these details on the, the bird, um, those are the, the grey marks that are on the templates. So you can use those as a guide, so you can do them. Oh, so you've got something to guide you yeah, as well. Yeah, so I've put those on as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, so uh, the bundles, the white bundle, the original bundle here, you get the instructions. Now, you will get proper, they didn't arrive, you will get proper cardboard, glossy printed ones, not a photocopy like this. So you get the instructions, you get a metre of white, and then you get eight different fat quarters here. You will, these are the eight you'll get. They're not random. You will get the eight that Delphine has picked for you. You'll get those eight, eight um, colours there. £32.99 for the whole lot. And then we've also, has the blue one still available? Okay, there's only 30 of the white one left if you, after you've checked out. Then there's the blue version. Yours is your blue will be a little bit darker than this because this one is sapphire and you're getting peacock, isn't that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you still get the same coloured fat quarters in the blue one plus the instructions. Now we've got it in a cushion, but oh, here we go. I've actually got the blue fabric right now. I can show you the exact blue fabric that you're going to get. Who's coming through with it? Ian, come on, quick! Don't run. No. Oh, nice. Haley wants you to come on. Come on, Delphine's side there. Oh. Lucky me. <laughs> Honestly, thank uh, goodness he's uh, got a microphone on. That's all I can say. This is Ian. What's your title, Ian? <laughs> Don't be touching. Oh. <laughs> What's your title? Today. Yeah, today. <laughs> You're chief running around here today, aren't you? Collector. But what are you really? Uh, I look after head of. Uh, what's he called? Head of Delphine. Head of Delphine. <laughs> Is that why it keeps coming up there? What? Um, what's his title, Haley? Head of oh, Head of Planning and Scheduling and Buying and everything. Not buying. That's... Yeah, he's a buyer as well. Right. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> we will. Right, so this is the blue that you will get. This will be the background if you buy the blue version. Let me just show the... Oh, hang on, I can't show it. Let me come over, let me come over to Delphine's side there. Do you want me to move out the way? No, 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 it's fine. There you go. That's the blue version you'll get. So the only thing I'd say is use that this one wisely. I thought it was darker. It's obviously lighter than that one. But use that one wisely. You get all those gorgeous colours, and that would be your background there. Just wait for the camera to focus. That's right, and that's not your fault, Bruce, don't worry. Beautiful, that's your background, and then they'd be your colours of your birds and your flowers on there. Lovely, isn't it? At least I love that colour. Anyway, how many of those are left, Hannah, Hayley? 11 of those left, that's it. And what time is it? It's just before 12 o'clock, so if you're watching on the, the YouTube or the um, website later, I'm just telling you that's the time. Uh, right, Delphine's not going anywhere. After the break... Delphine is going to be talking to you about the Elna 720 and we've got loads of her kits available. Uh, some just patterns, some with panels, some with fabric. We will see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes 
all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. We were meant to do this at 8 o'clock this morning, but it hadn't arrived and then I needed to charge it up. So I'm going to do it very, very quickly now because you're going to love it, right? To celebrate the Beldre 150th birthday, they brought out these different ranges of goodies, right? You know, you've seen, you've seen the iron. Remember the iron that we had? The iron's brilliant, sold out again. Only came back in the other day, didn't it? Oh, hang on, I'll just switch this stuff. Uh, um, sold out, sold out, sold out. This is going to do the same, right? What is it you're asking? Well, it's a defluffer. But you know sometimes the defluffers are like a little plastic thing. And you, you don't trust putting on your jumper because you think it's going to eat through my jumper in a minute. This is so sleek, I can't tell you, right? So this is it. I'll put it down on the table there. This is it. It's a cordless defluffer. And what we love is the size of the area that you can defluff. Now it does come with a little cover that sits on there and it does come with your charger and it does come with a little brush. It also comes with full instructions as well. Right, yes, USB as most things are today. Now, my little tip here is do not try and use it while you're charging it up because that's why it's called a portable or a, what do they call it? Cordless, cordless, right? Because I had it plugged in and I say, it's not working, Hayley, it's not working. I walked through with it, gave it to Hayley, she went, it's working for me. Came back in here and Kat went, it's not working, it's not working. Because we've got it plugged in. It won't work. You can charge it up, right? Once it's charged up, you don't need to keep that on. And literally, all you do is you take off the little cover there. All I'll show you inside there in a minute. And then you've got a button on the side there. And you just press the button. And you'll be able to hear this more than see it on this grey jumper. Right, there you go, the light comes on the button, can you hear it? Right, you ready? Can you hear it? Sounds like me shaving in the morning. This is Haley's manky old jumper in case you were worrying. It won't be manky by the time I finish with it, look. I said, she, Haley said to me yesterday, oh, I'm not going to have time to get one, will you find, oh look at the bobbles around there. It's really just taking all of the bobbles off. I said I don't own a jumper, let alone a bobbly one. She said, don't worry. Oh, do you know what? Hey, this is coming up a treat. Really? I mean, you might not be able to see it on the telly because it's just a mild grey top. But it's, it's really funny as well because when, when there's no bobbles, it makes no noise. And then when it hits the bobbles, it goes... And choose... Oh, this is coming up lovely. Listen, listen. Right, let's turn it over now. Turn that off. And it's safe as well. All the blades are inside. I'll show you in a minute, right? All the blades are inside. How much are we? Seventeen ninety-nine. This is a brilliant price. Do go and have a look at how much it is elsewhere. Can you hear? You see, when there's no bobbles, it's not doing anything at all. Let me find a very bobbly press. Oh, Hayley said, when she's out having a meal, you go out with, having a meal wearing this. But anyway, casual meal, she's down the local pub. Anyway, I'm not going to do it too much. There's only 40 left. There's only 40 left already. Right, and then, and then the way, way you get to it is right, so you just unscrew. Ready? Unscrew that. Oh, oh, now. There you go. Just unscrew that, right? Let me take the jumper away. Oh, look! Look at all that manky old fluff coming off Haley's jumper. Can look. Yeah, except that cost you thirty pounds. That top. Right then, what it is is inside here. This is where this is where your um. How did this come off? Oh, there you go. Unscrews. There's your blade unit in there. There's loads of fluff in there. Make sure you clean that out with your little brush. No, don't cut your brush, don't cut your finger or anything. Because they're your sharp bits there, they're your blades that are going round and round. But look at that, just from that couple of seconds. 
And Belle J, name you can trust, you've seen them everywhere. You can go and look at their website, do whatever you want to. Seventeen ninety nine. it's a brilliant little purchase, this. And then that goes on there like that. See, to that, and then that little top there fits on there. So it's nice and neat. So nobody can get to your, obviously get to your um, the blades or the grill or anything. It's not going to, you can just sort of, no, I haven't done the whole jumper. But how brilliant is that? Just from that few seconds. And where's the button? Hayley wants me to do the whole jumper now. This is very funny the way they've cut this because they cut it out on the. Look at they've cut it on the, the other grain, haven't they? It's all cut in one, there's no seams. Not that we're selling the jumper. See, no bobbles there under the arms there. It's not pretty. So we've got rid of all the ones from the front. So when there's no bobbles, you see, look, it's all de bobbled down there. There you go. No, no, because I've got I've, I've de bobbled the whole of this side. There you go. I've got to find the. It, it, you can hear it when I'm going to switch it off when I turn it over because I've done most of that side now. Bit of Delphine's bond to there, right? It's more bubbles here. Hang on. Look. Can you hear it? There's loads of bubbles on the seam there. I don't know why I'm doing the whole jumper. Yeah, she could wear it then. But Delphine, oh, Delphine's standing here waiting to come on. Anyway, how many have we got left? Twelve left. Twelve left once you've all checked out. Congratulations if you've got these. Oh, there's loads of bubbles here. We'll enjoy this bit. The thing is, it's going to get a bit addictive, isn't it? You're going to go through... Oh, don't... Oh, no, that's a good thing. If you leave it... <laughs> if you leave it, it doesn't cut a hole. Because those other ones, some of them are so brutal, aren't they? There we go. I'll tell you what you'll need to do, Hayley, when you get this home. Is you'll just... No, no, just... You need to go in there like that. There we go, to get to the seam. Oh, yeah, listen. Ooh, that's satisfying, isn't it? Can you hear? Can you hear it taking all those bobbles off there? Oh, it's got to go. It's got sold out. Sold out. We'll order more. We'll order more. We'll order more. Oh, check out. Check out. Check out. Check out. There's more people got it in baskets and we've got stock. I didn't even tell you about the Rose Gold Limited Edition or anything like that, did I? I was too busy defluffing the jumper. Anyway, it comes in that lovely little presentation box. We brought it somebody as a gift. Let me make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, they've got trousers. They've got it on. Easy Fluff removes lint and fluff from fabrics. Convenient, versatile cleaning picks up unsightly lint. Oh, so when I've been doing it, when I get home and I've been unraveling a jelly roll, design roll, I'm covered in it all. I get to use that for this one. Suitable for all fabrics, including delicate fabric types. Uh, Multi-use, versatile cleaning around the house. Oh, I'll have to look at it a bit. Revitalise your clothes, cordless. 40, oh, once you've charged it up, 45 minutes. You have great fun with that. 45 minutes, easy to empty lint container, suitable for all fabric types. Extra large head for greater coverage. Includes cleaning brush and micro USB charging cord. I want to know where you can use it around the house. Oh, corduroy sofas. Cherry's got a corduroy sofa. Anyway, isn't that brilliant? Anyway, I'll move on now, because Delphine needs to a sewing machine. So thank you. I'll just put that over there for Hayley. Right, 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 right. Delphine, do come in, because we're just gonna now talk about the Elna 720 sewing machine. Now, I need to say that Delphine, chose this she could have chosen any machine to buy mm. she chose this one didn't you yeah why was that because it's fast really fast fast do you want to turn yeah. it around so we can see it from the yeah. front just so you're really right doing that do you want me to help yeah it is quite it is a semi-industrial machine so it is got a bit, quite a bit of a weight to oh, it oh yes yes definitely uh, cat will find you don't worry yeah yeah so yes yeah, so it has it's, it has got a bit of weight to it, yep. it's quite heavy, but all of this, this is absolutely solid, this is metal, so usually you get the little plasticky ones, so when you're quilting, because I do like to quilt really, really fast, um, usually my old, well, my old machine would constantly shake, yeah. whereas this one, because it's so solid, it doesn't, it doesn't move, it doesn't budge, yeah. so that's the first thing I really like about it, uh, 1250 stitches per minute, mm -hmm. so that is fast. really, really quick, and also just a lot of the simple features on it, I know that some of this might sound a bit simple, but like it comes with a um, 
Knee. Knee lift? A knee lift. I won't be without a knee lift now. I don't think I'll ever buy a machine that doesn't have one on. Oh, wow. Ever. Well, you shouldn't really need to buy another machine, really. Because, well, no. But the, um, because I do so much applique, so if you think about going around all those little flowers and all those little birds, and you're constantly having to reach around, lift up the feed dog, put them down. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it. So it makes it a lot quicker. So the, how the knee lift works, I haven't brought it with me, actually. I should don't have brought worry. it with me. Is um, you can adjust the height on it as well. Yeah. So um, basically, just a little screw that goes inside the front of the machine, just here, this little hole, and it's also adjustable, so you can change it for your height and your preferences. So usually, like I said, it is a semi-industrial machine, so usually you would keep it on a desk or something permanently. So just by putting that in there, um, the, the knee lift in there, and when you're doing your plique, just give it a little nudge with your knee, and it's not hard to do. Either. No, it just lifts your foot, simple, doesn't it? And it just lifts your foot up for you, so you don't have to keep reaching around. So it makes oh, it a also, lot the main one of the main features of this mm. machine is it doesn't have a free arm; it's a flatbed. Yeah. And I know a lot of people when they first get a flatbed are like, "Oh, my next door neighbour's got this machine, mm. and she absolutely adores it." And she'd never had a machine that was a flatbed before. And she was like, she was worried that because she shows you so used to taking the gubbins box mm. off and going around, all you have to do is get used to turning it through the I other just way. Turn it the way because yeah. as you know I do a lot of toy making yeah so again before I had this machine I would tend to use the free arm I actually prefer this because it has got a bigger base well, it's like an industrial machine you can yeah. get through it. and you, exactly. like you say you've got the bigger base it doesn't move anywhere but you no. also get a table as well it, don't you? which is enormous yeah it is really really big so especially if you're doing large quilts and you because it's got a bigger throat space as well it's if you do a lot of quilting this is the perfect machine because you get the extra throat space a huge table with mm -hmm. it and not to mention the speed and the accuracy yeah. it does also come with a separate plate a HP for the high performance plate. well go on to that in a yeah. second because not you can't find much information yeah. about that um, I what I like is the fact that it's not basically built for beauty it's not built and I know you I love think she, I think no, she's beautiful I know you do what but you know saying? what I mean she's it she hasn't got any curved line it is you see what you get so yeah. you can see that that is where you do this you can see that's mm. your tension you can see that's your foot pressure yeah. you can see to do your, your big stitches and your length stitches yeah. and your width stitches and it's, it's just yeah. very mm. very because normally if you get into this caliber of sewing machine it's all singing all it's dancing all quite complicated. and I know yours can do all the singing yeah. and all the dancing but it's a straightforward here you go look at the slide then 200 stitches including nine buttonholes I'll leave it back I can wide sewing space Delphine's just uh, mentioned flatbed LCD screen independent bobbin winder which we talked about in the last hour extra high presser foot positions oh, uh, I'll show you that yeah, yeah we'll show you that in a second one step needle plate converter which we'll talk about in a minute upper feed system by Elna and an extension table so everything it's got it is like a little work has you got another have you got another one okay now the other thing about this is there's no uh, gubbins box so it comes with a plastic box with all your feet in there it is with yeah. the table um, there's the one there with I just need to uh, read sorry uh, number of stitches 200 nine buttonholes three typefaces three alphabets European Russian and Japanese Cyrillic letters and Japanese letters available when selected there you go capital letters and numbers available nine millimeter stitch width on this one uh, there are 50 combinations you can put together you've got your favorite stitch adjustment you've got a maximum stitch of nine length of five a sewing speed 1200 and 91 variable needle positions now what I was going to say is on my machine I've got the 680 you can lift the, the, the top up. You can lift the top of the machine up like that and all your stitches are in there. You don't have to, there's no, there's none of that. There's none of wearing my feet or anything like that. It's a serviceable machine, so your feet live in there. Yeah. But, yet, but yet, for your alphabet, yeah, so you ha you do have uh, this. It does actually come with a separate holder that you can actually attach. You to still not put yours on? No, only because I keep bringing it in and out, right. and I don't want to knock it. So right. that's the only reason. Because I don't want to break it. So, but otherwise, yes, that just sits. So when you want want it up, it will just sit above your machine. And then when you put it away, it just sits below the machine. It just slides right the way just, down. But it so the storage is out the way. Bit for that. So when you get the box, there's so many pieces yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like open. It's like Christmas morning for a sewer. So. But yeah, and you've got lo loads of different stitches. Okay, so show me first of all the extra high presser foot. So the extra high presser foot, which again, if you do, I should change the foot pedal really. So obviously I've just put the foot pedal up as there, just as yeah. normal. But again, if you've got going through a lot of, um, lot layers. of layers, you know, this, you some, al almost want to always have it like push it up that little bit more. And you push it up, but it won't stay there. But there you go, that's the highest. And that, I've, I've got the free motion foot on there at the moment. But that goes up two steps. Yeah, yeah. So, so most of them, like higher. mine, mine will go up higher, but I have to hold have to it hold there. It. it won't stay up there. Yeah. That one stays up there totally. Yeah. Also, it's at the back. A lot of people messaging going, and um, they don't like the um, 
presser lifter to be on the inside of their throat mm. they want the back so things don't get caught on it yeah. so it's really it's at the back of the machine but also if you're going to use your um knee lift knee lift you yeah. never even have to worry yeah. about that because just lift it up and down with your knee lift the whole time yeah okay talk talk to me about the um needle plates because that's something that people very so rarely the hear plate, about it does come with uh, two others so it comes with three or in total this one here is let me just see if i can take it off so I've taken this, oh, don't look at me. Is it dirty? <laughs> it's a bit, it's been very busy the last couple of days. So obviously this is just your normal needle plate. So obviously where the needle goes. Okay, you'll just have to, uh, no, to put it flat on the table and you can table. cover it from upstairs. There you go, now move it across a little bit. Yeah. So obviously you've got the, the bigger hole space here. So it allows you to do all of your um, decorative stitches. Just bring it towards me a little bit. That's there it, brilliant, there you go. So it allows you to do all your decorative stitches. And your okay, so while we're looking at that, like that, that's where the needle goes through that's into the That's where the bobbin. needle goes through, right. down into there. So, but you do also have a high performance plate and a straight stitch plate as well. Two, so you get three plates. So you plates. get three in total, but you do need to be mindful that the straight stitch plate, just come and show you on here, that it will only allow you to do those stitches at the bottom there. Right. So, so if you try and do a zigzag stitch or something like that and it won't let you, it's because you've got the wrong plate on. Okay. So just be mindful of that. So your other plate, let me just show you these. So the high performance plate you can only use with the, um, let me find the foot. Let's so this isn't the straight, this is the other one. So, so you get, you've got the normal, the regular one yeah. that's on it. You can yeah. put the straight one on, which will yeah. do, let you do lots and lots of different straight stitches. But yeah. you can still do straight stitch like quarter, you can still have the, it in the quarter inch. Yeah, it makes a perfect quarter of an inch. Yeah. So whether you're using the straight stitch plate or the high performance plate, if you're a quilter and you're looking for that perfect quarter of an inch, this is going to give you that. Brilliant. So if you tend to do, I mean... We mainly only use straight stitches. I know I do most of the time. Yeah. I, yeah, okay, apart from when I go on to replique, I use blanket stitch, etc. But as a quilter, you tend to just kind of keep the same mm -hmm. foot on. So if you, I'd recommend that you use the high performance plate or the straight stitch plate right. if you're a quilter because you, you know you're going to get that perfect quarter of an inch every time. Mm -hmm. So also with the high performance plate, as you can see here with the difference of the holes, so that one there is obviously quite a big one there. Yeah. Whereas if we switch to the high performance plate, which you will need the separate foot for, um, you've got this tiny little hole here. So again, perfect quarter of an inch, but what that tiny little hole does is if you're doing a lot of piecing, so small, um, you know, if you're piecing a lot of triangles together and we're coming in on the end, and sometimes it wants to, you, oh, your it machine tries down, yeah. to pull it down, it won't do that. And also if you're using um, really thin fabrics as well, you're not going to get any of that gather underneath. So that's what you use this for. Right. So but again, you can only use, do those stitches, uh, are they the red ones? They're on the your, red ones. Right, they, the, and the, you have to use the foot that goes You have it. to use the correct foot to go with it, which obviously it comes with yeah. as well. So, and again, if you don't have the right foot on, it won't allow you to do it. The machine will tell you, it yeah. will beep at you. It knows which, it knows which needle plate is in. So it will know, if you start trying to do something, like a zigzag mm. when your straight needle plate's in, the machine just beeps because it knows it's got that um, needle plate in sort of thing. So you can never ever, you know, like if you're in a rush and you think, oh, just sew this seam straight stitch and then do a zigzag and then come back to a straight stitch. You can set the machine. I don't know if you're, can you set the machine? Or will it not even let you set the machine? You can to set go even, to a zigzag, but then it won't let you actually it won't go. Let you, won't let you, it will just beep at you and you'll see the red, it will just flash off. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll you see it beeping and then it, it will just tell you what. Okay, now I've got a quick question about that screen on there because a lot of people get frightened when they see a screen oh, on the front really of the easy. machine. Yeah, yeah. So, again, it's just so simple. So, at the moment, it's on there. Oh, hang on, we I just need to, we need to see that. See that. So, it's showing that I don't have a plate on at the moment. So, it's got the little picture of the machine. See? And it, it's showing that it doesn't even have the plate on there. Oh, right, okay. So, it's not going to let you do anything no. until you've put, until chosen put which plate, plate you want there. to go in, yeah. Yeah, so just to take the plate off, just to let you know that it's just that little button there. So it's letting me push that in really easily at the moment yeah. because obviously there's no plate on there, yeah. but that's how you release it. Yeah, because so a lot of industrial machines, you have to actually unscrew the plate. It involves getting one of those three-ended screwdrivers. And it makes it a lot easier to clean it out. Mm. So, you know, cause my old machine, I, again, I used to have to screw it out. So what's your excuse then? I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put this back on. And then to put it back on, let me just, again, that's what makes, that's really uh, This machine is the best investment I've ever made from Lisa in Leicestershire. There you go. That's not us really? telling you that. We can talk to her blue in the face here. Delphine owns it. She adores it. Lisa, best investment she ever made. So, and then, so yeah. 
Okay, right. If you've got to say three, this is Hayley asking this now. Sorry to put okay. you on the spot. If you've got to say three things that you love about this machine, what would they be? Okay, so the bobbin winder that I yeah. showed you earlier on. Um, also, I know it's really simple, but just the needle threader. How, we, how to thread the needle is just really, really simple. So I can quickly show you that of just how easy it is. Yeah, yeah. Because I change constantly how many colours. So the, uh, how many threads did I use on that applique? Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. And I'm constantly, so you know, I'll, I'll just give up and go, I'll just quilt the whole thing in purple because I couldn't yeah. be bothered to keep refreading yeah. the machine. One, you don't have to rethread it because you've got your bobbin winder if your bobbin runs out. Mm -hmm. But also, check this out, look how quick this is. Can you do it with that foot in? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do it with that, yeah. So, just to thread it up, like normal, any normal machine, let me unthread it, and then I'll show you. So, round, down, up, and round. Oh, I'm doing it, let me move that one out of the way. Okay, well, you can't see this at the moment, but it's literally just like a normal sewing machine. You just take it through the guide, you take it down through the tension, and it's all up, numbered. Loop, up through the arm that goes up and down. And then take it down. Round. Right, now you need to get close up on the needle threader, please. So, all I've done there, you've got this little hook by the needle, just stand there, like you do on all machines. Yeah, yeah. Make sure that's over to the left, and then you've got this little, I don't know if you can just about see it there. You've got like a little hook, you've got this button here, push it down, and it's done. You see, now, I know Ready. that you love things. I've never, ever, ever liked a needle threader. On my 680, yeah. it's just amazing. It's, it's just, just so quick. Yeah, it's just really, it'll be the same as that yeah. one now. So yeah. I could be changing, I could be filling my bobbin to the, to, for the next colour. Colour and threading and up threading at, the at the same time. same time. All you have to make sure is that the needle is in the top, in the top position, don't you? Needle up, yeah, needle down position. You, and also that the needle, when you are sewing, the needle always stays down, which is... Which okay, is Delphine, which of the three F uh, free motion quilting heads would I use with a 7 quilting, 720 quilting foot as you demoed this morning, please, uh, says Sylvia. Where, I've just taken... Oh, it's the, the one that's on there now. Let me just take it. Hang on, because don't you get several different yeah, ones you with yours? Different yeah, because I get three with mine as well. Yeah, yeah three this is my go-to one. And do you know what? The only reason I say this one is because this is what I had on my old machine. Yeah. So oh, I, yeah, so I you're have, used to that one. So you can have one that bobs to. up and down, you can have one that goes flat, you can have one that goes so echo there's quilting. Your three. And you've also got the that one as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to look at this. I'm just going to look at this. But that's the one that I tend to use. That's my go-to. One with the two little red marks on the end there. Sorry, it's a bit, it's, it's done a lot of work this one. So it's quite um, a bit dusty. Uh, if you get your brochure, when you get your brochure, if you just have a look at that, it tells you the names and the letters of what, does your machine tell you which, um, letter yep. foot to put up so the mo so, but again so because i do a lot of applique what i'll do i'll switch the mode to um mode two because i want to do a blanket stitch yeah and if i have number so the, the usual one it's an a it will always say a and it will tell you in the top left part of the screen to and it will tell you to switch to say an f but they're all written on there anyway yeah, exactly. so you can just line them all up in alphabetical order anyway so just so you know quickly, on the side of the 680, those two, those, that button is for you to set automatically for it to do a locking stitch and a cut at the end of every seam. There we go. Okay, uh, we've put a few fifus across it, but there was something else, wasn't there something else you were going to show us just then? Before I interrupted you about something else. Oh, oh I know, I know, the screen at the front. We just talked about the screen at the front. Yeah, so obviously I've changed it now, because at the moment it thinks I'm still, because my feed dogs are down. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, thinking it's the old foot on there. So if I just change that, and then straight away it's gone to A. So it wants me to, because I'm in just in mode one, so it's uh, it's going on to the A. But if I go on to mode two, and say put in I don't know. So that's a um, blanket stitch, and so it's changed to F. So you always know. So you haven't got to keep going through your manual. Going yeah, all yeah, that yeah, page. exactly. The machine will tell you exactly what to do have you got a start stop button if you don't want to use yes. your foot pedal yep yep start and stop there. button just here and obviously you've got your speed adjustment as well which is like i said is really really fast okay now very quickly can you just take me through those buttons on the front of the machine there yep so this one here is once you've selected your uh so your stitch by pressing this button here it will tell you the rest of the stitches that are around that area so so say if you thought oh that blanket stitch is 43 and you look at it and go actually must have been 44 45 you press yeah, yeah. that and you go oh it's, it's that one it's the ones nearby yeah, yeah okay, so brilliant. it's the ones nearby obviously the first one we've missed out was the mode when you're oh, choosing your stitches which is on here yeah 
So it will tell you um, all which the stitches on there, to, which yeah. mode to go to. The next one along, obviously, is your double needle. Yeah. Um, Twin needling. And this one here, this one's quite a clever one. So say if you were doing a, uh, let, f let me, for example, I'll quickly show you this while it's on there. Let me pick the shoe. So one, nine, six. So I want to do the shoe. But right. If I wanted to put it the Watch other way. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. So you see that? So I really want the shoe, but I don't want them going that way. No. So if I just press this button here, it will mirror image and yeah. it will change it. It's brilliant. Very clever. Well, so if you're Because if you're going round something, you kind yeah. of sometimes want them to go the, the same go way. The yeah, other, yeah. yeah, exactly. So and this stitch here, this is if you want oh, to... Oh, I e love this stitch. You Mine's like got this one. one. I love it, yeah. Elongated stitch. So what I have actually got a little one that I made earlier. Oh, brilliant. So it's got five different settings on the elongated stitch. So if you... St oh, let me see the one way around. So by pressing that stitch there, so you could have the same stitches. Just leave it come across a little there bit. We so go. There we are. Okay. I should have trimmed all my threads off, shouldn't I? So that's it on the on the first. That's setting. your normal one. If you but choose that arch satin stitch, that's yeah. the size it will do. And then by making it just by pressing that button, what it will do is that you can elongate it right up onto this one here. Yep. Yeah. And it doesn't make the stitches any wider apart. It still uses the st same, same. It's concentration of stitches, but just, just elongates it totally. Yeah. So it means that all those satin stitches, you've got five different mm. versions of those. So yeah. it might say you've got this many stitches, but actually each stitch can be mm. uh, made bespoke to you, could it? You can yeah. change each one, yeah. Yeah. So that's that one. Obviously, that's your bob bobbin winder. You don't have to worry about flicking everything up here. Yeah. That will just, uh, that's your separate motor for your, so if I put that across there, you can barely yes. oh, hear yeah. it, it's that quiet. They changed picture on the thingy then. So, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one here is your folder so you can save all your stitches in there. Uh huh. This one here. Oh, I, I can hard. tell you what that one is. Because you did that one. Yeah, yeah. So when you do, like the alphabet, so if you spell Delphine, yeah. you press that and it takes you back to the beginning so you can make yes. sure you spell Delphine, Delphine properly. Again. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. we did it on here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So, like that, so if you're putting the alphabet in, if you're writing a word from the alphabet, you'd put D, memory, E, mm. memory, and they think, oh, where oh, the phone rings. You think, well, where did I get to? Is it D or Fiend? You <laughs> press that button, it takes you back to the beginning. It'll show you've put in a D, you put in an E, you put in an L, you haven't put your P in yet, then you carry on like that. So it'll always take you back to, so even if you did, if you were doing decorative stitch around the hem of a little girl's dress and you were doing cotton reel, bobbin, mm. scissors, mm. helicopter, cat, things like that, it shows you what you've already plumbed in, in the, in the, in the thing that you want. Yeah. Uh, so then you've got your uh, settings, so you can change everything. So that's your brightness. Uh, you can turn the oh, let me go the other way. Uh, then you've got your sound. So if you want to, you can turn that off. Why well, you turn that off? I don't, I don't know. And also your scissors. So you've also got your automatic needle threader. Believe me, that I don't. That's no, not a needle threader. Not a needle threader. Needle cutter. Thread cutter. cutter. Yeah, get there eventually. A pair of scissors. What cut? It cuts stuff. And again, you, I don't know why you'd cut, take that off, but you can. You okay, then. And then, so you can go through all the lights and all the different yeah. things like that. Very quickly on the bottom there, we've got the the. Um, on the back to the pad you've got a key so you can lock the whole thing so that nobody can touch Especially, the machine yeah if you've got little kids and yeah. stuff like that make sure you, you press that yeah but although they'll probably go and press it because it looks like a key yeah, they're exactly, not, they're not yeah, down, yeah. They? and obviously you can um use these rather than the rather um, than you, and that's what i love yeah. is your stitch width and your stitch length are yeah. there and when you've got your stitch set in yeah. you can turn it you actually see on the screen the stitch getting bigger and smaller right uh, one pound £1,799 is your price, but look at the split pay, right? You can do it, pay £359.85 times. So now that's no interest charge whatsoever. It's literally the price divided five times. You will get the machine after <coughs> we have taken the first one. They're on the shelves at Elna in Stockport waiting, waiting to go. So what day is it today? Thursday. If you get one today, an email will go through to Elna at midnight tonight that will take your first payment. Once that first payment has been okayed, Elna then gets a thing saying, yes, send it, and they will send it, whether you pay the full amount or whether you take the split pay. Uh, it's there to help you. It's there to help you. And in these days, we all don't know what's going to happen, do we? So you might pay the £1,799, then next month get a bill, like me. Went to the dentist, all oh, fine, they went, oh, but you do need these coverall things. So I went, oh, yeah, yeah, book me in. £1,790 for these three things. I was like, oh, okay, we'll think about that. I could buy this instead, look. Um, anyway, 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 you don't know what's around the corner, do you? But if you're paying your split pay, you know, it's not like the old days where my mum and dad were like, oh, I don't buy anything on tick. Because it was thought of as something that you didn't really do. 
who cares about them? Who cares about them? You're paying that much each month. You can start enjoying it. You'll get it at the beginning of next week, won't you? Start enjoying. They're on the shelf at Stockport. You get a two-year warranty, which comes with, comes with it from Elna, and you get all the bits and bobs. And the other thing that's brilliant about Elna is you can ring their customer service team any time you like. Now you don't do it very often. Do you? you haven't rung them very often, have you? Not I rang Jane. <laughs> oh, you rang Jane instead, right? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not changing brand, but Dukey, right? Wendy Orlando is on the phone to Gary every day. Gary, this doesn't work. Gary, what's this going on? Not that it doesn't work, but I can't stand this, can't stand that. Sean, all, all the time, she thinks she fancies Gary. Yeah. I think she'll start to be gorgeous George soon, won't she? Who liked my pictures yesterday, by the way? Anyway, £1,799. Now, this is exclusive to us. You can't buy this anywhere else. I think there's one shop. Uh, uh, actually, I've said that before, and somebody messaging going, actually, I've just bought one in France. I don't know how or why, maybe it was a second hand one, but basically when this, well, what I'm going to say is, when this was launched, it was definitely, definitely, definitely exclusive to us. Because you know normally we'll go on and go um, f find a price comparison. Can't be found anywhere else, but I think that's a brilliant price. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, she's found one that's this machine for £116,000. I don't think that's quite right somehow. I don't think I don't think you trust that one. Anyway, anyway, uh, Delphine adores it. She works mm. constantly on hers, don't you? you? Just it's just you keep me busy. <laughs> yeah, and and everything. You know what I mean? And it's a brilliant, brilliant machine. And of all the all the machines she could have chosen, we didn't go to her and say, right, here you go, you start doing this. You could have chosen any make whatsoever, any bra any any um, model she wanted. Right? She chose that one. Uh, uh, Claire, not Claire. Um, Rebe Becky Alexander Frost. She's got one. Uh, Debbie Shaw, she's got one. And there's somebody else that we know that's got one as well from here. But anyway, it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. Ask, if you're thinking about it, ask on the website, or ask on the fans page, sorry, not the website, ask on the fans page, because everyone, they're very honest there. They'll tell you exactly what they think about it. Right, okay, now I've got to go on with some kits. What I forgot to do in the last hour, when I was summing up the um, Hummingbird quilt, was telling you that the uh, pattern was available on its own. If you didn't want to buy our colourway, the pattern is available on its own. So here it is, nine ninety nine. I still think it's way too cheap. Affordable, affordable. Pages and pages and pages of information. Yours won't be photocopied like this. You'll be yours will be like all of these, you know what I mean? On the glossy. If you've had one before, they're like nine ninety nine. Hummingbird wall hanging. You can make it into a cushion if you want to. It was what uh, Delphine de um, demoed in the last hour at 9.99 pounds and 99 pence your neck my your necklace is catching on your microphone oh, yeah. at 9.99 well done well done okay brand new today and, and exclusive to Saint street and exclusive to Saint street. Oh, i was going to point it because it's been hanging there all morning um it's folded oh there it is there it is there it is that photo doesn't do it justice but no offense to the photo but right right let's start with some dupe uh, everything everything here is Delphine so if you and I'm gonna t show you she's gonna hold it up and, dem and demonstrate it so you ready not demonstrate it display it Union Jack cushion oh okay stretched on their own first of all now this one is the simplest oh I'm gonna open this one is the simplest foundation paper piecing you're likely to come across you need to make four of, you need to make these you need to make two A's and two B's place them in the right way and then you just sash in between what date did we do this please twenty fourth of March twenty fourth of March this one was done and what you it's instructions only nine ninety nine nine pounds so you can use your so the first time we did this we had some was it Lewis and Irene we did it with the first time the yeah. poppies and the blue yeah. and everything yeah. um then we, so we've done it and you can do it in, and you could you don't even have to do it in red white blue if you don't want to yeah. you could do it in purple oh yeah these were the original these were the original ones we did look um so you can do it in any kind of fabric you want if you want to do it for the jubilee you could do it in purples couldn't you purples and platinums ready for this year's jubilee because if you, I always think if you do red, white, and blue, then it has to be celebrating red, white, blue. Where you, where if you do it on, pu no, we haven't got done this yet. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I haven't got that one though. No. Oh yes, yes, I have. Sorry, 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 sorry. Didn't see it then. Right. So if you want to do this one, you hold. I'll do this. <laughs> Yeah, the most expensive model we've ever had. 
Right, so to do this, you need this. You get the pattern and you get the panel for $24.99. There you go. There, that's where you cut all your fabrics out of there. You four different fabrics. You have got two queen heads and you have got a crown and two circular sew-on bits at the corner there. $24.99 and that you can make that out of. Now there's enough here to do the back as well, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So you can make the, the, union ja uh, the union flag and the backing for out of that panel. Confident beginner. And if you've never done foundation paper piecing before, it's a brilliant way to start your foundation paper piecing. A garden party, going to a garden party. The, the thing is, right, so if you're going to celebrate it like we are in our village in red, white and blue, then that's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic uh, one to do. Oh, here you go. And so Haley's when she makes her, she's going to be embroidering. How many are you making for your village then? She's embroidering the date on it. 4th of June, isn't it? Isn't it the 4th of June we're celebrating it? I think so, yeah. The thing is, it's a whole year, isn't it? I just yeah. put the year. I just put 2022 because mm. they've been celebrating since February, haven't they? Anyway, that's that one, the red, white and blue one. But if you want to do it in the Jubilee colours. I don't think we've got that one. No. We? no. Official Jubilee colours. Here we go. Again, exclusive to Sewing Street. $24.99, you get the panel there with the four different fabrics on. You get two queen's heads, a crown, oh, the same thing, two crown and the two applique bits down there. Gorgeous, isn't it? Same thing. Have you got a picture, do you say? I'm going to show a picture now of it. In the purples and the platinums, that one. Oh, hang on. We're having gremlin issues again. There you go. Yeah, uh, that might be my fault. Because I just picked up all the Union Jack ones I could find this morning. But it could be in the box because the cat's still doing a... What's it called? Cataloging. Cataloging. Okay, next. Oh, we've got the panels on their own as well. Panels on their own if you just want to buy these. But if you've already bought them and you want the panels on their own. So I've got the red, white and blue panel on its own here. Set 17.99. That just shows you... What the, how good the deal is to buy the whole lot because that, if you think that's 17.99 and an instruction well you know gorgeous that's the red white blue one there panel and the purple panel there we go and you're making one out of tweed aren't you for your um, yeah. sitting room mm -hmm. all in bright colours and mustards and pinks and but it'll look very in Vivian Westwood won't it yeah. like very punk very um uh What's uh, uh, World's End. World's End. Seventeen ninety-nine. It's upside down. No. Okay. What's that got to do with this? No. Okay. Have I ever watched Taskmaster? No. Right. Where are you going next? And Candy the Doggy. Right. Which colourway would you like to go to? Beyond you. Do what? It's behind me. Yeah, I'm, I was looking to see if we had the red, white, and blue oh. one. Now, now, I saw a lady put a picture on the Facebook fan page of this yesterday. In the red, white and blue. It looked incredible. Looked incredible. Sorry? Oh, wait, I thought you said we haven't got any stretches on the own. Right, now, Candy is a doggy. Candy's not a corgi. It's, it's a, what's it, a, a dachshund, dach, dachshund? Oh, we have this conversation, yeah. don't we? It's a sausage yeah. dog mixed with a corgi. Yeah. That's who Candy is. Because that's the, its name. That's what the Queen called it. Delphine can't take any responsibility of that. The Queen called it Candy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Bruce. After, you know what I'm going to do? After we have it fixed tomorrow, I'm going to be doing this all the time. We've got that, yeah. 9 99 instructions on their own. Uh, you've got the template in there. Now, what date do we do this on then? Hold on. 24th of March. That's the instruction on their own. So now I've got the red, white and blue one, which is you get half a metre of your white, the instructions and your panel. Now you won't use all of this panel, no, will you? No, yeah, only a little bit. You don't need much at all. But look, see, I'd be, so I'm going to get this and make bunting out of it for the village. Square bunting. How easy is that going to be? 
22.99. So for 22.99, you get the panel, half meter wide, and the instructions. The thing is, that with our fans page, so many people put pictures up, don't they? That the, you go to look for something mm. and it's kind of moved along mm. and it kind of, I don't know how Facebook, why, why Facebook does it, it kind of move things around. Yeah. It's like even the same on my page. I go to look for something and think, well, I'm sure it should have been there. She did the, this cushion. She did this cushion in the red, white and blue. Is it a, a candy block? Let me have one more looking at. Oh, no, no, that wasn't it. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. We've also got that in the rainbow colourway. There it is. It just went past. Oh, there it is. You found it. You found it. Hang on a second. Let's look at the red, white, blue one then. Uh, I'm assuming we can just show them off the Facebook fan page. No, I knew I'd seen it. Who's it? Who is it? Linda Sager. There you go. How gorgeous is that? That's in red, white, and blue, isn't it? Okay, now moving on to rainbow, which is this one. Oh yeah, you can hold that. Oh. 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 <laughs> so this is the same. You get half meter of the white. You get the instructions, and to make that one, you can. You see, the thing is, I love this panel for other projects mm. as well. Again, you don't use the whole thing. Stop looking up there at that corridor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is, that's the high management co corridor there. So if you start looking up, it's all the big, 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 oh, big crosses, yeah. yeah. 22 99, <laughs> you get a half metre of white, the candy uh, instructions plus that panel. I'm just going to move that. It looked like it was part of it, didn't it? There you go, there you go. Beautiful. 9 a.m. on the 23rd, you say? 23rd of March. No. Yeah, March, yeah. yeah. We're not at April yet, are we? Yeah, March it is. March, not April. That's Candy. Uh, Lion. You've, have you, oh, yeah. the Lion will be on yeah. there. One, two, oh. right. Give me, I'll take that one. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Lee on the Lion instructions on their own. Now, these are 12 99 right? Because this is like a th something like a 32-page booklet, isn't it? Oh, how many pages has this got in it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a big one. It's massive. It's like a book. It's got all your templates, everything you need in there. Just the instructions on their own, 12 .99. Leon the Lion. Twelve ninety nine. All the templates are the real size. That's why there's so many pages, because all the templates. We haven't made it smaller and told you to go to the post office or go to your photocopying shop or anything. Yeah, there it is. Fabulous, isn't it? Third of March, that one. Two o'clock on the third of March. That was birthday week, was it? Was that birthday week? Yeah, it was. So that's the instructions on their own. Oh. Why are you telling me the third of March, then? Oh. The demonstration was on the, f I thought it was, it was on the first day of the birthday, 28th of February. 28th of February, we didn't have the instructions on their own on the first day, she had to go off and print more. So that's that one, the instructions on their own. However, if you'd like to make the one that Delphine's got on her desk there, you can do, there's a kit here. So now, you need, I'm presuming you must need a big square of scrap paper, uh, scrap paper, scrap, uh, fabric that you need to you can do but i actually just did it directly onto the wadding oh we did you you can't yeah oh, okay right no 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 I've, yeah. I've forgotten that so you can get a square of wadding the size of that and then just put the plate pieces on um i suppose it just makes it thicker having another piece yeah. of fabric doesn't it so you but then these are all the colors you've got your teal you've got your yellow your blue they're the mixers these like the splodge fabrics the red then you've got black solid then you've got orange splodge, green splodge, and purple splodge. 25 98 for the instructions and all those fat quarters, eight fat quarters, to make that uh, multicolored, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lion there. So many people have put the picture of that up on the. Um, I'm amazed how quickly you all make things. It's know, ama amazing, yeah. isn't it, how quickly they put things together? Uh, 25 pounds and 98 pence for that kit. We also have him 
in monochrome. I haven't got him here, though. Oh, haven't you? No. No, that's a cat. That's a cat, is it? Right. Just well you know. <laughs> monochrome. We can show a picture. But anyway, you get the instructions. Then you get the, again, splodge. I don't know the colours of these. And then you get solids. This is a mixture of the two. And the white and the grey and the black and the lemon. £25.98. There it is. There it is. The monochrome version. Quite striking, isn't it? I think what I might have to do, if I did that one, is do his eyes in amber or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So he's all in black and white and then just have amber mm. eyes. Mm. Be nice. It would be frightening as well. Having been chased by a lion, I know what this is like, you see. Oh, yeah, you put that picture up with you with the lion, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, that was the next day or a few mm. days later. I was so hung over in that picture, like, properly. My, well, now my life was a danger. Before we started the film, oh, what do you want? You want some chocolate? It's on that table there. Um, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, the delight, we'd, uh, before we started the film, we'd had training of what to do if a lion jumps towards you. I was doing a film called Ghost in the Darkness. And uh, you have to buy my book to get all this information. Anyway, we were rehearsing. The lion got bored, jumped over the electric fence and just ran straight towards me. And there's no way, there's no way you could even run. I was just like, and I literally thought I was going to be gone. I'd be a goner because there was this huge lion just running straight towards me. They are muscle packed. He knocked me flying. He went past me and knocked me absolutely flying. Chased after somebody behind me. But yeah, it was scary. It was scary. Well, not a scary thing. I had a funny turn in here the other day. I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, next one. So I've done Lee on the lion. Where am I going next then? Yes. Yeah, birdhouse wall hanging. Oh, we got them both today. We only had one of them the other day. Right, you've got no, we've got the one with the brown. Yeah, the one with the brown first, not the one with the, the flutterbys on it. So what it is, is you get the whole bundle, the whole kit to make this. It's trapunto, which means it's slightly stuffed. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of people enjoy enjoying doing that. So in this one, you get the instructions on their own, first of all, so you'd have to supply your own fabric for that one. Do you list in here what how much fabric they need? Mm. Oh. Probably not. No, because we, no, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did a panel, didn't we? Yeah. So. You'd need, uh, you need a fat quarter of the brown. I remember that for the branches. You need a metre of the white for your background. And then we've got 45 inch squares on, 40 inch squares that are 5 inches each, not 45 squares, look. Oh no, hang on, hang on, you're not getting this in this kit, I was just showing you what, 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 what you'd need. So you could do it with a charm pack, a metre of white and a fat quarter of brown. That's what you need for that, mm -hmm. if you're going to make the branches brown. That's what you'd need. Uh, I've got the plain brown first of all. Now on the day... Uh, well, it doesn't matter, we've recreated these. 20, you see, I don't understand that. So you get all the instructions, you get a metre of white, you get a fat quarter of brown, so that's your background at the background in your tree, right? And then these are all your colours for your tree, uh, for your bird houses, for your birds, leaves. Obviously, the leaves are the green bit. You don't have to be, you can do the leaves whatever colour you want, I suppose, mm -hmm. couldn't you? 18th of February, this. Are there enough orangey ones? to do autumn leaves, if you wanted to do autumn leaves. The and then have really brightly coloured birds. You could do. There's, oh, there's one, two, three, Green four. birds, maybe. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just an idea, just an idea. Anyway, look, that's the panel you get with that one. 29.99. I'm only rushing because I'm just aware of the time. We've still got to, not quite a lot to get through. Nine of that left. There's only nine of that one left. Now, this one here, I'm surprised there are any of this one left because I know how popular this one was with the Flutterby fabric as the, um, on the day, yeah. this one sold out yeah, immediately, did, didn't yeah. it? So it's exactly the same kit. You get the instructions, you get the metre of white and you get the panel that I just showed you. But on this one, your fat quarter is a textured fat quarter. Not textured, patterned, patterned fat quarter. It's called Flutterby, I think, by John Loudon. I'm currently working on Delphine's flags. I'm making several to make a big blanket for the street garden party will need more of e will I need more of any particular color oh Sue that's a lot I don't know how what you've used have you got the cushion with the poppies on no we don't Laurie I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean Sue 
I'm currently working on Delphine's flags. I'm making several to make a big blanket for the street garden party. Will I need more of any particular colour? How many, so if you buy what well, this one, so how many cushions would the kit make? It would just make one, wouldn't just it? Just one. Yeah, so you just need as many as you're making. You need that, that many kits, I'm afraid. That's all I can say at the moment. Right, OK, that's that one. Yeah, the panel, we sell the panel on its own. So you could buy the panel on its own. Or just have lots of red, white and blue fabric. I mm. think you'd use more oh, I blue. Don't know, blue than anything. Blue but they've got white. two types of blue in there, haven't mm. you? Got a whole Jubilee section on the website. Red, white and blues. Right, where would you like to go next then? Or what? Oh, hang on. That's, oh, look, it's just telling us we're late for our meeting. <laughs> what? What have you played wrong? Which one? Oh, no. Okay, that's the graphics for the plain brown. So if you bought the first one when I showed you, you're going to get the Flutterby. Hayley put the Flutterby through twice. So that's the brown one. Can't even read it from BJ6698 is the one if you want plain brown. And the Flutterby one is... OR6698. There you go, just so you can right. Next. Lamb. Now, this isn't here because it's on Stuart's sofa, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This was done, one that you designed specially for Stuart's birthday. Just in, these are all just instructions on their own from now on. You need a charm pack and a half metre for the background, mm -hmm. don't you? Oh, you, the thing is, I'm saying you need a charm pack. How many of us have got a stash? Uh, because you're cutting out all these little crack. pieces, yeah. right? Yeah. It was, his, it was Delphine's birthday present to him. We did. It sold out on the day. Oh, she's moaning now. Oh, sorry. Should I'll make another one. one. Don't say that. <laughs> She says, yes, you better add. OK, boss. <laughs> she's quite, she's a taskmaster, Hayley. Look, we've got to be in a meeting in four minutes, Hayley. Yeah, it's come up already on here for a festival of quilts building today. Now, it says on my, my iPad. Where would you like to go next? Cora the cat. Have we not got Cora as a, as a... Cora the cat. So same technique as Leon the lion, but this is Cora the cat. Just the, instru just the instructions on their own. Now you're getting a deal here, $9.99. Yeah. Oh, yeah, smaller, smaller, that's why. Beautiful. They must be Burmese. If they've got green eyes, they, that must be based on the Burmese. Then we've got the dog. Bailey. What we should do is I'll do this one, then I'll do tomorrow's menu, then I'll go back if I've got time to do another pattern after this. Because now we, we, we can't choose when we go off, we're just taken off when, what's it starts? Thank you, Delphine. That's all we say, thank you, Delphine. When are you back next then? Um, 26th of April, I think. Oh, are you? Or the 24th, one of those. End of uh, April? Yeah, end of April. You're doing what? You're doing confetti quilting? Yeah, I am. I've never done that. Have you not? No, am I on that day? We'll have a look now. It won't be me. It won't, it won't be the 26th. Oh, you're on, oh, you're on Vixie's birthday day. Ah, that's the one. Oh, yeah. you'll be going for curry again that night and I've not no, been invited for that. Not. Not. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's look at tomorrow's menu very quickly. Oh, Bruce is singing. So tomorrow I've got Fabulous Makes. Oh, hang on, I can't see it. Uh, Fabulous Makes. Then we've got Return of Amber Makes EPP Cushions with Catherine Rye. Oh, it's right on the one telly and right. No, no, it's right on one telly, right on the other. Search for star finalist Sandy. Millie Chip. Masochi. Masochi. Is it chi or is it like cappuccino? Oh, I don't know. 11 o'clock, we've got the pinafore dress and apron. That'll be, um, now that's Catherine Wright's. It sold out last time she was in and we promised it would be back on the 8th of April. And then I can't see, oh, it's can. Homeware kits. That one's not, you've not spaced that one very well. Oh, there you go. What's homeware kits mean? Don't know what that is. Oh, cushions and things like that, lovely. Right, have we got one or two minutes still to do one more of Delphine's pattern? Let's do another pattern then. Butterfly, it's there, it's there. Now this one's FPP, isn't it? Yeah, this is one of my favorite projects that I've ever oh. done this one, I love this one. Just the pattern on its own, mm. 9.99. Uh, are we talking FPP, is it difficult FPP? No, none of my FPP's difficult, it's all easy. 
No, and the FPP is difficult. Look, we're all going, coming in close on that. Hold it still. They do a lot of that crash. What's it called? Where you crash in and crash out of things. Crash focus. Pulling in and out. What, what? 9.99. The Bruce, you can slap her. One more and then we'll have to go. Okay, we'll do the... Uh, no, I've got giraffe. Jerry the giraffe. He's there, he's there, he's there. <laughs> we'll run all the patterns through so you can see after the show. Jerry the giraffe. This is one of the early ones, wasn't it, Jerry this the giraffe? This one, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's an old one now. Now, but there are so many on the Facebook fan yeah. page, if you want to see this, aren't they? And people yeah. are still... Yeah, we've reordered it over and over and over and over again. People are still buying it, still making it, still putting it up there. What I also love is that people have uh, unfinished projects and everything, and they mm -hmm. go, bought this from you, John, uh, so in yeah. quarter, in five years ago, I've just made it. And I think it's lovely that people have kept yeah. things and made things like that. Anyway, you don't stroke its head. Oh, sorry. I teach a lot of workshops in this one as well. Oh, do you? Mm. Oh. Jeez. Don't forget what? Don't forget to check out on your machine. There's lots... Have a think about it. Um, it there's no... Pre actually, how many are in stock? Do you remember? Oh, quite a handful. There's just a handful of those, so please be careful. No rush. There's no rush. And also, there's none of that... Like, I had that uh, deal on just recently where you had to do it by midnight. There's none of that. Have a think about it and check out. Anyway, um, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks ever so much, Delphine. Yeah, thank you. I'll just go and see if I'm free on the 14th to come gate crash the curry. I'll see you tomorrow morning with Catherine Wright and with our five... Oh, now, I'll be able to tell you after the show tomorrow how to vote for your search for star. How on earth are you going to do it? I'm glad I've had nothing to do with it. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.